Hello, I only just made the start time for this stream because uh, ever since I rebuilt my PC, uh, Long Dark just seems to roll a dice as to what monitor it starts on. But we're here, we're back in this horrific blizzard uh, in the middle of prison, um, and everything's just fun and happy. Now, if I remember rightly, we used to add some side quests to scoop up. Got to sort of like learn my way around this again. Let me pop out the chat before I do anything so I can actually see what people are saying to me. That would be nice. There we go. Hey, right, good to see you. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, okay, we have to find the medical supplies, but we've also got to. That was it. Search for bloodstained pages and uh, investigate the rumors, lockers, oh, yeah, and find people as well. That was it. So I think we're heading over there next. I think we might have to get a long way around. But that is... Uh, uh, yeah, that doesn't look... Um, even with my Skyrim horse skills, that doesn't look particularly... It's reversible. Oh god, I need to turn the mouse sensitivity up. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing this uh, a lot in sort of my own time. Uh, through... Oh, that's camera sensitivity, is that do it? Or do I want sensitivity elsewhere? We're playing it on the sofa with my Steam Link, and for whatever reason, when you go through Steam Link, the um, sensitivity goes nuts. So let's just boost that up to around 30. That's better. A bit better. We're supposed to search the cabin again. Whoa. Cabin? Oh, it's been way too long. At least we're not like freezing to death. Let's get back on the road and then we can there. Uh... Oh yeah, the um yes, the elk cabin, yeah. I think we'll scoop that on the way back. Uh, just because we're so close to all the rest of the stuff, it seems silly to, to go back and then you know, cross the there. Uh so we'll make for like the old substation loop up round here to the lost power workers. I guess scoop you back and then head to your cabin last. I can skirt around there. Don't have much luck with it though, do I? Is that a pack or is that a solo wolfie? I guess we'll find out when he charges us. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the other thing is because I now use OBS to record. Um, that's a pack. Great. For the rest of my videos, it reset the volume of the game. Uh, so I've got it down to around what I think it was. If it's too loud again, just let me know and I'll drop it down. Check if we're even going the right way. Oops, shit stops picking up. There's the thing there. Might be able to get there and just shatter my legs. Um, warm up in there before we set out again because the storm's getting worse. Don't notice me, please. Don't have time to mess with you at the moment. Way bunnies. Okay, it seems to have gone warmer again. Not much, but okay. Let me get in, and I will smidge the gain up when we're indoors. Hopefully, it didn't reset that, but we'll we shall see. There's no harm in turning it up a notch. here and let me just smidge the gain up a little bit on me there we go that shouldn't be too bad as long as I don't shout and clip everything we should be good right we pretty thoroughly searched this area just need to warm up really uh, there is a bed we could sleep an hour but then we don't know if we'll get to it Ah, screw it, I'm sleeping now. 
we got pretty warm clothes, so I'm not uh, too worried. Storm, it still sounds like it's raging. But let's see if it's better or worse. It's about the same, really. Well, there is a hut that we're going to, so we should be able to get up there before we freeze to death, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's the road, so we just got to get there. Let me just scoot through here. Yeah. All right, follow the road. Should lead us across a bridge. Um, which will lead us, sort of wind us round until we find that hut where the workers are and we can loot that. Probably sleep in there till morning and then start heading back to scoop up what we need. Yeah, when Will moans, we'll know. <laughs> so I can warm up in the, um, in the wind breaks, which is good. How am I close to any? Yeah, a little wet, nothing too serious at the moment. Um, you really don't notice how toned down some of this stuff is until you play survival. Uh, because my hands almost froze off in survival with my cold gear. Oh great. Well that's Oh that there is look safe. It looks fine what are you talking about. Okay, no. I assumed you'd be able to go over this singular plank, but no. How do we get across? Do we have to repair the bridge? They're a little interactable here. Or do we have to just follow the course of the river? See if we can find like another way across, because that doesn't look affordable uh, to me. That looks rather fast. <laughs> Let's go right to the edge and have a look across the view of the river, see if there's a crossing point somewhere else. Doesn't look like it. And yeah, you went brave the, the little plank. Let's just follow the course of the river, I guess. See if there's another way across. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to, don't worry. <laughs> Especially not when it looks like that. And when it's this cold. And when I'm this weighed down. What am I carrying, by the way, that's so heavy? <laughs> just realised that I'm over encumbered a little bit, not much. Have I got any spare cans I can drop? No. Uh, just need a little bit, maybe we can just get rid of it by eating this chocolate bar. In fact, we should probably uh, eat something anyway, shouldn't we? There we go. Problem solved. This is where my friends were. And they're still there. Can I get up here? Let's get up and around them. <laughs> Another, like, uh, tower there, I don't think I'm just gonna sort of like Spider Man my way around to get away from them. Any like little rickety wooden bridges? Nope. That sounded very close. <laughs> uh, way too close for comfort. I've sort of backed myself up here, which isn't the greatest. Hopefully they plug it off somewhere else. Otherwise one of them is going to get a flare if it's directly fired into its mush. Hello? Okay, maybe that was a leaving howl. <laughs> I didn't see him. It sounded like they were right over the hill. Oh, there we are. You don't look like a timber wolf, though. You look like fucking a Joe Schmo wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, there's no way around it, is there? I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna have to tangle with him eventually. Hey, bro! As <laughs> soon as you make that barking noise, you're getting shot to bits. Bloods.
I'm so incredibly stealthy. When I'm crouched, you just don't see me. You can't see anything. You see nothing, it's just a snowdrift casually blowing over this hill. I know I probably should have shot one to clear the area, but I'm just really curious about how wonky these stealth mechanics are, because it's looking right at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing a fucking ghillie suit. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that was weird. I'm not sure this searching along the river is going to be particularly fruitful, but... Let's have a look down here, right back where we were. <laughs> Here we can have a look at the full breadth of the river. Something down there it might just be rocks. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get across, does it? Hmm. Look at that map again. There's potential, like that, I guess. Up there where the road connects? It's very strange. Or maybe like if we can find our way around even more, there might be something up here leading straight to it, but it doesn't seem like this is what it wants me to do. What we're looking for is like a fallen tree or something that allows us to get back and forth, but it doesn't look extraordinarily promising at the moment. Go around, yeah, but the river bisects the whole map, doesn't it? So, I mean, there might be something up there, I guess, crossing behind the uh, prison. Let's have a look over this hill. If I can't get up there. Then, uh, sorry, is that making you a bit twitchy, me being on the cliff? <laughs> uh, there we go. If there's nothing here, then we know we have to go the long way around. Yeah, look, the huts are just there. There's no crossing point here. We're going to have to go behind the prison, I think. Which is fine. We can scoop up the other quest on the way, can't we? Okay, that how got cut off a little bit there. A bit weird. Um, right, well, let's head back down and around. I mean, we've got a key for the bunkers, so maybe we can just dip our head back into the prison in there. Let's see what's up. We can just go around here, I guess. So it's going to get dark fairly soon, but hopefully it'll be alright. Let's come to the worst, we can sleep in a car. <laughs> Although there is the antenna right there. Although I don't think that's the one that's got the building on it. Oh, it is cool. Well, we can sleep in here until morning. And then we're getting a long journey around. That was a bit of a waste of the first 15 minutes of a stream, but it's fine. <laughs> did check you, didn't I? Pretty sure I did, yeah. Let's get in, have some food. Get some sleep. And then uh, try again in the morning. I don't think there's a fire in here, is there? I'd be surprised if there's one indoors. It's usually like a fire barrel outdoor. Let's check that just to get if we can warm anything up. We get some water as well. Ah, yeah, here we go. How much fuel have I got? Yeah, enough. There's loads of it all over the place at the moment, so. Yeah, we probably should dump all our biggest gear. Um, which, if we're going back to find that guy, then should be yeah. Uh, Damn it! Should be able to dive in. Go on, mate. Seventy-five percent chance with story difficulty, you should be able to nail this. Come on. There we go. 
I should be enough. Right, what can we cook up? The uh, pinnacle peaches. You, I guess. I like cooking you up because you actually weigh quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, I know you're hungry. Uh, it's crisps. Top it off. Drink most of it just from the sleep. I think we need to sleep a fair few hours till morning. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Yeah, well, I found some. Good timing, too. Now I've got to feel my way to the bed. You know, it needs must and all that. Some good engineering to get that going. And as long as you're cool, that's the main thing. Right. Oh, wow, that's a storm gone, thankfully. It's not okay. You woke up just thirsty, I think. Sounding peaceful outside. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> Let's get two more. Get the sun actually up so we can see what we're doing. Still sounds quiet. It's a good sign. That'll do. It's just dark in here, I think. <laughs> I thought you were the door there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> See what it's like out here. Misty, but that's not too bad. We can just follow the road, can't we? Uh, let's have one of you. We should get both of you up. And then we'll just eat mold a moldy granola bar. Delicious. Okay. Let's take the road. We should be good. Following a fairly straight line until we get to this fork where we turn left. And it goes through the uh, little rocky hills bit. Did search you, didn't I? Bonnet's not up, so better make sure. I did, yeah. There we go. <laughs> you have to bail water out of it. Oh man, yeah. It's a bit old school, but. You know, if it works, it works. Some weird sound, that did not sound like a wolf. It's just you. Oh, is that our two friends that were around earlier? Yeah, it's not a pack, thankfully. <laughs> really? You just bump into enough trees that you've stopped aggroing. You're gonna waste me another flay, son of a bitch. <laughs> Ugh, the troublesome brothers. Where are you fucking. You know what? I've got 47 shots of this, but run right through your fucking eyes. Did I get him? It was a bit of a hasty shot. No. Doggy can piss off, love. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I think we need to carry shit, don't we? So we'll, we'll drop stuff off. We'll go. That guy's right next to the prison. Then we'll, we'll explore behind the back of the prison because I'm not even entirely convinced this is the right way to go. Um, and that will uh, clear that up. Uh, yeah, okay, right away. 
first to you, yep. Let me just make sure I did, yeah. I've searched the trunk, I've searched the side. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it was wiggled up from the snow. Oh, this was a fucking... That would have been the perfect shot. There's one on you. You're sort of having a bit of trouble with the terrain there, I think. I was going to say where the rest is coming from. It's a bit difficult. When you're in the... Uh, I know I killed one. I just ought to just... This sort of thing. Oh, I got it with hip fire. Yeah, bombs, yes, they're so useful. Well, that's reduced the timber population down, probably by about two. <laughs> one straight there, the other one got shot in the side, it's probably not long for the well. So. Oh, man. Evidently, my aiming skills have, are on reasonable par today. Prison, yeah, okay, yep, yeah. just follow the signs. Yeah, I just need a tin can for that, but when I got my water one. I suppose I can just eat the other peaches and then that's like one bomb. Shouldn't have uh, dropped that tin can. Give me two in the habit. Although I think they're probably littered around the floor in there anyway, so it's fine. Also got a locker key, so I can crack open that locker. Risk drinking some tea. That would have been a perfect wolf sign. Uh, all right, it's this way, yeah. Do we need to pick up sticks? I guess it's to come out. Oh boy. Okay, they're doing like, ho like uh, paw prints, they look. Possible hoof prints. <laughs> so that's not too bad. Oh, well, we've got a moody guitar coming in. Still scared. <laughs> scared of me before I even saw him. No longer scared. And <laughs> piano, the uh, keyboard, keyboard guitar. Went for like three wrong. Fucking hell. Jesus, that guy did not want to stop. I think he might have been scared towards the end though. Anyway, what I was trying to say when I got like three wrong instruments is that I love how the guitar just abruptly stops. Another dead wolf with the pile that we're leaving around here. I think a wolf may have got a kill. I hear it going to town on something. I think it's somewhere over there. Where the I can't see the birds, which is sort of my indicator. These are very strange sounds. It could just be my stomach rumbling. <laughs> yeah, snares aren't a bad shout. Let's check them out, make sure I'm not about to blunder off. Let's keep up the power work here, head back into there. Dump our stuff. Open the uh, locker and head back to get the moose thing and then double back to see if we can get across this damn river. The worker's got to be in this little like fenced off area here, surely. Okay, maybe not. No, he's just dead ahead. 
presumably being half eaten by wolves. Power worker. I mean, to presume that you're not with us still. We're in here somewhere. I hear birds that could be on him. Follow the power lines. Are there any power lines around here? It wasn't so misty, and I can actually see where those birds were and see if that is him. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a cliff. I'm gonna fall down there, I just wondered if it's gone up the wrong way. We might just have to dump stuff and come back to this, but it's not quite so bloody misty, so I can actually see. Further than in front of my face, unless that's him. Hello again. I met a few of your friends. This looks like it could be him. Buddy. Oh, it's just a black rock man. <laughs> oh, wait. Can't do anything with these men. They're just. No, oh, well, this looks great. This is just terrible. Can't tell if anyone made it. Okay, is this even to do with the quest I'm on, or is this just uh, okay? No, I don't think it was. I just lined up on the outside of the prison. Great. Let's see if I can find my way to the prison. Dump all my gear. For God's sake. <laughs> oh, can I get stuff in here? Goodness gracious me. You bleed me down, do you? You've got plenty of revolver ammo. I think the shadows are power lines. That's like power lines, isn't it? It's phantom power lines. <laughs> These workers gone into the ethereal realm. Oh. God oh, damn it. I didn't want to choose you. But thankfully, I do. Uh, Shot you before you came for it. Oh my god. Hopefully, being in this light will help me while I. Uh... Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I need bandages galore. Thankfully, I have bandages galore. That was a pain in the ass, literally. Better not shred any of my clothes. Yeah, my gloves need some. Nah, actually, I actually haven't used a little bit of TLC, didn't it? Oh, wait, okay. That came out of nowhere. Well, let's go to prison. <laughs> place to hold up that's warm and then repair our gear. I think wolves. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, it just took me a little by surprise. Alright, okay. Now we're here. We're safe. Let's repair. <laughs> and then we'll head back through the complex. Dump our game. I'm assuming like, the best plan is probably just dump it in that storage box. Right at the beginning. Just so it's there. You don't have to keep like carting things around. So I've got to find my way through this maze of a, a thing. At least I can fight back against the wolves that are there. That's something. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, the hat needs some TLC. Everything needs a little bit of TLC. for the moment. Let's eat something as well. Uh, let's just eat you before you get worse. Repair boots. How bad are you? 63. I can't repair them anymore. Cured leather. Just keep an eye out for cured leather. Uh, there's usually like driving gloves and shit around, so let's grab you. Making a bomb. Uh, oh, actually, there's a locker in there. Might be better just stash things inside, like you said. Uh, right, what can we get rid of? Let's get a couple of accelerant. Arrowheads don't need the mo. Let's do it by that. No point stashing any of you in, is there? Do I have spare clothes? Only ones that give me cloth, not leather, unfortunately. Uh, let's just put some you in. Food is that? Uh, we'll keep the gunpowder because we're gonna put some in. Let's just cap off our flares. We don't really use them that much. And the simple tools, don't really mean, it's just heavy. We're not really sure there's that much we can dump in. Rose hips, and we need them in the mine. We might need them in the future. Got some matches, yeah, I suppose. We haven't got many wood matches. Oh no, they're all wood matches. Shut up, I thought we had cardboard ones. Uh, let's just get across you that way. Got 32. Should be enough. There we go. Oh, but that'll do for now. We've got 5 kilograms of spare weight, and we're going to get the moose satchel so we should be good and I've got to find my way back to wherever the hell the lockers were um, yeah, this place is a literal maze is it in here? no that's the infirmary no, I didn't have the lockers in here it was like the barracks that had the lockers in it's locked in there. <laughs> that one isn't Oh, good to know, I suppose. I can't get in there. That's the boiler room. Can't get in there anyway. Is it through the long, windy way around there that I found it? I honestly can't remember. Maybe this was to get to the infirmary, I don't think it was to get to the barracks. <laughs> That's my sense of memory, two weeks and it's just I can't remember this bloody thing at all. It might be that building over there actually. Yeah, it is, okay. I don't suppose I'm going to be able to get a shortcut to that, am I? That's a bit of a pain. What if I can cut through the infirmary to get there? Probably not, because I can't open this door. Oh, we're going to have to go through Wolf Alley again. At least I've got plenty of bullets. Let's <laughs> keep an eye out and sneak if we need to. Yeah, let's see. There's one of them over there. 
I've got better defences than just panicking and running at least, so. Yeah. Got you, save you for Timberwolves. See if my magical sneak powers still work. <laughs> Couple of them. See the arse of another wolf over there. <laughs> okay, you're getting a little too close. I think I'm just going to cap it. There we go. Now, if we need to get some skins, there's that right there, isn't there? Go through that open door. I did reload the rifle. Yeah. I will save when I get into the locked bit then. Central prison, infirmary, and staff quarters. Staff quarters is well marked. Okay. I think that's the one for like walking a certain distance. I was pretty close to that one. Um, mm -hmm. Looks like many years ago. It's okay. We're low. Rifle ammo. We thought we were always a bit low on rifle ammo. That's why I haven't been using it much. Uh, save. There were scary walls. There we go. Nice, nice, stim. There you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, okay, archival report. I helped build black rock. Helped bring steel and bricks in from the mainland. We've also sourced rock and stone from some quarries at the foot of that big mountain. I guess that's why we're all there. Black Rock Mountain. There were mining folk all around that valley, so it was easy to find help to put the bones up on that prison. Some died, some would wander off. But we all got paid and the thing got done. Can't say much for the mean look of the place, but we built her strong. Nice enough place in the summer months, great bear, but those winters were evil things, I tell you. Wind came whipping down from the mountain, screaming after you. Well, nice. That sounds fun. There it is. Cool. I think that was just a plot thing. I don't remember getting anything from that, although I got an achievement, I guess. Right, kitchen for pot. It's a pretty bare bones kitchen. Let's see if any of these have got stuff in them. Alright, let's just give it a proper once over, shall we? It's still foggy and that makes it hard to see. Empty, empty, empty. I thought we were in luck there, but no. Looks like we're potless, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh well. We shall make do. Let's head back. If there's anything in this, no, I can't get in there. Oh well, worth a shot. Right. Retrace the steps. I'm sure I can take a safe swig of coffee here. Yep, and now it's in the danger zone. <laughs> Hopefully they fled further away from the prison though. Yeah, they seem to have given us a bit of space now, which is handy. <laughs> All it took was shooting a wolf to death, capping one of their friends. Miss Amber, are you going to come and jingle behind me? Right, uh, uh, no, in the bus, yes. And yes, he is. Oh, we must have saved that we got the note because the um, quest finished. So, I guess I just kept that. Maybe they're not counters. Like with usual progression. There's nothing here. Let's 
So I can, I'll just keep saving the um, in the place we were. <laughs> just to appease my own, otherwise I'm going to have to keep checking it over and over again. Right, let's have another stab at trying to find this working now that we can actually see. Did search the seats, did you? Oh, okay. But I mean, if it's a bloody note, which I think it was, it doesn't matter, does it? We've already completed the quest. And I'll go back and have another peek, it's not far. Is that any close? Might be for that wolf. Might just be passing overhead, yeah. Always bugs me when that happens, because I think I'm about to get some, like, free meat or something. Yeah, I think it's, uh... I think we're all good. something soon. That's the problem with uh, revisiting locations is of course you don't get any more food. I guess if the absolute worst comes to the worst we've got a bunch of wolf carcasses we can carve up. <laughs> but it's obviously not ideal. across the river but that's uh, an exploration for another day. Let's first find the power worker and then go and get that moose satchel. I can see the power lines now so that's something. I'm assuming there's a possibility that he's dead up by that one there. It seems like the most... It's either that one or that one. I'm assuming they're dead at like, the actual substations, not just along the way. Oh, we did. We shit. We did. We forget to make bombs. Uh, bollocks. Where I can't even remember where the nearest workstation actually is. I think it is by the bus. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I really want to actually make bombs because they're so good against the uh, packs. Eventually, we're going to leave the sodding prison. It's like this place is a prison or something. Um. Back. This is a lot of back and forth this session. I think it's my memory has shot through. Let's get that ready. He's actually in the valley, is he? Okay. Maybe he's like along the power lines or something. We'll have to poke we can see now, so hopefully we'll be able to see his body. <laughs> yeah, we might end up having to bloody sleep here. It's going to be fun. Although we might be able to get to the cabin in time, I don't know. Oh, I really do miss the snowshoes I've got in survival. <laughs> They're a new thing that's been created. You can sort of make makeshift snowshoes, or crampons actually they are really does help. Noise maker, there we go. Getting crap. There we go. Should still have a can left here. Well, one will do. Let's eat you. I'm gonna drink our last soda. <laughs> to get our water in that up. Yeah, the workers in a trailer, yeah, he's, that's, um, that's what we need to get across the river for. So that's what we'll be coming back to find. Wind's picking up. Very hard to walk. Uh, we haven't got to go far, so that's fine. Gonna find this dead bloke. That's one checked off. We're gonna get ourselves a moose satchel as a reward. All 
Right. Oh god. I swear to god if you start lowering visibility again, <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy. Yeah, that looks like a full blood storm, doesn't it? I'm crying out loud. Right, let's see if we can find this guy and quickly. <laughs> see a lump over there that could be him. It could also be those people that uh yeah, there we go. Because it was so misty, I'm turning around as to who's where, so that might just be the people that were lined up and shot against the wall. Which it is, okay, so that's not him. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I guess we're going back to the prison. It really doesn't want us to leave. So we can actually sort of, uh, yeah. Let's check the map. I mean, you could just, I mean, is that a river or is that like a valley? I don't know. Maybe we've got to go down there and explore through there. That seems a sensible thing to do because we couldn't find him on the cliffs or anything, so. Either way, we're not going to find it like this. But I'd rather I'll just camp down in that little um, hut with the locker. That is a valley, okay, cool. Then we'll can take a bit longer to find him than I thought, but we'll wind our way through and grab him. And then we'll go back and go to the hut. Finally. I know I've been saying that for like a solid hour. Because <laughs> every time we try and make progress, some shit like this happens. Rather annoying as we're burning through our food supplies, but I guess we'll make do. Right, I'm gonna need to make a fire to make the water be more sheltered inside the prison. Oh, the wind's sort of going the wrong way, which is not. Oh, there is a fire barrel over near the. Uh, Uh, bus, so that will probably do. It's in the wind, which isn't uh, particularly helpful. And I guess it comes as a wind break somehow. The wind is changing its direction, but. Our Tinder trick to actually get some Tinder from it. Stove in room. There's a stove in that room? I'll just walk past the stove. If so, I'm a fucking moron. I'd already left by the time your message came up because of the delay. <laughs> that would be bloody typical though. Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna light the stove like I always meant to do, um, and everything will be fine. Let's put our one piece of reclaimed wood on, then smash up a chair for a couple more. Save our cedar firewood for when we are like out and about and we need fire urgently. I did it. Thirty seven minutes, how long does it take to smash you up? Twenty two minutes, perfect. <laughs> right, uh my uh, maple syrup if I need the calories urgently, but I should be able to cobble together enough calories for tonight at least. Probably do. I 
feel like with our gear we should be able to sort of head out a little earlier than uh, we need to. I'm just a little tiny bit worried about the amount of food we've got, but... Uh, might as well make another coffee, I suppose, while we're here. I think we've got one in our inventory. I thought we did. Maybe I think in my other game, sometimes they blur over each other. There we go. Q. I might actually just make another half a litre because we're going to need it while we sleep. He always gets a little thirsty for this. Last floor. I sleep for nine hours. Well, there's a storm down at least. Take a couple more hours. Should have made two cups of coffee and just used the calories because we've got so much coffee. Oh well. Be late now. Uh, I'm loath to do it, but let's just see you. Just get us through the night. And then we've got the uh, syrup for when things get low. And we'll try and find some trusty cattails as we go. We passed a bunch of them. For some reason, I fought back against my normal instincts just to pick cattails. Um, let's see if that's warm and bright enough for us to go. Or if we're going to freeze our nips off. We are going to freeze our nips off, okay. Is that an eternal fire over there? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. The problem is I play so many different games. Partly just because I play games, and partly because I review games that so start to blur together in a while, after a while. Let's try it on an hour by hour basis, see if I can uh, get it down to just minor cold. Looks like it might be more promising. Yeah, I should be able to make this work. Worst comes to worst, I can make a stick fire. And uh, just warm myself up before carrying on. I don't want to waste too much of the day, we keep leaving too late, and then by the time I get anywhere, it's sort of like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, I think there were cattails down in this little valley, so I'm just going to go scoop them up. Yeah. Oh, not like that. <laughs> Let's not shatter our bones just yet. This is a bit safer. Well, a bit being the operative word. That way it will solve the like, sort of hunger issues and then... And there's sticks down here as well. I mean, he's not going to have the tastiest breakfast in the world, but better than nothing. Oh, fuck. Where are you then? Swimming over this way. There you are. Have you considered pissing off and never ever coming back in your entire useless life? Because that would be great. I get him. I don't see any spots of blood. That uh, was a bit of a blind shot, but yeah, is this enough cattails to have some sort of cattail cereal for breakfast? We'll call them cattos. And this is like bleeding over into real life because every time we see cattails at the side, we're like, mmm, nutritious snack. Need a lot. There you go. Five cattails are just as nutritious and healthy for you as drinking an entire jug of maple syrup. <laughs> right, let's get back to the road. Yeah. God damn it. Put you away temporarily. I'm sure they'll be back. At least we've got plenty of bloody pistol ammo. Hello, lads. 
interesting choice to run towards the thing that you're trying to run away from, but, you know, you do you. Right, I think we go right to the end, pass through the mountain it's, as we're coming to this little bit, there's, I think we'll be able to walk up the valley. Can't really get to it the other way. Yeah, we'll just have to pick and do what you want. There's a couple of, like, again, I don't know if they're in the story, though, because we could, like, get acorns. The acorns are actually fairly badly implemented. Because uh, you can only break them open with one of those like blacksmithing hammers for some fucking reason. Um, but we might be able to find this and that around the place. The worst comes to absolute worst, what we'll do is we'll just um, get some meat and gather enough sticks to, to cook the meat. We only need about an hour. Um, which is why I'm investigating. This. Oh. Oh, okay, it's Wolf. Okay, I thought it was a man. <laughs> well, that's there if we need it, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, I think we're okay at the moment, just from what we've uh, managed to gather. What was I looking at? Okay, we need to. I guess we could just scooch down to the valley from here, but I think it's probably going to be rather steep. Yes. So let us not. Skyrim horse our way down. Um, <laughs> that doesn't. Uh, that doesn't uh, work as well as when you're Skyrimming up something. Okay. Yeah. Find your way back to the road. I'm not sure where we went so off road there. I guess I just wanted to see if the birds were around a deer or something, but around a wolf, so we know that's there. Might have to light a stick fire relatively soon. I mean, the valley should be sheltered from. I mean, there isn't really a wind, but it might help us warm up a little bit. Okay, so I think on the map it looks like there might be a bridge or something just here. Yeah, so the valley starts underneath the bridge. How far out? Oh. Yeah, okay, that's still a long, 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 long way down. How do we actually get down in there? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even convinced they're still in um, survival, to be honest with you. I've never got them. I've always cooked. I've lived off wolf meat in survival for ages and never got any parasites, so. Maybe they just dropped because it just made the game slightly unfair. If this bastard is down there, how the bloody hell do we get down there? Is there a mountaineering rope or something we not yet found? Hmm, I'm struggling to find this bastard. It doesn't look like we can get there. Unless we have to go like all the way down there, in which case. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like we can safely get down from here. You know what? Let's go get the uh, the uh, moose thing because we know we can do that. At least that'll be something ticked off this session. Right, let's also uh, cower behind a tree somewhere and light a fire. I don't think that we'll get a windbreak because there's no wind. <laughs> oh wait. Go on briefly then. Just the way is the wind going? Need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah. Okay. There we go. How many sticks have we got? Oh God, I don't want to accelerate. Eight. That'll do. No rope. Have to find rope. Okay. Well, we'll just traverse the valley and see if there's a way down. I guess I might have an offshoot or something. Yeah, it won't be the warmest fire in the world, but it's still warming us up, so... 
I'll oh, we'll use it to make some more water as well. Maybe another cup of coffee just to keep us going out here. Seems we've got so much coffee, we might as well use some of it. Rather than lugging it around. Uh, is that reheating or making a new one? <laughs> That'd be reheating them. Oh, let's make the shit of Oh no, I need the water first. Yeah, duh. I think that's warmed me up massively, isn't it? I should have time to make a cup of coffee. Keep me warm as I go. Gives me some precious calories back as well. Right. Let's have a look on the bridge. Then we can look over the valley. Well, there's waterfalls, so I'm assuming... Oh, you can traverse up the side. There's a bridge over there. Which doesn't that we can't possibly get down over there, so we've got to be able to get down further in. Uh, maybe it just sort of like cascades down around the edges or something. But let's worry about that in a minute. Let's go get our moose satchel, so we don't have to worry about gear. It's dead around there. Another you know, bloody wolf. We've shot so many of the sudden things. <laughs> Cook's farm. Let's just skirt off road a little bit, look for more sticks or cattails. This will lead to bunkers. Okay, cool. Let's find some proper. Uh, yeah then. Uh, my plan for food going on is just to get sticks as I go. There's so many dead wolf carcasses littered around the place. We'll just light as big a fire as we can. We've got coal if need be and just cook and eat all the wolf meat when we need it. Don't want to carry it around. There's a sheer amount of packs around. Oh my god. Hey, I was just talking about you. Damn, I thought that was a a double hitter then, but I even hit it once. Yeah, definitely hit it. <laughs> Can't have long for the world, so that'll be another potential wolf burger down the line. I'm move the down there to get to the ladder. Much more on the way back. It's a bit like crossing the river, unfortunately, but you're going to have to just sort of blindly grope our way along. Which isn't the best, but you know, we'll make do. Bloody hell, it must be pretty chilly. Even with our warming, we're still uh, going down once the wind chill, I think. Yeah, well, actually, the air temperature is pretty uh, horrific as well. Uh, we're actually going out for dinner tonight. Uh, going out to our favourite Italian restaurant. So, so it's, oh. so it's payday on Monday, so figured why not. My amazing shooting skills are not as good. I mean, I did hit one. So. Oh, ho, ho. A hip shot in the brain. Oh, we were talking about wolf carcasses. <laughs> uh, although it's in a bit of an inconvenient location, isn't it? Because it's right out in the wind. Um, but hey, I wish you could put up like a a wolf, well, not wolf, like a shelter or something, like a, a bivouac, something like that. I know you can get a snow shelter, but there's something that screens the wind from, from you while you work. I want to cut up this bastard, but by the time I do, I'm going to freeze to death. Because even quartering, I think, is going to take some time. Yeah. Well, taking a bit of meat only takes 16 minutes, so let's risk it. Yeah. Right, and then we. There's a way up there. 
Oh, oh, there's a little line leading to the valley, that might be it. Um, let's see if we can get enough sticks together to make a long enough fire to cook two pieces of wolf meat, and then, yeah, we've got plenty of sticks. Then I think we'll be sorted. Let's see if we can find somewhere to just plonk a fire down. Nice. Yeah, Italian is like the uh, the cuisine that we agree on most, so it tends to be our go-to. That okay, here is a windbreaker. It might be a bit too sloped for a fire. Yeah. Okay, the little uh, little valley bit here that might work. Still in the windbreak, still good. Uh, wood matches, sticks. Should all we need is about an hour, I think. Although the temperature is not going to be great, but it shouldn't take longer than an hour to cook up a couple of wolf steaks. And then eating both of those should be fine. That'll keep us full for, for quite some time, I think. That did it. Just need about an hour. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he wants my wolf steaks. That's gonna be me leaving right now. Fuck that, I'm not tangling with a bear. Oh, he give matches, nice. You never last smoke. Oh, that sodden bear. Ruined everything. Let's get to the foreman's clear cut. There should be a, a barrel fire there. He's going to have to worry about the wind. Just didn't want to travel too far with stakes in my inventory because we're going to alert every sudden wolf in the vicinity. What's it way up there? I guess that's a shortcut to that road. I do want to explore up around the bear. At some point, because that might lead to the valley, but let's hope the bear's pissed off by then. I'm going very slow. I guess it's on fighting the wind. Well, okay, I guess you were uh, in the pack I scared off earlier. I mean, I am carrying bits of your friend, that is. Probably going to be a bit unsettling. Uh, okay, there wasn't a fire barrel, there was just a fire that I made. It's a bit naff, but at least with this building here, we should always be able to be out of the wind or something, I suppose. Are we in a windbreak? Yeah. Let's hope no sudden bears come and disturb this one. A waste of a match. Hehehehe. <laughs> A hard enough time shooting wolves with a pistol, but I'll give it a go. Come on, come on. Did we get a bow and arrow at some point and stash it away in a chest? Can't remember. That's that done. might have been the previous mission, actually. Previous chapter. Right, that should still be enough. If not, I guess we'll have to sacrifice. Just to see the. It's going to be close. Just like one more stick. Ah, here we go. <laughs> how, much, how long do you take? Oh, yeah, that's way, way too much. This cold. The bow at the Jada's residence. Okay. Is that where we're going? No, we're going to the Betrayers Retreat. Yeah, there, okay. This is it. You, just in case. Ooh. This should solve our food issue, at least for a little while.
Yeah, you might at least give me some potable, not potable, um, dirty water. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Non potable, oh, well, that was easy. And then I can use, for once, one of these. There we go. Yeah, finally found a use for them. Alright, and we... yeah, okay. There's the road that should lead us looking around. And get us to the... our oh, moose satchel, finally. Which is one of the best items in this damn game. So, nice to... Do. <laughs> oh, they've already spotted me. It's fantastic that I got a few shots of this bastard left. Let's see if we can line them up. Yeah, eat shit. Save my noise maker for when I am um, surprise surrounded and I don't have the drop on them. I think seeing their leader get shot in the head would sort of uh, lead them to piss off, but I guess they're tougher than they look. One more up your arm. There we go. That should be you dead as well. Unless you've got an exceptionally tough ass. <laughs> and if the one that was scared joined up with the other one, then it formed a new pack. It didn't do very well. <laughs> Maybe they just learned to leave me the fuck alone. Evidently, it was very bad last session at uh, opening the boots. It's all going the right way, yeah. It's just off a little ways off the beaten track around here. And just hope we don't tangle with that moose. Because I'd really rather not have my ribs shattered. <laughs> I mean, you've got iron ribs, don't get me wrong, I think being charged down by an angry moose would do a little more than hamper your ribs, but... Oh my god, is that a wolf? Fucking moose took down a wolf. I mean, that's not that surprising, is it? <laughs> like a jeep trying to fight a tank. Let's go right around the edge. He's not too close, he should be fine. Cattails. It's just maybe it'll get angry if I take its cattails. <laughs> Here we go. That's all I ask <laughs> from your pond. It's just a handful of cattails. A satchel made from the skin of your mother, and then that'll be it. So I don't ask much, obviously. Um. <laughs> right, what's the actual quest? Just to refresh myself what we're actually looking for in here. Uh, a suspicious person, okay. So, could be alive, could be dead. Never know. Is there a suspicious moose in here? Hopefully me being here before didn't like uh, reset the quest or something. That would suck. <laughs> well, I didn't search the drawer on this. Hope I can still eat this. Well, I can repair my boots in a second. Hey, Moosey. light in the situation, see if there's anything else that we may have missed or that has spawned in. Bed, book, book. No, I already searched it, but just in case I put new stuff in. Uh, mm. Doesn't seem to be much.
research everything. Yeah, good shout. Nothing in there. Those are the only containers in here, apart from the coal bin. No, it's just not coal. So, what gives? Suspicious person has been sighted. Search for clues at the cabin. Did have a look at the hatch. Yeah, it's empty. Bag, do I look at the bag again? No. Nothing. Bed. <laughs> Throw back the covers. Can't walk on the bed, which is a bit weird. Decent shoes. Um, bed roll. Shelf. Hopefully we didn't sequence break the quest. That would kind of suck. Uh, one more look around outside, see if there's like... Just wants me to find a blood trail or something that indicates that someone was here rather than just a moose satchel. Because there certainly was a suspicious person here and it was, it was me. <laughs> Let's do one last sweep of everything. Bag we've opened. Hatch we've opened. Bed that we've opened. You. Should be a cache near the cabin, okay. Let's hope it's not near the moose. <laughs> uh. Oh, they might have spotted me. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, we haven't checked like under the cabin's feet, maybe. Ah! Ouch. There's a boat there. So obviously not getting too close. Uh, let's go the other way around. <laughs> or I don't want to get close to the moose. If I can help it. In the snow behind the cabin area. Okay. Aha. Yes. Prepper hatch location. If you're reading this, you've gone and found my cache behind the old bricklayer place. I've reopened my old bunker. Things are getting bad around here. Head north and form into clear cut. Go beyond the road, then up a small rise into the rocks. Follow the meadow grass, and you should be just fine. That might be where the bear was. We should be able to wait this thing out there. Well, well. There, there. What do we have here? Sardines that probably poison me. Use this. Shirts tear up. Condensed milk. Okay, that's not that bad. Locate and search the hermit's hidden bunker. Yes, it is because there's the little line. It's where the bear is. Great. Uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we uh, said we were going to have to. Go that way anyway, so was that the quest? This quest sorted. Yes, okay, cool. Save, good shout. Okay, we can double back and go that way then. <laughs> I mean, it has been a few hours. Um, we we'll cooked stuff and we did all that, so hopefully the bears moved on slash despawned. It's just irritating that that's the bear spawn area, really good. I guess we'll have to try it as best we can. There's a deer there that we could potentially uh, scrounge. Of course, my, my favourite. I uh, will try shooting a bunny. I don't think it's going to work because you need precision aim because they're small. Um, and I'm on a controller, so I can barely aim at a wolf. Oh, yeah, yeah, not wasting a shot on that. <laughs> um, I don't think... I don't really know if we need to, like, cure any hides or anything, because I don't know how long we're going to be here. Um, but it doesn't take long, actually, does it? So let me just get, okay. let me get a hide from this deer. Just plop it down. I think with our other hides in the form, it's clear-cut. We can just plop it down. 30 minutes. Yeah, it should be too bad. Delightful sounds. 
No, I'm not shooting you with that. That's a bit overkill. There won't be any rabbit left. I didn't like that, it slid. <laughs> That's his angry slide. Yeah, well, rubber meat isn't worth much, right? Don't need that. <laughs> been fine. It would be nice to get some rabbit gloves, though. Is it rabbit gloves and a hat you can make out of rabbits as well? I can't remember. Anyway, let's head back to Foreman's clear cut. Loss over my shame. Maybe I'll just switch to mouse and keyboard when I have to shoot a rabbit so I can actually aim <laughs> rather than just sort of roughly guessing with the controller. Here's a dead wolf. Nicely freezing over. Right, mate. Oh, I might as well skin you actually because I can put you with the other skin that's uh, there. Uh, yeah, let's get a kilogram of meat off you and cook that while we're at Foreman's clear cut. Just get a couple because night's coming in and a storm. Uh, so that's good. Clear cut is literally just over there. So we'll dump our skins. I'll probably, before it gets too cold, cut up some trees till we get some uh, wood. Cook both of those off, and that'll be my dinner. And then uh, should easily be able to survive. I can have a fire pit in every direction around Foreman's clear cut. It's just trying to get out of the sudden wind. Those are some weird ass noises you just made there. 35 minutes, I should hopefully... Okay, it's a little dicey, but it's fine. Yes, I know, I'm got a spray and risk, I'm going to chuck most of it on the fire, wouldn't worry. Okay, okay, I think we dropped our skins in here. Yeah, we did. 91% cured, not bad. Add you to the mix. Okay, I need to get some gut soon and cure that as well. Go. Plenty of dead wolves around here to get some guts from. That's still a, yeah, still a windbreak. Cool. Uh, okay, I okay, got you. Seventy-five percent chance that'll be. Need to know where our spare matches are. Pour my coffee before it goes cold. Well, no, that, that didn't work. Yeah, thanks for that. Try again. I can't come out of starting a fire. There's no exit button, so if it attacks me, I guess it just attacks me. I guess making a fire is more important. Turned out pretty uh, well. You right, mate? Uh, you want to sit by the fire or something? Yeah. Well, thanks for the skin, I guess. Maybe that was like the great wolf god coming to make amends and I just shot him. <laughs> well, let's cook up his friends while I skin him. Because that's a normal thing that normal people say. Good, I'm still in the wind rank, still near that. Uh, well, let's just get a couple more bits of meat, I guess. Some gut. Just have a party with this guy. Feels like night is coming. You don't say, mate. You're as astute as ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, because I can't cancel out of the uh, animation, it was like a animation that can't be cancelled. So it just sort of uh, stayed there. Uh, maybe I want to cook both of these steaks up as well. That can be my dinner in the morning, can't it? 
you. Yeah, how long have you got? 12 minutes and then, yeah. So I can go around and drop my other skin now. That's, I think, enough skins to get the wolf cloak. You need three and then you need a basket load of gut, but... I'm not sure where I'm dropping this, but I'm dropping it. find our way back to the southern cabin where the spare bedroll is. Uh, let's drink some of that water, otherwise he'll wake up immediately. Find some space on the ground for the bedroll, I suppose. Uh, if we get it like <laughs> that, maybe. Actually, it might be a bed in here, to be fair. Let's just actually stop messing around and have a look. where we found the revolver. <laughs> Finish off our water. Should have really made more. Yeah, well. There we go. Sweet. No toilet in here to take water out of, unfortunately. <laughs> but we only need a short fire for water, so we'll just, just use the fire striker rather than burning our matches. I thought I had a bunch of sticks. Oh, well. well, we'll just gather sticks as we go and then make a short water fire when we need it. And it takes half an hour to get what we need. Oh, yeah, I should have cleaned my guns. Let's go inside and do that now when the sun comes up a bit. And I know we're going to be attracting wolves with our food, but they just find us anyway, so... <laughs> makes no bloody difference, does it? Uh, how are my guns actually doing? Not great. Getting them up to the 70s again. Get you up to about 70, that'll do. Don't want to rag on the uh, cleaning kit too much. You're at 75, 80, 80. Yeah, it's probably a good shout to drop the meat actually. Everything else is sharpened enough. What I'll do is I'll eat one meat and then chuck the rest outside the door. This is quite a good like crossroads point, isn't it? We keep coming back here. Um, I want it. Food. Eat you. There we go. We're doing alright with food now. So let's go get eaten by a bear. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, that little path that we were just going up. And there's a dead wolf. This is a nice way of, uh, of finding it, isn't it? It's just up there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's not far up there. Hopefully we can just run, if a bear comes we can just run and get in there before it... Uh, I know, my luck it'll be another bloody Aurora cache. And hey, if the bunker's got a toilet then we've got plenty of fresh water. <laughs> Let's poke our head around. See if we do get mauled by the bear, it's not far to go to go and lick our wounds and repair our clothes. <laughs> just make sure we get the uh, directions right. Yeah, it's literally just up here. 
can see it. And there's no bear. Sweet. Alright. Do love exploring these. Let's see if they left anything useful. Okay, a couple of flares. Uh, let's see if the satchel's here first. Yeah. Then obviously everything we put, we can uh, fit in there. Yoink. That's what you like to see. Alright, uh, let's go back to the entrance and go. Are you better than mine? No, you're about the same. Let's just take you and scrap you for your oil. Turn you off first. Ding dong. Yeah. We finally got ourselves some some good luck in this game. <laughs> right, matches. More gunpowder. Take one of the cans to make another noise maker. Wood. Energy drink. We'll just take everything and then drop what we need to if we don't like it. More food. Okay, newspaper. <laughs> Not what I was expecting to find in the locker, but. Yay, pork and beans. Fresh P and B. Oh, there'll be something good in this one. We've got to force our way in. Did they lock their newsprint in the locker? No, they locked their whetstone in the locker. And some new boots. What boots are we wearing? Are we wearing trail boots? No, we're wearing... Okay, so actually I think what we've got is probably better. But we can just tear the other boots up for leather, can't we? This will come in handy. Flare. Anything in the grate? Ooh, yes. It's the first time opening one of those. It's actually yielded something. Uh, Black Rock Prisoner Release Record. Uh, inmate 5627. Extensive evidence of both pre- and post-incarceration trauma. Spiral fractures of the humerus on both arms. Jesus. Cervical ligament damage. Radiology suggests multiple shoulder dislocations. And he reports post-concussion syndrome. Recommend evaluation under compassionate release criteria. Psychological survey suggests very low risk of recidivism. Nice. So he got the shit kicked out of him, basically. Spiral fractures, and you get it for like twisting. So just wrenching his arms around. More revolver ammo, good, we're using a lot of it. Hey, a trusty MRE. Not gonna stay in our inventory forevermore. What have we here? Matches, jerky. Let's eat a celebratory candy bar, shall we? <laughs> so hoping they'd have bottles of water, but soda will do. More beans, more beans, syrup. I need the water. See more notes to read. Bandage, antibiotics. Flare, flare. Let's take two bandages to replace the one I needed to use. Okay, I thought that was a special book, but no. Conspiracy theorists. Yeah, these those lights keep coming back over and over. Never stops. Ever since that first night. And the walls are strange critters now. It's got to be down to something at Black Rock, but I just don't know. So we're getting fuzzy around the edges. I keep dreaming of the sea, being back on the water again. I see myself tumbling down the mountain. Can't stop myself. River swallows me up. Never should have stayed around here after I got out. It was like a big hole, and now I'm sitting on the edge of it, looking back down. Down where I already was. Like the doc said back then, keep writing. If you're writing, you're breathing. Okay. Well, I don't... I think it uh, went well for him, given he's not here. Uh, but maybe he did get out. You never know. Can't be too negative all the time. Maybe he did survive. Uh, right, I think that's everything we're going to get down here. There's loads of tinder, but we're, we're swimming in tinder. Let's have one last look around here. 
Yeah, cool. All right, we're in a much better way thanks to that. Next thing to do is try and find our way down into the valley, uh, which is uh, this way. So, go back down and try and find that missing guy. Because we can't get to either of them, because we can't cross the river and we can't get down to the valley to find this guy. So, that's the next challenge. My only regret is that we haven't found one of those ear wraps. <laughs> but maybe that's the next thing, next reward. It's going to be a real kick in the teeth giving us back to the. Uh, well, just like leaving it while we go and get cast of the way by the prisoners. No, we can probably just take on the whole bloody place by ourselves at this point. The most heavily armed man in Canada. Right here looked like a likely spot before. Just got to be uh, mindful that it is a valley um, and that uh, I don't particularly want to fall in. Just need like a fallen tree to act as a ways down. Alright, mate. Goodbye, mate. Don't. There's a valley over there. Don't be careful. <laughs> really? He found a way around. No, he didn't. <laughs> well, there's the, uh, there's the drop. We're getting lower. It's not as bad as it was. It seems to be getting higher as we go up, so... Oh, this way will be good. Maybe. Maybe it'll rise up to this sort of level and we can just step down. Okay, now it seems to have dropped again. Actually, no, it's still not too bad. Obviously not survivable. But what we need is a little dip on our side and we should be alright. Oh, well, there's birds telling me something is dead down there. Could be our man. at this stage. Still not low enough. Let's see if I can see him. <laughs> could be a tip of something that could be a dead man. Oh bollocks. <laughs> oh, I just fucked myself. Oh yeah, there's a little ridge. Oh, God. oh no, it's good. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I thought that was it. Uh, now I'm not sure where to go from here. I guess maybe we can find a way up to this area. Stop. Doing that, there we go. Find our way up. Maybe, will you stop snapping me to that? If we go that way, we might be able to find a way down to around this sort of pond area here. It's worth a shot at least. Yeah, it's probably a good shout to save again, yeah. So after, after that. <laughs> this game is very good at not getting you stuck in small places like that, but it's me we're talking about, and that's my specialty, is getting jammed in corners in games. So, let's head back up to where the bunker was, I guess, to see if there's a longer way around to get back into those cliffs. I feel like we haven't explored too much in this sort of rough direction, and we obviously we've been over there. Um, although, I didn't think on it, there was... When we obviously went all the way up there, we obviously could get down in there, because we were looking around something there, so we might just have to go the really long way down. Which, frankly, <laughs> it's horrifying, because it was horrible around there, wasn't it? Um, that old bollocks thing is what we're going to have to do, isn't it? Because oh. if you remember, we um, we went right to the edge there, and we looked over. Um, we spent ages wandering around there looking for a cache, and that was the closest we got to that sort of low valley way. 
so I have the horrible feeling that's uh, that's going to be it. But you never know; we might be lucky. Let's just uh, just nip through here and see if there's a, a better way down. <laughs> yeah, that place is crawling with wolves. It was the site of my one and only story death. Been around here before. Talking about the campfire behind the tree. <laughs> uh, we do meet the forest talkers again. Cool. Yeah, one of the interesting parts of the story. So. Facing the valley, I thought I was going the other way, but I can't be right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just wandering at this point. Should have been collecting sticks, really. Oh, for God's sake. Hurried stick pick up. Okay, it's fine. Well, there's a little ways down here. Maybe that's what this broken tree is supposed to represent. The entrance to the, uh, the valley. No, nope, it seems to cut off. What the hell? What's a man got to do to get down into this valley? Uh, it's not like it could have been a way down, but I'm guessing it's down there. There's Fool's Corner. Well, unless we've got to go like all the way down there, but it doesn't seem like we can, because that was all river from what I remember. Uh, it's going to end up with me freezing to death and not careful. Follow it. But a bit further along this way. Just in case. Rabbit spot near the prison. Maybe. You stop snapping me around, good lord. Very possible. How oh, extremely frustrating. I end up having to look it up, worst case scenario, because otherwise we're spending so much time just blundering. <laughs> yeah, that's just the arch that gets me back to where I was. Right, what I'm going to do is, because I'm pretty much oh, well, I'm closer here than going all the way back around, I'm going to try and see if it gets us, if Fool's Corner gets us there, because I feel like there's another way we can go, because we kept going to Fool's Corner and then doubling back on ourselves and not following down the other path. So I'm going to go all the way up that way and check if it's that way. At least then we ticked it off and we know we don't have to go back to this place anymore. Because the worst case scenario for me is that we wind our way all the way back to the prison. That's not the way we need to go. And we're back to square one. Oh god, I forgot about you. Let's see if we can just get to the road. <laughs> oh brother. At least then we can make some speedier progress. Is there a way through, or is this going to end in a rock wall? That's a way through, okay. And we're going to need to stop and... Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Bet you're the same bloody bear who trundled over and ruined my meat feast earlier. Don't you? I ought to shoot you, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Maybe we're going to back on ourselves a little bit. There's the road, I think. Right. 
think we'll find a spot to make a fire. I think I might want to make some more coffee. That'll keep me warm. I'm aggressive. Which way is the wind going? That way, okay. Yeah, there we go. If you like how you can check the direction of the wind just by looking at the clouds. It's quite cool. Uh, oh, not quite. Does it just change direction on me? No, I'm just not behind the tree enough, I don't think. Maybe? I'm going to windbreak there. Yeah, as long as it's in a windbreak, I suppose it's fine. Let's start with some sticks. Probably, yeah. Uh, we've got loads of firewood from that bunker, so we just chuck some fur on and call it a day. <laughs> that should help with the encumbrance as well. Actually, get some water. <laughs> it gets my heat all the way up. Let's drink this lot, make some more, make some coffee. Crack on. No, I don't think you're going to last very long. The fire, I mean. Oh, fucking brilliant. <laughs> Oops, let me just do that. Uh, we might just have to retreat to the bricklayers' retreat and sneak into the morning. Uh, and crack on that. Next session, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I think I need things to do on you before I head back. I guess the coffee will keep me warm enough for you. Try and blunder past a moose in the dark. It's very fun. I'm really entirely relying on my map to determine when I'm on the right side. There's a dead wolf there. Nice. But even with the coffee, I'm still freezing. How cold is it? Minus 25. Toasty, toasty. In the right way. Yeah, it's not far. The only game I've ever played where the weather can set back your progress more than anything else. Okay, yeah, I'll start going in a bit now. Should be able to find the outside of the uh, pond. Yeah, okay. Very good. Scare the outside. Probably a bit of unnecessary scarcity. Really, but don't really want to run into that moose when I can't even see. Tearing up some of our clothes. It's using up some space in our inventory, aren't it? Uh, feels a bit wrong to tear up a, a new hat. But, uh, we've got those trail boots that we can rip up as well. It's going to take some time. Okay. 
I think he's at least above 70. <laughs> yeah, this, I guess, I might be dying a little bit. I mean, it's much, much too late to go out now, but... Alright, how much water do I have? 25, okay, let's, uh, let's get the fire going. Make a bit of water for the night. Uh, might, uh, you know, cook up some peen bees. Oh, this isn't the floor. Okay, yeah, I'll tear them up while I've uh, got the light from the fire. Well, I think you can rip up in the dark, which is a bit weird. But... Turned out pretty well. There we go. Cook me some delicious peen bees. I haven't found a bloody cooking box in the best, but there you are. Uh, no cooking slots available. How about now? <laughs> Delicious. Beats eating wolf steak. Indeed. Have we got. A fair bit of space, so ding, ding, ding. Seems like we've got some extra gunpowder as well. Um, am I going to have to chuck something else and use it? Harvest. Oh, it might be alright. Yeah, cool. That's just enough light to find our bed. <laughs> I'm going to go for the old eight hours and see where we go. Sleep needed. Speak to you. Got some soda now, so lack of water isn't as bad. Is that it? Is that going to be it? Light, warm. Well, not warm, but light. Right, if I remember rightly, yes. Even though it's a cloth, ah, oh, bollocks. Is there any just like stuff draped over? I think you tear up this little thing, um, but apparently not. Oh well. We'll just keep an eye out for more cloth and then we can make more, can't we? You find someone that's got curtains, we can rip them up. <laughs> right, that's another storm successfully survived. Now we've got to uh, push on into somewhere a bit more dangerous to find that sodding worker. Mm. We've got plenty of wood. I just would rather not have to survive in a cave, if, if I'm honest. Let us... Because we're going somewhere scary. I mean, I'm going to be coming off in five minutes anyway, but... Just to save often. Hey, yeah, mate. Then by the time we get there and back to uh, Foreman's clear cut, then at least one of our wolf skins um, will be cured. Be a third of the way there to the scary wolf jacket that hopefully keep them off my back. Because I think there's like a percentage chance that they'll just be scared um, right off just from seeing you. So if it reduces the amount of bloody wolf attacks, that's something. Because they've really ramped it up to 11 this time around. on the non-snowy bits of the road. Oh, well, I'm making it past my old fireplace, so at least we're closer than we got last night. Should have plenty of daylight, so as long as we don't get turned around by a bear again, we should be fine. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, the wolf cloak is like one of the warmest, second only to the bear cloak, I think. Just in case. I 
I'd rather not tangle with them. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Did they see me? Yes. Well, that's just fucking perfect, isn't it? I guess we're going back to the old lady's hut, saving there, and we'll try again next Saturday. I think now's a good time for this. I see the lights of their eyes. Hell, my ears. See, I can't get a clear enough shot on them. I'm going to have to use this and just hit the fire to try and get them away. Let's just keep backpedaling to the. Uh... Yeah, if it's going to keep storming, we're going to have to, but. I don't want to waste the last three minutes of this just bumbling through a storm. This <laughs> off. Progress forward with the wolves no matter what. It's just irritating. <laughs> We're just slowly burning through our ammunition on them. But I'd already made the call to backtrack anyway, so. I could look at my uh, temperature. There's just no point pressing on in a storm like this. I'll be dead before I can get there. Thank you. Too early in the morning though, so we should be able to just wait out the storm the and then uh, making my head feel thick. Be alright from there. Fingers crossed. There's not even a shelter I can aim for, is there? It's not even bloody warm enough in here. Uh, right, let's just get you going and then there's enough time to basically uh, how much accelerator have we got? Wow, we've got two more stored. See enough time to smash up those shelves and then that'll last us a few hours. Okay, now we're in 30 minutes. We've got another lock on there. Oh, yeah, not gonna be enough. Oh, I don't know. We've done a lot of bumbling around this session. We're just trying to get the lay of the land, I think. It's those workers that are the, the problem. Um, we just haven't been able to find them and it's been quite frustrating, but. Hopefully we've set ourselves up to uh, to succeed next session. Um, but I think that's just the nature of the game, really. Let me... I'll wait out the storm and then end it so that we're not starting next session just in a storm. <laughs> These aren't cap tails. I guess we'll sleep for an hour and hope it buggers off. I guess we've had the last few sessions where we've made tons of progress, you have to stall eventually, don't you? And we got the moose satchel. So. Well, I think because we are possibly close to getting into the valley where we are, and assuming we don't get rebuffed again by another storm, I'll try the valley one first. If there isn't a way down in the valley, then yeah, I'll just... I'll go back to the far one. I mean, if we can't get down the valley from where we are here, it's going to have to be by the prison anyway, isn't it? So that will put them together into the same sort of area. Um, so I just want to check off that um, we can't get there through Fool's Corner. Um, and then go from there, really. Because either way, it's going to take us a lot of finding. So let's sleep for an hour. Hopefully the bed will give us the extra warmth we need to uh, wait out the stop. That sounds promising. Yeah, that's that's got to be cool enough to. You know, maybe, maybe not, but it should warm up. Either way, we'll do. We can make a stick fire in that. So we are back. 
surrounded by cold uh, and wolves and one incredibly angry elk. <laughs> I keep getting, there it is. I keep getting rebuffed by snow and wolves. There they go, there's illustration of both. Um, but we're trying to get to the sodding workers in the valley who, if they aren't dead, <laughs> they soon will be. Um, by going up this long ass road to about here and seeing if we can get down to there. That's a sum up of, uh, of where we are. Terra Bedroll, yes, you did mention a comment on that. Might as well. Uh, I'd actually forgotten you can harvest bedrolls. Hour and a half, bloody hell. Oh, at least it's cleared the snow. Apparently it took an hour and a half to get bored of that rabbit you were eating. Right. Have we got anything that needs repairing? Yeah, the gloves do. 25 minutes, that's not too bad. Hello to the both of you. Or to the three of you, I should say. Uh, yeah, we can make bombs. Maybe we should just, like... Actually, do we have food to camp here? Yeah, we've got a ton of food. We can eat that pork and beans. Keep here for the night. Have a crack in the morning, I guess. Use this night as a sort of build and repair. I don't like how close you are. Build and repair night. What's a noisemaker? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we got loads. We got loads. I wouldn't trust myself handling gunpowder, to be honest, but... <laughs> I'm not a bush pilot, or whatever they call the equivalent in Canada. Let's make a bunch. Uh, we'll make two more, obviously, so we'll burn through all our cans, but... There we go, that's a lot of bombs. That should help us with the inevitable timber wolf attacks. It's probably a good thing I didn't try and press on, to be honest. Uh, is that wolf eating everything on that rabbit? Just in case there's like a bit of desiccated rabbit meat or something. Waste not, want not. Also see if there's anything in that deer. I think we don't need to bring it to like there. Dead wolf over there. He has despawned <laughs> the little rabbit. No, wait, there it is. Usually when they walk away, they've eaten it all, but... Let's see if I can scrounge for scraps. <laughs> Nothing to harvest yet, they've eaten it all. It must just be rotten meat from you, right? Carcass condition too low to harvest. I guess I'll just have to make do with cattails. Deer boots. Yeah? You can see that? I mean, I think our boots are pretty shitty, so that would help. We've got a deer skin, I think. Possibly in the um, forest is clear cut. Hey, buddy. I ain't going for that wolf. That's a bit too close to you for comfort. Um, but there's plenty of dead deer around, aren't there? So we'll snag a skin when we go past it. Ah, come on, you're not that cold. It's only uh, minus six. <laughs> it's positively warm for these parts. Oh, that feels like another storm's brewing. I can hear the wind whipping up. Yeah. So that's, uh... Been three storms in a row, I think, which is a bit harsh, but... Hopefully it means that it'll be nice and clear in the morning. Well, I still warm up in the, uh... Wind break, it's just a bit odd. Hey buddy. Let's collect some sticks to stretch out our firewood supply. Two, I think, for boots, three for pants. I was playing it last night. <laughs> and then we need a bunch of gut as well, and I have a feeling we've been leaving gut behind because we haven't been focusing on crafting anything. So we're gonna have to get some of that as well. But a clear cut will be like our central base for this whole half of the map so we should be able to just get everything back there. Is that another stick? Yeah. Might as well push the limit of the uh, temperature out here to gather some sticks. That'll make a nice fire. Save our wood for 
to push up. I have a feeling we're probably going to need to dive aside and make a fire at some point on the way up. No matter how many good clothes we seem to get, it's not good enough. I think we just got spoiled in our uh, last few missions where we got like the Mackinac jackets and stuff that I mean you can just wander out without worry. Let's head, head in just in case it is so cold that when you start to cool down in there. It's, uh, it's not the best hut. I mean, if we could just close the windows, that might be uh, something. <laughs> oh, but then you have to worry about the door. If it were me, I'd probably see if I can hang some sheets over the door or something as a minor windbreak and then keep in my uh, bedroll, but... The wind's going the other way, so... Feels like night is coming. There we go. Right. Okay. Do we have anything that could benefit from a repair while we've got a brief bit of time? Yeah, you. Might as well make the most of it. 98, 99, 88, 2, 79. There we go. Get my wool socks. Might have time for one more. It's for you. Is it going to be in time until the spike of the sun disappears? Yeah, it's fine. What's the weather like? Okay, it's windy now rather than snowy. That's a proper gale going on out there. We should have one. And there's also one still on the uh, thing. Yeah. I should have just lit the fire rather than going to the door. It really impresses one how your sense of spatial awareness isn't as good as you think it is. Maybe I can use the sparks on this before it lights. There we go. Loads of tinder. I'm not going to waste my fire striker. I wonder why wood matches are split. Sometimes they seem to split and sometimes they don't. It's a bit odd. Uh, we've only got reclaimed wood. Doing worse for wood than I thought. But hopefully it won't be too cold that we uh, we freeze without a fire. Just want to get some wood, cook up that shitty tin of pork and beans. Um, scarf down some antibiotics if need be. <laughs> I mean, if the tin is sealed, I don't see how it can be an issue, but... If it's, uh, if it's busted, then... Oh, we've also got coal as a bit of backup, but... I don't want to use, like, the good fuel. Unless we really have to. Just because I don't know what's coming. Uh... Rusty pork and beans. Okay, it's rusty, that's why. So it's probably been exposed. But that's fine. Heat cures everything, obviously. I can't get water on me. A smidgen. Enough to stop me from uh, having a little cold at the prison, yeah. I mean, wood doesn't bother me too much. All we need to do is just one clear day so we can hack up a bunch of cedar logs. Um, it's food that's always the, uh, the issue, but I guess we can survive on our trusty cattails for a while. You pork and beans is not bad food-wise. Oh, yep. What a way to die. Oh, I just want to die. There we go. That'll help you. Uh, it's fine. Should probably make some more of this. We're going to drink most of it before it goes. And most of the fire. And then we should be able to sleep off most of the food poisoning. <laughs> Suddenly a bit of light food poisoning. It's fine. Um, because we're on story mode, we don't have to worry about not being able to sleep because of the... Uh, we're well rested. Let's crunch you up. Grab some more on the way up. We've got lots of heavy hitters in the food supplies, like condensed milk and just these lot, so I'm not doing too bad, it's just I'm gonna start running out of the uh, weaker stuff. 
not too long. You. They've got enough noise makers. It's a good balance between weight and damage. We can always make more next time around here. There's plenty of cans around. Start sleeping mm. off this uh, food poison in there. Uh, eight hours. Maybe we should have a look for birch bark as well. I'll try and get that condition back up. That's actually not too bad. How long is left on your food poisoning? Two hours. We can see another two hours. Easy peasy. It's strangely ominous music, just <laughs> we're going to sleep to. So I'm going to look around, there's going to be a deer head at the window. Uh, might want to be a lookout for shrooms too, yeah, could not hurt. Oh god, that's probably why the music's going crazy, because there's another snowstorm. It's going to be way too cold to go out in the morning anyway. Let's give it another hour's kip to have. Suicide going. What the hell was that gobbling noise? The turkeys nearby? No, I think it's the ice cracking. Okay. <laughs> um, some soda that will kill both the uh, calorie and the thing needs. It's alright. We repaired everything, I think, before. Actually, no, you could probably do with a touch up. I'm trying to find ways to use the time that isn't just sleeping. It's going to have to get to midday and we're probably going to have to push off no matter what. Um, just in case. How my guns doing? 75... 70, oh, we're going to dump the hacksaw, aren't we? Just put it in there for the mo. As long as we don't really need it in the mo. Put some flares in there as well. Save some weight. Can't repair you. Give me one more. I suppose we could just chuck them during a timber wolf attack, couldn't we? I think it's getting better. <laughs> that might just be a. Uh, Hope rather than the truth. We have spent about ten minutes in this bloody place, unable to leave because it's so naff outside. Yeah, let's go. In. I want the arrow to be at most going down by one, because then we can get it back by hiding quicker, and we don't want to have to keep hiding and making fires on the way. So let's give it one more hour and then hope <laughs> upon hope that it buggers off. Yeah, not too bad for pistol bullets, rifle bullets. Ah, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Ooh, I wish I had my crampons back from survival. Although they say that they um, make it less likely that you fall on slopes when you're wearing the makeshift crampons and then in my survival game I managed to sprain my wrist and my ankle in quick succession so apparently not even crampons can save Will from just tumbling all over the place. Yes, you're a little hungry but you're going to have to tighten your belt. But I will see if I can just dive over to the other side of this lake, get some more healthy and nutritious cattails. Will's favourite food. Yeah, it was amusing for you. <laughs> I was trying to track a deer at the time and it did not help. Okay. That 
to do for, well, I guess, lunch. It's like breakfast, but we slept through breakfast. <laughs> right, so the road should be bulging out around here. And then we just got to follow it. It's probably going to go through all of this stuff, and then that's not the way down to the valley, and we look like idiots, but... Um, yeah, we need gut, don't we? Well, there's a bunch of dead wolves around um, the clear cut. Because that's just we got attacked by like three timber wolf uh, attacks in, in one, so we should be able to get plenty of gut from there, even if the meat's no good. Um, otherwise, we're bound to be killing more wolves very soon. If we get attacked again, what I'll do is I'll chuck the um, flares first, because I'm just not using them, we might as well get some sort of uh, use out of them. Hopefully, that'll be enough that one or two bombs can just clear them out. Save our bullets as best we can. Nope, oh, that one's still scared. Might be the bear that's wandering around, actually. <laughs> it's been a few days since I've tangled with a wolf, so... out. So if Wolfie does come, you know that makes me way slower and then mind. <laughs> I just have to be quick on the draw. Actually, I think I'm slow because I'm walking into the wind, it's hard to tell. Are we on the long stretch? Not yet. It curves around and then we go on the long stretch. We should have the wind at our back. There's something. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> Bye. Maybe you're scared because you're on your own or something. Maybe I, maybe that's like the one survivor of the pack that attacked me before. Because I killed one outright and shot the other one, so... Hopefully I'm getting a legend amongst Timberwolves as a sort of murderous killer. Is there anything down there? Let me just try and take a peek through... No, it's just back to where the uh, thing is. I was trying to take a peek through the fallen trees because they seem to be little markers for interesting stuff. Yeah. The only um the only problem I have with that sometimes is like they'll run scared past you but they'll collide with something or whatever triggers their uh, aggressive stance again and then they'll just nip you in the arse. So I usually just follow them like, with my uh, with my camera just in case they're not about to munch me. Congratulations on the knitting, Nina. And this is all looking rather familiar. I had hopes we wouldn't have to come back here again because of that horrible time we had last time with the aggressive wolf that we were sent to kill, but needs must as the devil drives. Yeah, okay, I think we... Just... Mm -hmm. I can't remember how we quite got down there. So we'll come off the beaten track in a mow and explore. Someone's waiting for us to come off the beaten track. Okay, can't, I know we can't get into the mine yet, I don't think. It's got like a bridge that we can't cross. It's got a locked gate or something on it. Um, I just want to check if it's like up here and then around. Let's uh, dive in. At least in the uh, valley it should be sheltered from the wind, unless it cuts through the valley, in which case it's going to be even worse. Okay, well, I don't think that's actually going to work, but... The topography of the map isn't the greatest for figuring out where we're supposed to be going, but... Because, uh looks like we're supposed to be able to get through there and funnily enough 
Uh, not without some mountaineering equipment. A fuck ton of coffee. But we're gonna get through there. Speaking of which. Mm. I think that might be the bloke over the bridge the other way. Um, because we saw that port cabin. Um, but it was over that broken off bridge, so we weren't able to get over to it, which we think might be behind the prison. Um, but again, it's all just unfortunate guesswork at the moment. I see you over there. Indistinct wolf shaped blob. And there's your friends. So that's going to be me getting out my patented wolf defense system. Yep. Get you gone, you beasts of Satan. Don't want to back up into a cave. That didn't really do much, but... Oh, it's just scared you. <laughs> uh, let's get some big booms on. They really do pack a wallop, don't they? We've got four of the fuckers with scope to make more, so... Wow, he really went for it. Holding a lip bomb in my hand probably isn't a smart move, but... There we go. Later, alligator. I think that was a regular wolf in with the timber wolves, but I think he's pissed off as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I my ears are ringing after that. Let's have a celebratory snack. <laughs> 600 calories are not to be sniffed at for something that only weighs 0.2 of a kilogram. If they ever patch cattails to not be that good. Okay, you were scared. Cool. I think I'm going to make a personal trip to the Hinterland Games. Dev Studio. <laughs> okay, this looks like it might be promising. Again, we could be barking up the wrong tree, but yeah, this is Fool's Corner. You have to throw in multiple times, okay. Well, I can try that out next time. Yeah, we've been here before. <laughs> Let's see if our hunch was on the money. I seem to remember there was a way down to the left that sort of snaked away that we never went down because we were trying to find the cache at the time. Let's see where I am. Fool's corner. Might be able to just follow the valley along from here. Also, apologies if you can hear the rain outside. <laughs> it's of course summer in England, which means rain. Oh, what's right at their faces? Oh god. Well, let's hope my panic throws are up to the uh, to that standard. The wind is whipping through the valley, which isn't helping. Oh, please let me snake through there. This ends in a dead end. Okay, no. It was a gigantic hole, which I wasn't expecting. I may have meant we waste our time, in which case I have no idea how to get down to that valley. Whatsoever. And we'll have to go back to the prison and try again that way. There's a deer. I'm going to be able to get some guts and skin. Maybe, uh, maybe this won't be a waste after all. Can't help it. I'm a nervous man. Mm, what's the accelerant have we got? Uh, let's just think some gunpowder in. I want it quick. Not to waste time. That did it. Your hide and your gut.
leave the meat. That would just be suicide. <laughs> Ooh. I hadn't put my money in one of these being around. Which begs the question. Where the bloody hell are we? Oh, okay, we're here. Yeah, okay, these just down there rather than down to the valley, but maybe we can actually find some shit and not be complete waste. But then again, this is sort of what you do in surviving, isn't it? You just, oh, hey. Just sort of bum around looking for stuff, so. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting another one of you. Defend myself. Terrible condition, but it might be loaded. It's got one shot in it. I don't even know what gets from harvesting probably metal parts on the way about that. Painkillers. Wee, warm climbing socks. I'll take you back. This was a good idea. <laughs> a bit more warmth for us. Are you fully reloaded? Yep. We're not um, up to the eyes in ammo, but we're not doing too badly. Let me just explore around this rock wall, see if there is no way up and around. How's my okay. God, it's not like survival where your clothes get waterlogged after like two seconds in the snow. <laughs> Up, is it? That's just a pleasant rock formation. But we should be able to use this hill to bypass a long section of road, so. I guess all roads are going to lead back to the prison. I'm going to have to go there and try again. Hope that we actually get a proper look round without that sodding wolf <laughs> repeatedly attacking me. Uh, but it's worth a shot. Don't feel so bad now that we've at least managed to swap out our clothes for some better gear. And we can take the wolf skin back in there. Uh, not wolf skin. Deer skin back in there. Uh, start making something useful. So I cut across there. Much better to sneak through there. Going off the beaten track a little bit, see if there are any more hunters' blinds around. <laughs> Pond like area near the prison that you didn't like. I don't like half of this map to be fair. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was wandering around there. But oh okay, goodbye. That's me almost blundering into death looking at the map. Uh, I'll go I'll go the long way. Long way is long way is good. Uh yeah. I mean we did have a look around there because you couldn't find a way down. Well, I had this bright idea, but we think we need to go past the um, prison anyway to get the other one, so back to prison it is after we stop off at Foreman's clear cut. I need to eat something relatively soon as well, and drink something. That's where they got any soda, do I? A cold cup of coffee, but I don't really want to waste that. Um, let's just have you. Make me slightly thirsty, but... Water's easy to come by, isn't it? A dead bloke there. Or oh, is that just a rock? Might be able to cut through here, actually. Yeah, there is really... It's been heavy on the bears every time we try and find someone new. That's dead wolf. It's frozen, though. It's taking its gut. It's going to take 20 minutes. Ah, uh, well, we need, we need a ton of gut anyway, so... This, uh, providing there are no bears, um, should lead us to form to clear cut and possibly a sprained wrist. Because <laughs> this guy falls like a fucking sack of potatoes every time he goes down. Although this cut through of mine is looking less cut through and more dangerous drop. Um, oh no, that's that's doable. <laughs> that's doable. 
Skyrim horse skills will see me through. Oh, okay, you had a full wall crouch, which is a bit weird, but we got plenty of we got plenty of stuff. It's fine. <laughs> What's the point of having painkillers if you don't use them? So you know, he's had a rough day. Bit of prescription painkillers. Cheer him up a bit. There we go. We are returning with gut skins and a brand new opioid addiction. Just saw. Oh, okay, this is a rock. I just saw like another black circular top there, and I was like, oh, I swear to God, that's another bear. Right. No, uh, fifty-nine percent cured. Fifty-eight percent cured. I popped up over that. Might as well just pick you up. Wolf pack cured. Whatever's cured can go in the drawer to use later. Plop that down on the floor. Ding, 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 ding. Should be enough gut for the boots, I think. It's only about two or f so either two or four we need. So either way, we should be good. Right. I need to go make some water. We'll probably stay here for the night because it's a bit uh, a bit late. Okay, you're not in a thing, so we're gonna have to put another one here if we can. There we go. Uh, okay, we've only got reclaimed wood to light it with, which isn't great. Let's see if we can get some sticks. Oh, really? <laughs> you know what? Just, just, just fuck it. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Uh, see what? Let's just sleep for an hour in here, and hopefully they'll leave, and then we can come out and do what we need to do. Yeah, that, that was funny. Um, okay, there's no window screen, so we can just use this previous one, which is good. Oh, that's what's looking for, some sticks to get the fire started. Had to go in nuts over something. Probably one of the many dead wolves. <laughs> yeah, there's a dead wolf over there, I think. Or a dead bloke. And not to be crass, I feel like it's um, a bit of a cop-out that you can't carve up the dead people for guts and stuff. <laughs> I'm saying I really want to do that, but in a survival situation, if gut is what you need to make traps and stuff, like, humans have plenty of them. I forgot we'd left you out here. Nice. Okay, so we need to worry about really is water. Come on, come on. That looks promising. No, that didn't work. I shouldn't have said anything. Jinx that one. It's really, it's annoying that the fire striker is so good, but you can't repair it, so you just, you just never use it. <laughs> Even though it's by far the best fire starter, I think, in this game. I'm having much luck with this fire at the moment. <laughs> He's probably already traumatised, what's a little bit on top of it? He did, after all, get mauled by a bear multiple times. That's got to be uh, doing something to your psyche. Leave that guy in there. Just want to investigate what the uh, what they're crowing about. 
You should know not to say anything. I don't know what that means, love, but that's very ominous. Uh, okay. That's frozen, though. Uh, it's going to take about half an hour to do the water. So, uh, you should do. Might as well. Oh, what do you mean in terms of the I fire here? Yeah. if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Thanks, Will. Uh, yeah, I got that after you said it. <laughs> yes, I know. I shouldn't jinx things. <laughs> yeah. It just sounded like you were telling me to not say anything as I was walking off to find a dead wolf, and that was, uh, yeah, very unsettling. Okay, the fire will, should just be long enough to, to get it. Read more. You smell your cooking brethren? Wait until it's done now. The sun's setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. I need to find food. Yeah, chill. Your food is ready in twenty minutes. Probably one of the other wolf meats out here as well. That way I can uh, just get my calorie store up so I can head out in the morning. Back to the bloody prison to explore around where all those people got shot and they all got lined up. Best deer hide. I never find this damn bird lead trailer. <laughs> I think I swing around too much when I'm looking. They should be directly ahead of me. Cardboard box. But there we go. <laughs> I don't know if the little clicking make, loses oil or not, actually, but... Ah, sleeping with my trusty lamp. Uh, let's drink you. I'm really trying to avoid eating those bloody uh, sardines, because they always give me food poisoning when they're below 50%. <laughs> Without fail. I really wish we had a cooking pot so I can make a litre of oil rather than having to do tiny half litres at a time so I would run out. He probably would, to be fair. He's a sensitive soul. Then I say these things, but I'm not sure I could do it either, to be fair. <laughs> um, I guess you never really know what you can do until you're in that situation. Yeah, I thought it'd be light. Uh, let me get another hour in. Sounds like it's storming out there, which isn't helpful. Okay, seems a bit better now. Alright, any of you guys are reasonably close? No, you've still got ways to go. I'll have to pop back here then. Okay, I was expecting a storm, but uh, it's actually fine. I stick to the road this time rather than spraining all our limbs. Get sticks to make the emergency water fire. Did I pick up the tin can? No, I didn't. <laughs> Only instead of just remembering to do things, and I'll remember to have a check to pick things up that I forget. Oh boy. Uh, might as well just eat the other. Mmm. Ice cold wolf meat.
Oh yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think we're that far. You just gotta go past Cook's farm and then take the road up. Let's see if we can get into the valley from that side. <laughs> it's a bloody valley. sun goes up a little bit more, we should start warming up, so I'm not too worried about temperature. Let's try to find low elevation if we have to go off the... yeah. Yeah, let's go to the... Um, well, the lowest point is the bridge, which we're about to go over, I think. How close is Cook's farm to it? That's pretty low elevation. looks like it sort of goes back up a little bit of a hill there and then it goes over the bridge and then it goes up more of a hill to get to the prison so let's try the edge of Cook's farm see if that's anything and then at least we can check off that portion of the valley that we checked because here it seems to be low poked around the corners of Cook's farm anyway, to be fair. I hear a waterfall. Maybe we can do one of the old like edge behind the waterfall from the cave style things. There's grass leading up to it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it's like stuff like that up there, that the topography didn't make any damn sense because it looks like you can go through there. You can't, but it's not. It's just a scribbled map, isn't it? So, oh, here's the bridge that leads over. At least we can like. Don't think we traverse this bridge. We we'll give a, a view of the valley at least. There's the waterfall. So I just don't see anywhere. Down. Oh, don't go through there. That's not a, a good way down. See, if we could jump, this would be an absolute cinch. Let's just follow you down. Oh, hey. That looks promising. It would also help if they were better, like, more easily visible. Murder on your hands. You're supposed to be wearing work gloves, aren't you? That would be like the perfect thing to climb down with. Other than you know, climbing gloves. <sighs> okay. A long last we're in this sodding valley. Alright, where's the marker? Up this way. Let's edge past the ice cold spray. Hey, yeah, and a free food source as well. Oh, I swear to God, if it puts a bear down here, after all the effort I expect to get, yeah, I'm not going to be happy. They see a thing, and that could be a dead man. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a dead man. <laughs> oh, it could be a rock, actually. Oh, that first one. I don't see Spike is going to rock. It's got a bloody car battery. Or it might be his helmet, actually. There's his backpack. Power company ID. An old ID badge, scuffed and faded. Hope I can still Little eat fish this. in a can. And we've got his ID, and there's the rest of him. You're not an easy man to find, sir. Lost worker's note. A uh, page of a journal, torn out. Keep writing. Writing helps give me focus, and focus keeps me still. I can't remember why I'm here, what I do, or who this woman is. I think we work together? I know her, I think. She watches me scribble this stuff down, but she smiles. Does she know? I try and watch her work on the machines when I wake up. 
and copy her movements when she goes to bed. She tells me things, but they fade away unless I write them down, like the wind picks them up and takes them far away. I keep seeing a river in my head, rushing water to the edge of something, into a deep, foggy place. I just can't remember anymore. Something happened. Thanks, Will. I, I think I could have gathered that something happened. <laughs> I, th I think about this sometimes in like video games where you have a voice protagonist, but to give them personality, they just make them talk constantly. I don't know about you, but if I was completely alone in the snowy wilderness and I read a note saying that a guy was losing his marbles uh, and he was dead, I wouldn't look at the note and go, hmm, something happened. Um, but <laughs> you've got to keep him in the uh, player's mind, haven't you? So you're going to have him spout gibberish every now and then. I might use this little cave to make a quick fire and uh, melt up some water. Have a, a delicious feast of cattails. <laughs> Thing is, the wolves I suspect aren't going to be down here. I might have to sacrifice some uh, reclaimed wood, but that's fine. Yeah, I wonder if it, the mental health is the aurora thing. Um, just making everyone. I mean, the animals are going nuts. God knows what it's doing to. Uh, people. I did it. Should be enough for a bit of water. You know, you, how is that wind even affecting me? I'm in a cave. Oh, that's why it's affecting me. <laughs> uh, well, it's non-possible and we have there we go, so. Alright, I'll take it back. These things are useful. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. And then once we climb up, we should be able to get to the prison to warm up. And then we can start looking for worker number two. Trying to cross the other side of the uh, river. Alright, Pete. When we're in the sheltered place, we can stop and eat all our cattails. I mean, the little climbing area is uh, pretty sheltered from the wind, so should be able to tuck in there. Oh, I missed some. Thought it snagged me. Gonna have a proper feast of nothing but hard, stodgy cattails. Mm. Maybe we should collect enough to market them as a new product when we survive and finally escape the devastation of Canada. It'll be the new post apocalyptic food. Cattail O's. There we go. If we tuck in here, we should, yeah, go warm up. Should have made the fire in here, really. It's a bit more sheltered, but then if the wind comes from the other direction. <laughs> yeah, I've even started using them in survival now, so my mind has been thoroughly changed on the water purification tablets. It's very useful when you only have like a handful of sticks and you need to make water, stuff like that, so I retract my hurtful statements. Might as well get you up to max calories so you don't have to worry about food for a while. That moose satchel is paying dividends as well. We're all, we would have been over encumbered otherwise. Should do the trick. Not ominous guitar time. As long as we dive into wind breaks when we need to, we uh, should be able to warm up again. The temperature it seems to be dropping. With three degrees in a windbreak. Actually, it's getting slightly warmer, I think. That's good.
Probably because it's getting midday, so. It's just going to leave me a shortcut to the prison, hopefully. At least to the road. <laughs> I think it's one of those things you don't appreciate until you are in a bind. But I will always carry some with me now. Okay. It's so this way. Into the wind, unfortunately. What I wonder is during the Aurora whether the cars will work. Because it's only electronics to bust, so it's only the Presumably the battery, um, and I guess maybe if the alternator is electric, I don't know enough about car engines. But presumably if that all works, then you should be able to jump start a car and get moving. Not that you'd only have to, you'd only have one night to drive, but you could just like drive somewhere, camp down until the next Aurora, and keep driving until you can get to either a warmer part of the uh, island, because presumably we're up north of Great Bear Island. Um, or, you know, if they have boats that you can sail over to the mainland. <laughs> that would be my strategy, at least. Alright. Next question is, is there a way to get around this prison? What are we doing for clothing and wetness? Fine. Because we need to get to there. So we're wondering if possibly we can skirt around the prison and cross here. If the river torrent slows down it might freeze, in which case we can walk over it. Oh, the deer has respawned, okay. Well, we'll need to go in there to warm up soon anyway. So we'll um, use that as an opportunity to see if we can find that deer. Is there a way through there? That looks like it could be a cave or something up there. Let's just have a nose. Probably be a sodden bear cave. Yeah, there are walls over that way. This might just be a waste of time, but... Oh! No, there is a cave. I thought that shape was a bear then. Well, I haven't been here before. Because there's pork and beans around, so no, I picked that up. Is that pork and beans or is that soup? No, it's P and B's. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Nice. <gasps> the cooking pot, sweet Jesus. We finally found one that was right next to where we started. Uh, book. Take you. I have some celebratory soda. It's probably a waste, but I'm happy, so. Some decent wood as well. Ooh. Right, didn't answer the question of how you get around the prison, um, but it did give me a cooking pot, so I'm happy either way. I can actually make a reasonable amount of water now, um, rather than having to continuously make it in a bloody tin can. Ooh, judging by the flickering visibility, we're about to hit a proper storm soon. Some you while we're here. Ouch, that was dumb. I was looking at the deer. All the way it was uh, positioned it like a weird bush. This is the area set of traps, yeah. It's probably a good shout, or on the other side. Wherever wherever rabbits are near. Hey, this isn't looking as promising. Rather hoped we could have skirted around there. Maybe we can tuck around there. I don't know if there's a back route out of the prison though. I guess, actually, yeah, because we go through, don't we, and pass the bus, and then we come out into this little area here, so maybe we go to the left that way. 
So we need to go to the prison anyway, I think. We'll see. When we go and hunt that deer, we'll see where on the map we are, and that might give us an indication of where we need to go. Just wondered if we might be able to skirt around and bypass the, the wolf-infested prison. Yeah, I'll pop the pot on top of the pot belly stove. <laughs> Coming soon to Black Rock Prison. Um, right. There's a workbench in there next to the thing, so we'll see. If, although we need the gut for the snare, don't we? And all our gut is back at the uh, clearing, but this is no biggie. Is that an empty flare shell? Or? Yeah. Where I was fighting off that wolf. But then came back and bit me anyway. But I'm assuming he's long dead now. Maximum security institution. Well, it's not so secure anymore. <laughs> I don't know if these guys ever just look out of the door and just see me bumbling around casually. <laughs> around the prison not actually doing anything they've asked because it's been like they're probably over a week or two now that might be getting a little suspicious of me just having a nice little feast of whatever in this little tiny room yeah there is isn't there there just don't seem to be many tree stumps full stop because I was looking for birch bark as well let me smash you up real quick. Just so I can use the reclaim the wood to make some water. So we'll make a bunch of water. Uh, yeah, books, good starter fuel. <laughs> Bless him. I take it he is uh, either asleep or falling asleep. He always looks cute. amount of water I think so we can put half of it in a uh, cupboard in a locker and half of it can come with us so we'll probably need actually all of our reclaimed wood but we've got cedar and fir now so not too precious about the reclaimed wood right so that's going to take a couple of hours is there anything we can do for a couple of hours our socks need repairing Oh, bless him. Yeah, he likes to sharpen his claws on the sofa and armchair. <laughs> and the bed. And the window frame. Uh, oh, you are a little... You're close to being dinged up. Oh, any cloth. But we got mittens. I don't think it would take ten minutes to tear up a pair of mittens. I think it would take about ten seconds. I feel like we're always running into sewing kits, except for when we need them. Oh, we got another 100% one, that's fine then. I also have 26 minutes till boiled. I can't even hack up the table. Presumably because it's got like the clipboard and the thing on it. Shelf though. Hour and 30 minutes, that might be a bit too far. Share it is then. Why not? Let's just tear up everything. And then we can put the wood in the locker, can't we? Man, lockers can hold a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get tinder in there in case we need it, because we've got enough to make tinder for bloody ages. 33 minutes until boiled dry. Okay. Uh, right. Let us put half of you in there. There we go. And we can suck from what we've got here. 
I've also got a soda, which is quite handy. Um, I'll keep the food on me. Actually, no, I could probably dump a bit of this food, can't we? Uh, one of you. Got the peaches and the bed of pork and beans. Some of this coffee as well. Uh, one of you. That'll do. Keep our MRE and our syrup as our emergency supplies. And the rest of the tins we can cook and eat as we go. Open the door into myself there. By stash, do you mean drop it in the metal cabinet or like, or in the locker? If so, I can just take it out and drop it when I go back. So one. Oh, I didn't drop my um, skins, did I? Did I? I did. I guess my my brain is running uh, a little behind my. Uh, the rest of me. So deer respawn, let's just stick our nose into the cold grating. Doesn't look like it. No. There might be wolves around that we can get some gut off, I suppose. Okay, we are. Okay, this might be it then. Speaking of which, can I bean you and get some gut? Yes, I can. Thank you for providing your services. You're fresh as well. Let's get your meat. Let's get everything. <laughs> it's going to take an hour and 25, but that should be fine. We can sleep in the uh, thing. I just want to know if this is the way to go. Let me get back and dump everything, and then head back again. And then I can drop the water in the cabinet. Then. So everything worked out for the best. All it took was a well-placed revolver shot. Didn't even feel like that was a headshot, and it still dropped it. Dunno. Maybe I'm just becoming a sharpshooter accidentally. Thank you. It surprised even me. <laughs> nice, right, get the meat in this little snowy corner. What am I hearing? Oh, is it just a flag? Okay, it's just a flag. I thought it was like something moving. I was a bit confused. Go little pile. We're getting little piles of wolf meat everywhere. But this, I'm assuming this would count as indoors for drying purposes. Might as well leave it. To, yeah, we go. Leave it to cure until we uh, head back to Foreman's clear cut, and then we can just take it with us, can't we? Um, it's a bit bloody in there. Uh, good thing our water is nice and protected. Uh, well, that's close enough. Alright, let's go quick explore to see if we can get over. Um, if we can... We might be able to get there before dark. I guess we'll see. Let's see which way the weather goes as well. So I actually drank my tea in good time today. <laughs> Forgive the crab walking, I'm drinking my coffee. Hmm, <laughs> looks like the weather might be picking off any moment now. Not dangerously close to wetness, but I think I will probably tackle it in the morning if we do find that way across. Yeah, I'd be scared too, mate. <laughs> oh, it looks like it goes right onto the water, but maybe we need to go further out. <laughs> Thank you, dear. It helps when it's literally right in front of me. 
Was that a dead wolf or a dead person? It's a dead person, okay. Died with a flare, that's probably not. It's dead dead prison guard, okay. Wee lock a key. That'll come in handy. Maybe we should explore this place before. What's our choice of weapon? It's not you. Uh. <laughs> Let's see if we can boop a snoot with this, eh? Oh my god, it actually worked. Well, the first time for everything. Might as well pick you up in case anyone else comes and tries to have a go. Okay, looks like this is not the way. This is actually a solid rock wall that runs all the way down there as well, but it's not drawn on the solid map. We've got a locker key out of it, so I guess we can't be too grumpy, but it's just a little frustrating that we just cannot make progress. I guess I have to go back and start um, hugging that wall. See if we can find a way across the river. Just fording it ain't gonna work. Well, let's go crack that locker open while we're here. <laughs> I did boot the snoop with a very spicy, flamey boot. Alright, we want the staff forces. We'll leave you outside, I think. <laughs> Alright, what have you got for me, number two? We have a hey, more bullets. Use this. Uh, comma, combat pants, I don't really need. Leave it there. Ooh. Decent military coat that I will be using. Mac I we did have a Mackinac jacket, that was me chatting shit. Um Mackinac's gonna be way better, so what I will do is I'll put in my other ski jacket in here for the moment. Cause they Having a good time out there? He's grouting grouting at me or the flare. If I move far enough away. It's because I'm not technically in a building, isn't it? So it's trying to get in. This is when we find out that <laughs> wolves can open doors. I'll just fire a shot with this to spook it. Oh no, it spooked itself on the flare. Okay then. Alright. So we got some good gear. Keep running, pal. Uh, we just uh, haven't found a way to progress yet, but. Just going through the prison this way, I think it's just a dead end. I guess we can have a peek, but we couldn't find a way over. Um, but then that was several story events ago, so maybe it's... I don't know. Don't think we can get into Central Prison, can we? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a... dead end, but... Actually, have a look now that we're not running from a thousand and one views. Do not enter until instructed by officer. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that's not going to work. Because, like, we're right on the border of where we want to be. But, uh,. Tells me no dice. There's this like smashed up area here. It looks like 
we might have been able to climb over, but... And then go through the watchtower and out the other side, but it looks like that's a... Yeah, that doesn't look particularly healthily climbable, does it? Oh, well. It was worth a try, but back to the drawing board for the other worker. We'll have to skirt along the river again like we did with the valley and see if we can find a way across. Gotta be a fallen tree or something, right? That seems to be the dumb thing. Let's get rid of you. You, uh, you actually became useful though, so... Looks like flares and water purification tablets have been both maligned and then redeemed <laughs> in the space of one session. You might be the same wolf. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Hey, buddy. I guess so, yeah. Remember this? I'll leave that one burning in case it tries to follow me. So go out by the time we sleep, anyway. Just trying to save a little bit of ammo. Although we did get some uh, rifle ammo, so we're not too bad. Right, so let's go sleep till morning and then, yeah, go head down. Let's just take the map. So we had, we had a look up there. Couldn't find a way across. I didn't. Ooh. That's blocked, though. Maybe we can get down there and then follow it up. Although it looked like a flowing river, though, rather than a frozen river. Um, but there, there's ways to explore, isn't there? We can have a look. But that's that's not a way to go. But we must be able to connect back to this road at some point. Otherwise, what's the point of being there? I guess we'll be back to using that um, substation as a base again for a little while as we try and find a way across. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Yes, that is how time works. Uh, how much wood have we got? A bit of fur and a bit of seed. That's not too bad. Actually, there's books on the shelf, isn't there? Burn one of them. Oh, we've got some reclaimed in the locker if need be. Cook up some wolf meat. Uh, make sure our water supplies are up to snuff. And then sleep till morning. That's done. Fur should be easily enough. <laughs> nice. That's that's gonna cook it evenly, isn't it? Oh dear, bad burger meat. That's not good. Did you have to take antibiotics and sleep for ten hours? <laughs> if only food poisoning went away in ten hours. Litre just to top it up. How is that military jacket for repair? Could do with a bit of love, but we don't have the two cloth. Or oh, I can tear up my socks, can't I? So we got some better socks now. Uh, need one more cloth. There. Anything clothy around here? No, sadly not. I don't know if got anything clothy in here. No. It is a shame, but the jacket's not too bad, so... I guess we'll just wait it out. 
Yum yum. Yeah, should be enough. There we go. And we can sleep in the dying embers of a fire. Something in my journal. Blackboard lockets. Okay, yeah. Okay, looks like there might be a third one or something else, seeing as there's only 33% done in getting one. Ah, uh, good call. Yeah. Yeah, there's usually some sort of giveaway with meat, isn't there? Well done for spotting it. Burgers are um, they're riskier than they, they appear anyway because it's ground beef, so all the bacteria that would normally be on the outside of a steak is all in the middle. So once burgers go bad, they go bad. See a couple of you to get you up. How are you guys doing? 10%. I'll leave you guys here because we can always dip back here on the way to the foreman's clear cut to put it in with everything. Most important right now is just trying to figure out where we're going. Okay. We're either beginning or ending a period of mist. Yes. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> At least you followed your nose properly. Hoping this is the end of the mist rather than the beginning, but I think that might be uh, wishful thinking. If we can just navigate our way to the substation, we can camp there until the mist goes. So. If, we can get, if we can get back to the bridge, then we can start exploring around that. Or it might just be like we just bypass the river onto the other, other island around here-ish, but you never tell in this map if the hills that are drawn are actually hills or not, which doesn't help. Oh, the mist is clearing. That's good. Perfect. Wind our way down, and then I want to try and explore down this way. See if that blocked road will yield anywhere across. Not very hopeful, but it's worth checking off. Hello. Nope. Oh, we use another flare. Oh, it's this way. This might be a shortcut around the wolf. Probably straight into the arms of a bear. Um, <laughs> although it probably lead me past where I want to go. But, oh well. We'll see what happens. The shortcut could be the thing that leads us to cross the river, you never know. No, it's a bloody mountaineer's rope, which is just a waste of energy. And I don't think it's going to get me anywhere interesting. I think I've already climbed down it once, to be honest. Oh well. You evidently really want me to go down there. Uh, we have vegetable fajitas later. Uh, well, that was a pathetic throw. Don't mind if he's a bit. Are you scared? Yeah. Your audio didn't match up with your uh, demeanor there. I might as well get the flare back for the next one. I'm sure there'll be more. 
That helps keep me a little bit warm. Saying about the noise, but I hope <laughs> yes, must. This looks like a shortcut. Down there, yeah. Bypass that little turn there, the jailer's residence, I think. Where we found all that cool stuff in that barn. And this was the cool, fun part of town. Uh, it's, they're not too bad, Vegit Peters. Um, sometimes you do miss the chicken in them. Um, but with enough paprika and cumin and ground coriander, you can make anything taste nice. Um, so it would just be a, a mix of onion, peppers, lettuce, and I'm trying it with some little cute potatoes as well to give it a bit more texture. So, we'll see how it goes. A little bit of an experiment with the potato. That sounds like a yep. Oh, there you are. Hello. Uh, like a little horror film with a little snoop poking out there. But you know what? I got some more ammo for this puppy. So if I can bean one, then we should be happy. I don't know why I reloaded then, that was bad. Uh, so it's a noise maker because there's a few around me. Big bang! And one shot of this. Get rid of it. Yeah, we do get through a ton of paprika. <laughs> See if I can pick you up and throw you, actually. Might be able to get away without wasting another shot. Come on, where are you? Oh, that was pathetic. Oh, they are getting scared of it, it just doesn't lower the overall scariness of the pack. I guess it just stops them from bumping into me. I'll start running away before I can hit them. <laughs> Guys, come on. Hello? Mr. Timberwolves. Ah, the flare's rubbish. <laughs> Alright, well, mate. There we go. No. See, my protein source choice would be to put beans in it. Um, but. <laughs> that ain't happening. I mean, there is a lot of cheese in it. That has a, uh, a degree of protein. Um, so. If we went full veggie, we'd have to, uh, well, one of us would have to bite the bullet about protein sources. Um, but at the moment, it's not a huge deal, because the protein will come from uh, other meals. Saitan, Saitan. Remind me what Saitan is. I can picture it in my head, but I can't remember what it's made from. Or, you know, what it is in general. Yeah, the problem with chicken replacements, again, is the cost. I mean, anything that is fake meat at the moment is just ridiculous. It's like a racket. Um, but texture, to me, is almost as important, and actually probably slightly more important than taste, and I find the texture of chicken replacements to be very tough, and that ruins it. It has the texture of overcooked chicken, and that's not great for me. Anyway, enough rabbiting. Here's the blockage. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to it down there, does it? I was wondering if it had like a, a way across, but this is just a 
a thing, so we're going to have to head to substation and track the whole route. There might be a way down and across there. did try tofu, which was uh, was alright. Again, it's mainly a texture thing that's very just oddly squidgy. Um, but I think I feel like with tofu you have to prepare it bang on, or else it just tastes like squidgy nothing. Because um, you've got to like soak it and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm fussy about my chicken. Because it's one of those proteins where it's just, everybody just cooks it to fuck because they're scared of being poisoned by it, so it just tastes like, you know, shoe leather. And then you get people saying, oh, chicken just tastes like nothing. It's like, no, it's because you can't cook for fuck. Talk about chicken. Piss off. <laughs> Shouldn't waste my revolver ammo, really. But I could see there were two of them, and that one shot would have scared both. I've actually ever been here and it's been oh okay it's too close for me to get anything out without getting caught by it uh loser uh <laughs> well then let's just stay here and have a snack I do wish I could turn my head back. <laughs> what the rearview mirror works. So I can see if he's literally out there. At least I can prepare something in here, can't I? Uh, if he's close, I'm going to have to use this because everything else takes a second to wind up. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that was an awful shot. That should have been an easy headshot, but I pulled the trigger too soon. Alright, let's head to the bridge, see if there's anywhere around the bridge, like this potential route here. That'll leave me to skirt around as a cave. Maybe there's a cave system that connects over. Got plenty of lamp oil, so if it is a connecting cave, that won't be an issue. In case this is a bear cave. <laughs> nah, this looks just a shelter cave, doesn't it? Line workers hideout. Okay. I'll take it. This Herbal tea, in. disinfectant, little cow condition, uh, condensed milk. Our head. Okay, hall there, isn't there? I suppose you carry on through here, do you? You all look like the copy and paste cave. That dashes my hopes. Oh well. I assumed, because it was given a name, that it was something a bit grandiose, but no. It's a proper windstorm kicking up. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll come down. But um, I suspect lobbying from the meat industry is going to keep it relatively priced high for a while. Because meat shouldn't really be as cheap as it is. Um, but hey ho. See if it'll and I try a uh, risky climb across now that we've cleared one worker. I doubt it though. No, he's not that suicidal. Um, I don't see a way across. There's, I mean, there's potentially a waterfall up there. Oh, wrong button. I can't think how we'd get all the way up there.
Uh, maybe aim for where the power lines cross in case there's something there and that's supposed to be a marker. Because those waterfalls are, uh, might be off the map. So you can get down to the river, but something tells me that's not a river you want to wade into somehow. for now. Let's move from substation to substation, see if that gives me any views. Hey, good doggy. I feel like yeah, I've been here already. Let's try and get a top view as well. Let's make sure I'm not right off the edge. <laughs> try jumping. crosses without anything. We need just like a um speaking of which instant watery death reminded me that we should probably save. We need just like an arch of stone or something. Yeah, what do you think you're gonna do mate? Honestly. <laughs> I'm curious if we can even get up here, to be honest. Oh, he can. Oh, you can see his little ears go when he's scared. It's bound to be a couple of your friends around here, so we'll keep this on us. Yeah, there's one. Uh, well, let's get to the substation just in case. They had to have connected the wires up somehow, so they must have been able to get over here. Well, I suppose they'd use that bridge, but I feel like that would be a mic pain in the ass. Well, he's scared, but he's not quite run away scared, is he? But he looks bored more than anything. Are you still coming for me? The music stop. And there you are. Okay. It's another precious revolver shot, nice and lightly. Yes, you're very scary. We're all very scared. Got ya. There's one less toothy bastard in the world. Oh, you're running the way I want to go, which is rather infuriating. Let's just take a peek up in this substation. Pretty sure we've been here before. Pretty sure we've tra traversed this whole area before looking for the way across. Um, you never know. Oh, we haven't been here before. In the plug, a line. Nobody needs this anymore. Cracking supplies there, lads. Yeah, you're pretty good nick, actually. You've got plenty of space, so... That's the thing, I'm not even sure where the long way is anymore. Because we've looked all up here and couldn't find a way across, and we can't get up there because it caps out around here. Because that is a rock wall. Mm. But then we didn't come up here before, so... Maybe let's try following the wires and see if that yields any results. We might have stopped and make fire relatively soon. Sort of wires cross and that ain't doing anything for us. Hmm. I wonder if this is a after main story mission and the bridge gets repaired or something. Okay, you're coming at me. I thought you were scared for a second. Thank you. 
that work? Yeah, okay. And we're getting a bit lower down to the river. But it doesn't seem to be a way across, even looking up there. So the wires might have been a red herring. You know, maybe it's warm water, you never know. There's the next substation. I might have to uh, slyly Google this one on the side after this session. Just to see how you get across, just in case it is a bridges rebuilt story mission thing. You have to find a path, okay. Okay, never mind that then. We can like push this tree over. Skirt down as slow as we dare. Okay, here's a little uh, cross there. Again, I still can't see any way across. Anything across there. Hmm. Can't even get up there, so that's not going to be the. Uh, well, I can, but it is a mission to get up there. What's that in the distance? Is that another bridge? might be the bridge from the mine? No, different river. It can't be that bridge. No bridges listed on the map. But we couldn't get past there. That just curls around into the mine, so where the bloody hell are we supposed to go? Doesn't seem to be any other way across. It's right there. Stones throw away. Guess we're doubling back again. Oh, there's that cache that we found before. <laughs> Again. Yeah, we do need binoculars. I'm rapidly running out of flares and patience for you guys. The question is if that is a bridge, how the sodding hell we get there? think much of that, so uh, yeah, you're also better bullet wise, aren't you? Oh, another wolf eventually to die, so Let's just hug this wall. Guess we can see if there's like a little uh, cave system or something that might lead us through. This is a good place to put down a snare as well. Speaking of, that could be something. We see something that travels alongside the river, really, that bypasses the prison, because we can't get around the rock wall in the prison. Another cave. What kind of caves in this damn cliff face, but nothing useful. Nope. Not a sausage. 
Yeah, a bit more coal never hurt anyone, I suppose. Well, that was an arrow then. <laughs> Telling me to like dig in this way. It really looks like an arrow, that's really sketching me out, but I think it's just a splodge. It ends in a splodge, so... Let's ignore the uh, arrow texture there. Were you there before? I just walked straight past you. I'm going to freeze to death if I try and uh, carve you up now. I'll have to leave you to another day. Yeah, right next to the substation, it's really easy enough to fight. <laughs> Not a sausage, just means nothing there at all. So. <laughs> I'm not even sure where that's from, to be honest. It sounds like I got it from a show or something. But I don't know. We're warming up even in the uh, in the full brunt of the wind at the moment, so okay. Every time I keep thinking, ooh, we might have found a way to go, it turns out I'm facing the wrong way. Just trying to hug this wall, but it's actually that way. To the river. There's the uh, rope that leads up to which I ain't wasting my time climbing. I will have some delicious cattails. If it looks on the map, the bridge fells there. The bridge has got to be like here where that road comes, but there's no way to go around this bit. It's all just rock face. Unless we go the other way and it loops round, follows up round that way, that's a possibility I suppose. There's something there that could almost indicate a road. I suppose we've got to try it, haven't we? There was that smidgen of road, because that's where I thought the um, truck was ages ago. So maybe I was just a little too hasty in leaving. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Yeah, that meme did crack me up. Um, the favourite part being that you can see the presenter desperately trying not to burst into raucous laughter and then zoom in on the puppet. Uh, I have a feeling Joel is obsessed with that meme. He seems to be blogs it on Tumblr like constantly. Yeah, time to get rid of you. Sorry, dear. I'm hugging this wall, but I think it's rather fruitless now, because we're up to the uh, Jaden's residence. Yeah. I think we had best test the next theory um, and break a couple of limbs as we go. Uh, <laughs> right, which way to the prison? This way. All right. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to wind our way across there. I'll see if there are any uh, routes as I walk that might lead us snaking back to the river, but my current suspicion is that we have to go up and around um, <laughs> Oh, it's a small pack Should have waited an extra second and gotten a headshot with that one Keep moving, see if we can set up a firing line as they race down the river. Come to my garden. No, that didn't hit. Ugh. Don't want to waste any more shots on these fuckers. Wrong one. What's this? Damn it. 
I said I don't want to waste any more shots on these fuckers and then waste a handful of revolver shots. <laughs> While I'm here, the thing is they have a bit of a weird delay in attacking. Okay, it's up and then to the left. Alright guys, you uh Coming back. Still want to play? I can't even hear them anymore. <laughs> They're probably stuck on the terrain somewhere. Well, I'll test the old uh, prison theory. Um. If that doesn't pan out, then I guess we'll have to Google it, I mean, just in case. Um, because I kind of want to get, I want to get this sort of uh, mission done so we can see a bit more of the main story. Um, but in 15 minutes, we should be able to get back to the prison, so. I think I can hear one. Evidently, still. Oh, hey, buddy. You're just a regular bitch ass wolf, so. And there you go. Yeah, let's see, I've got about 21 shots of this left. Not great, not terrible. The timber wolf seemed to be a wall. And yet still aggroed. Hopefully that doesn't. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it seems appropriate. Hopefully them being aggroed will not block anything else from happening. There surely must be a limit to how far away you get before they de-aggro. But I guess we'll test that theory. Yeah, right, you should be able to test the. Uh behind the prison theory. Let's see if it holds any water at all. Um, there we go, they've gone. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we'll have somewhere nice and warm to save for the next session, won't we? dead men that are piled up everywhere. Can we go indoors? How do you mean? Let's peer at the prisons. Go. Ding. I got any quick food? Let's drink you. That will get both up, won't it? And soda won't give you food poisoning because it's just sugar. <laughs> it's just carbonated sugar syrup. You're trundling in. <laughs> Got you in the ass with that one. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, they did. The staff was a uh, staff takedown was a bit brutal. Am I crazy? Or was there a road leading away from the prison this way? Probably crazy. Yeah, 
No, it's just a little enclosed space here, isn't it? Hey lads, an enclosed space for the wolves. For some reason I thought this area was bigger than the first appeared, but no. This is the highest up the map we could go, so I don't know how many we're supposed to go up there. Hmm. We couldn't even walk further along the valley because it capped out around there. Um, in that sort of cave, so... Hmm. Hello. You really make exploring a pain in the arse, you know that? to follow me, you really can, but I don't suppose we can go in here yet. Yeah. Is it still coming? <laughs> Sounds like it. Maybe we'll get scared by all the meat of his friends that's hanging around. There we go. <laughs> if we just do a little of this. Does that despawn him? The other thing we haven't really tried is exploring around this sort of courtyard area. Diagro, but didn't do spawn. But it doesn't look like there's a path past these smashed up bits, does it? I'm wondering whether we might be able to climb up here and explore a bit more of the area, but it doesn't look like it. That door is not openable, I don't think. No. There's not a door in that fence, is there? Hmm. Well, I might have ideas. Let's have one more look down the side where that cave was, see if there is anything uh, that will, like a fallen tree branch that will lift us up or something. Let's have another peek at the map as well. There's nothing along there, does it? There's got to be something up here. Um, knowing our luck, it'll be like a cave system that runs from like the valley to here, and we'll have to go all the way back down there again. But <laughs> at least it'll be easy to find our way back into the valley now. Might do Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, if the wires might lead us round, but I think that leads to sort of a, a drop there down to the valley, doesn't it, where those guys were, were shot? Let's have one more snoop around here. See if we can find a way past that blockage that was my uh, best hope for getting around the prison. Yeah, we'll be saving soon. We'll be ending stream in five minutes or so, so we'll go back to our cosy snug room and uh, save there. And there's that cave that came to nothing. I 
There is a fallen tree, but that doesn't look particularly climbable. And there's nowhere to climb it to. No, this looks very much dead endy, doesn't it? Well, these are cattails. So, there can't be any way to go there. I'm assuming climbing up here is a non option, yeah. Hmm. And that's me stumped. We've explored uh, all along the river. It's just got to be something that we're missing. And if we have to go all the way up here again to go past the mine and down somehow, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> I'm sick of going up there. Um, hmm. Can't get past there because there's a fan, so we can't follow it down. Stop snapping. That leads to where the waterfalls are, I think. But unless there's something behind the jailer's residence where we can get down and follow the frozen river to the waterfalls, maybe. Something good old cattails will do. I mean, I feel like we haven't explored the grounds of the jailer's residence very well. Um, yeah, what I'll do is, with the little few minutes we've got, I'll explore the jailer's residence as a sort of uh, last ditch attempt to find our way. Um, if that yields nothing, because we haven't really explored the grounds of that very well. If that yields nothing, then yeah, we'll save in the barn of the Jailer's Residence and um, shamefully Google it before uh, the next session. Because we've gone back and forth pretty much everywhere, and that's the last place we haven't poked around the corners of. Um, if it can lead us down into that frozen river, maybe we can cross over where the waterfalls are, because there's a bunch of rocks up there. Um, and we'll try that, but... Um, I should say, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't put money on it. The chair's residence isn't far, is it? It's, uh, yeah, just keep going forwards, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even sure where else the path could be, to be honest. There's probably like one tiny cave system tucked away somewhere <laughs> that we haven't found. Is that a hit? Nah. It's just your little footy prints. Oh, I really hate when they run the same way as me because it means you're going to re-aggro. <laughs> Those of you with my last regular flare. <laughs> Can't go wrong with hot tea. Yes, there we go. That was predictable. How about some of this? the inevitable third attempt. Yeah, I've got a reheated burrito. So we're getting a, a, quite the range of different things. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Should be just down here, right? Yeah. Keep following it forwards and then we should see the barn. And then there's the mushrooms. Well, we'll oh cool, I'll go grab them. Either, I want to check the route first, so we'll 
I'll probably grab them next session when we load the save. So grab these as well. All our food is in pretty bad nick, so. Well, this was a mistake. Uh, it's fine. I've traversed worse. <laughs> There's the picnic area. That's sort of where it looks like it should be on the map, but it doesn't give me tremendous hope. Yeah, it was. My uh, last day as a trainer. And uh, it'll be my first day as an IT tester on Thursday. This looks promising. There's the things, there's growing things, which means this is a route we're supposed to take. Well, they wouldn't put old man's beard there unless you could harvest it. Although the promise is rapidly dwindling. Yeah, this has got to be it, right? This has got to be it. Yeah, this is this is the way. Okay. So we know the way now. Let us just continue down it. We can save. It'll be a precarious save, but I'm excited and I want to see what's going on. <laughs> so, are we able to get back up here relatively easy? Yeah, we are. Okay. I say this has got to be the way, but it's looking less like the way now. <laughs> this is the way we need it to go. And this is the way it ain't going. So maybe I spoke too soon. It's probably like the the other way you can get to the other bloody sodden worker, isn't it? <laughs> no. Well, sodding out. We got so excited that we finally found the way, and then locks it off again. Uh, I'm going to throw my flare in frustration. Frustration of the world. Yeah. We might be able to jiggle our way through there, but that looks like death. Because that way will just lead me back up to this part of the valley. Rather than that way is what should we actually need to go, so... It's going to be a Google job. Let me just... I'll get those cattails on the reload. I just want to have a peek around the corner, see if there's anywhere interesting to go. It doesn't seem to cross anywhere else. Ooh. Is that down there? Is that... Could be a cave system that we've been looking for. It will lead us through and round, but something tells me that's probably going to be a no, but... There's the bridge. So it's probably going to be a dead end. Well, there's supplies here, that's something. There's a bow, a bunch of arrows. What have we here? Another sewing kit, soda. I'll drop some gear off at the uh, jailer's place. Nah, chickening is what we call when he lays down with his paws like bent backwards so he looks like a roast chicken on a plate. <laughs> Too heavy. Um, yeah, no, this was this was a bunk route, unfortunately. Uh, it's a shame it was our last attempt to find where to go without cheesing. Um, okay, so... We need to hike out of this and go to do this before we can do that. Apparently there's some sort of quest about a power plant and that's when we can go and get the other worker. So we just need to, uh, to hike out there. He didn't miss anything. This is me moaning about milk floaties in my tea. <laughs> but I do need to eat something. Uh, what have we got? Oh, so our hydration is pretty medio as well. So get some soda down us. For the long journey to do whatever the fucking main quest was, because I completely forgot. 
I'll just get your cattails as I go past as well. Yeah, so apparently that bridge uh, does become accessible. I think he'll climb over it when we come to the power plant mission. He's just a bit prissy about it at the moment. Um, <laughs> so I guess we're going to go have to get naked in front of some prisoners and then get unnaked again to go sort that out. Oh, what is encumbering me? Something very heavy. Okay. Uh, what did we? I can't even remember what we picked up that might have been encumbering me last episode. Got loads of flares. Uh, not seeing anything amazingly heavy. Although we are carrying two of these, which is quite heavy, and a bunch of these. Let's go dump some stuff in that backpack, actually, so we know where it is. The sun's going down as well, which isn't uh, ideal. To repair can opener. Okay, I will do that. Hover back over to the fire in case I need to light one. It's slowly getting dark. I don't think we're too far from. Yeah, we can just sleep at the barn or something, can't we? We'll be okay. Repair shit first. 45 minutes, I'll do. Gets rid of the scrap metal at least. The night can't be far behind. Uh, well done, Will. Your deductive reasoning is as good as ever. Um, let me stash. Right. Well, it's not even that low. It's like 40 is my main, and I'm on 42, so even if I was fully uh, rested up, it would still be. I didn't mean to apply it, I didn't mean to drink it. <laughs> I need to put it in there. It's pretty heavy, that stuff, so. Let's keep one of you on me. Uh, oh, I'm carrying a shit ton of wood, that's why. <laughs> Let's just put in one of each until I can move freely again. There we go. No wonder I was a bit over encumbered. Carrying half a tree on my back. There we go, that's the speed I was looking for. Gonna find our way back up. I'm gonna sleep in the barn until morning, and then we can start the main quest and, uh, and go from there. Yeah, we'll come back for them. Didn't you say there's a quest down in this area anyway? So we'll be back down here before you know it. Actually, let me grab that cattail as I go. Delicious meal of condensed milk tonight. <laughs> I suppose we got pork and beans, which should probably be nice. Yeah, then there we go. We can, if we want our energy drinks and antiseptic, we can come pick it up then. I always end up with more antiseptic than I actually need, though. Oh, it's got the spooky night music on. How do I get down here and how do I get back up? No, oh, yeah. Okay, it was a bit juddery, but we got back up. I don't think I've ever actually used one of them. <laughs> I guess I just don't let my tiredness get that low. In survival, I tend to have the other problem where the uh, tide is just too high and I can't sleep for as long as I want, so I have to go while the night away. Okay. Well, we need to know the location to get to this quest. Let's go kip in the barn. See a timber wolf pack off in the distance. Or at least a wolf. 
Is there a bird already here? No. We'll have to keep in our usual. So much <laughs> tinder, it's unbelievable. See if it gives us a better chance. They use them like coffee, oh, okay. Might be useful when we're climbing around there. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. When uh, when we next get attacked, which will probably not be long, given they're right over there. Um, let's go up this banged up pork and beans. And we can have a glug of maple syrup or something to balance it out. How much water do we have? Uh, Grand total of none. Go to the cooking slot. Yeah. There we go. Right, I guess we have to sleep in the snow. It's inconsiderate people don't have a bed in their barn. There we go. We can make another batch while we got the fire. You're not that tired, mate. Yeah. It's not a bad shout. Gotta remember where I put everything. Let's see what else even here. Bunch of stuff. More flares. Oh yeah, there's our archery stuff. I have the weight to take it with me, so maybe we can just consolidate it here. This is pretty central to everything, isn't it? So more bloody flares in here. So many axes. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's try sleeping. It's gonna have to be one of those hour long jobbies because we're out in the uh, semi open. Yeah. It's about two hours to see how we go. If we start freezing to death then we know we can shove some accelerant in the fire and uh, unfreeze ourselves. No, we're doing alright so far. It's always nice when you get warm enough that you can just wander around at night. Okay, spoke too soon. Do I have any bow stuff on me? Oh yeah, you've got a couple of arrows. Forgot about that. Alright, and another bow. <laughs> there we go. I'll keep all that together in case we need to go hunting. We're okay for food at the moment, but you know how these things change. Let's see if we can get another. It's only minus one. Okay, that was a short-lived storm. But still a little chilly. I think the bedrock bonus is uh, combating it at the moment. How long till morning? About two hours. Joy. <laughs> right, let's light a fire so we don't freeze as we sleep out the storm. Uh, I guess using gunpowder. Explode a fire into my. There you go. We a lot of wood, so. Let's put some coal on to keep us nice and warm for the next few hours. Try and figure out where I'm aiming the bow again. Uh, <laughs> I used to be very good at it, and then uh, stops being very good at it. We'll do for a morning snack. Could make a bomb. Yeah. Where is the workbench here? Make sure to chuck down this stuff. Could open you tonight. Tear down that bedroll, actually. I think there'll be a workbench in the barn. 
for him to work on his car, but nope. Just uh, hope nobody needs this. Eighty percent. What's my point? Did I pick it back up? I didn't. Uh, Eighteen sixty-eight. Okay, tear up sixty-eight. This will take us uh, an hour and a half, so. Wind's died down a bit. Anything I can repair while I'm here? Military coat could probably do really quick. That'll take some time as well, so. Just need it to be warm enough for me to set off. Okay, can't decide whether I'm cold or warm. It's like the wind must be super chill here. Yeah. And we'll get there in time, it's fine. Maybe. Make sure we go the right way first. We are not. Just turn right at the road. Seeing that, do we have any cattails to snack down on yet? Might as well. Keeps us going. Those walls are buggered off. Gotta find a truck and a dead guy with med stuff, okay. Looks like it's around here somewhere. Okay, snow stopped at least. The whistling of the wind now. Whoa! Ow! Like that? Hey, buddy. Yeah, that did the trick. <laughs> Bumped you with it. Oh, who's next? These things last for ages. Oh, you can hear him. There he is. Okay, didn't quite get rid of him, but he didn't like it. There we go. Alright, I'll take it back to the flares rule. You should press the shrooms when possible, yeah, might as well if you're lugging around. Uh, those shells that we wear have been shooting wolves. Yeah, they don't last as long, do they? But get on your way. Okay. I think you're still scared, aren't you? Yeah. Got that little pitter patter of a scared wolf. Thought you were coming back up this way then. Alright, should be around here somewhere. Eh, stop snapping me to it. Is that a little path just to the right up here? Oh, I don't be down and across the bridge, I'm assuming. Trying to get the lay of the land. Because down there is obviously where we uh, just were. So I'm uh, guessing the truck's got to be over there somewhere. <laughs> oh, wow. Sinking into the ground. What a rough way to go. Drove off into this little recreation area. What does that sign say? Climbing area. Oh god. Gee, isn't this one? I'm pretty sure I've checked this one, but. Yeah. And lovely, a dissolved wolf. 
Any trucks with dead men? I see blood. That's usually a good indicator that something important is down here. Looks like someone's been here recently. I don't say. Let me look at this stuff. This stuff Matches. Water. Good. Actually, I'll take a drink of that now. Follow the blood, I'm guessing. Maybe the timber wolves got him. There's a deer over there. I might grab something from you on the way back. Get another deer skin. Some gut. Hello up there. You, know, you might be regular wolves. So how many noisemakers do I have? Two. Uh, I'll stick with the shot for this in a moment. Yes, hello. Okay, that didn't stop you then. Got you in the arse, so you shouldn't take long. Stick with this in case they come back. Okay, you got a little nibble on the right arm. I was hoping this blind shot would uh, scare him off, but it doesn't always. There you go, splash a bit of that on. Good as new. Didn't do any damage to my clothes, so. Which is obviously the important bit. Are you the buggers that ate the dude that I'm looking for? Okay, cave. Is that him right there? <laughs> Looks like someone's sitting out. I know it's a wolf eating him. Oh, okay, great. Well, you're getting regular flared, I guess. Oh, you don't have any regular flared. Fantastic. How many shots do we have of each? Three after that. I guess I'm just trying to scare him off with the usual shot. Oh, he's already scared, I think. <laughs> That's handy. Scared him off his meal. Hey, you're not looking so good, pal. Um. <laughs> yeah, he's already dead. You don't have to keep coming back to him. Ooh, chocolate bar. Red supplies, yeah, there we go. Vials of morphine and injectable antibiotics. High quality injectable medication. Labor reads for emergencies only. Yeah, morphine generally isn't used for casual use. Well, it's not supposed to be, I should say. Right, now we need to go and get naked before some prisoners. Hopefully the wolves are still scared, I have to waste more ammo on them, but by that one walking around it doesn't look like it. I don't know what's up there. Maybe it's just a shortcut. It's going the wrong way anyway. With the sheer amount of wolves, I'm gonna use this to hopefully just keep them all off me. See if I can take the higher road to get around them a little bit. Hey buddy. Now, does this slope down or just a drop on the other side? Looks like a wolf has been up here. And they thought better of it. Okay, it's a slope, cool. God damn it. And you're half in the southern snow. Take an hour and 25 minutes, I should probably light a fire next to it. And I can go drop that in the prison to cure while I do all the rest of the main quest stuff. And then completely get naked and just run in. <laughs> it's just going to be very strange. I'm probably going to end up running through a snowstorm. 
Really? I can't. me so you got shot in the ass. Yeah you're probably gonna bleed to death so good luck. Uh, I'm gonna need to put something else on now because that wasted time. Furnishing is everything we need. How long is it gonna take to get a bit of meat off? Not much. Might as well cook that up as well. Okay, wind must have changed. Oh. I will just store the meat outside in that. It's going to be my first meal as I'm let out for the prisoners. <laughs> well, that must be where. Are you over the dissolving wolf or the wolf that I recently shot? It's like the dissolving wolf. Wolves will get the message that this isn't safe for them anymore, but they keep just congregating. Need something real quick. Need a couple of the uh, candy bars and stuff to keep us going. road now. I think that's a deer. I can hear something that sounds like hooves in one ear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to sort of drink a off of the uh, syrup every now and then. For God's sake. Okay, I'm glad that scared you. I wasn't expecting you to zoom down that little rocky hill, so I lost my shot. Damn it. I want to save the marine flares for the bloody timber wolves, but now I keep getting regular wolves. Leaving shell casings everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the rock or something pudding. <laughs> Classic. Remarkable how after just a week I immediately forget what everything looks like. <laughs> Don't worry mate, you'll be uh, worried about things other than the hunger in a minute. As you walk out into hmm, minus uh, 12 degree weather with nothing on. Oh, an old flare case there. It's like strolling through all the memories of times I've been bitten by wolves. It definitely feels like a slightly longer, like more expensive chapter than the previous one did. The previous one felt like it didn't last that long. I basically went around to different bunkers, rescued a few people, and then that was it. Like side quest wise. 
then again, this one we just haven't been able to find shit, have we? So it's probably why it's taking so long. Make sure the way is clear first. No wolves. There's one all the way over there, but that's fine. Cool. Okay, let's just stuff as much as we can in here, and then I guess the rest will have to go on the floor. Let's start with clothes, because we don't want them to degrade. Okay, this feels very weird. container option. Oh, you have to do it on each individual one, that's why it wasn't showing up. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all of this in there. I guess gonna have to. Oh, it's about to contain here. Yeah, that might do some. Okay. <laughs> this is very strange. We're gonna have to be quick because I'm already freezing to death. Let's run again. This is run. Close the door just in case. Actually freezing as fast as I would, so. <laughs> oh, this is very bizarre. Wow. Shit. You made it. I made it. I guess you're tougher than you look. I sound stuff to help the warden. I'll follow him up a wee bit. I'll probably pause it on your end, but. It's a huge net. A smidge. Medical supplies. Yeah. You'd better get in there to see him. He doesn't look too good. But first, you gotta let me frisk you. Mattis had have my balls if I let you sneak a knife in here. Buddy, what are you gonna frisk? <laughs> I'm only wearing one item of clothing and you're not frisking that. There we go. Okay, I guess I'm administering it now. I mean, he doesn't actually look that bad, to be fair. Who the, who the hell are you? Relax. I'm your neighbor in cell 15. <laughs> yeah, Mathis is pilot. Yeah, I cleaned that's you up the best I could. You might have a broken rib. Maybe more. Mathis opened up a couple of bad cuts on you, so I stitched them up. Give you a shot of antibiotics. Hopefully that'll prevent serious infection. Thanks. You, you seem to know a fair bit of first aid. Well, I'm married. <laughs> I, uh, I know a doctor. And, uh, I get hurt a lot. True that. With, with friends like Mouse, I'm not surprised. Oh, Mathis is no friend of mine. We'd, we'd better hurry before the guards come back. There's something I need to tell you about the prison. I'm listening. Solitary. It's a, it's on its own locking circuits, separate from the rest of the prison. Mathis and his guys, they haven't figured that out yet. But when they do... When they do, they'll get Donner out and there will be hell to pay. They blame you for Donner? 
Malthus thinks I use some kind of override to keep Donner locked in there, even when the rest of the cells went haywire. Well, did you? N nah, nah, it's... I can't figure it out. But someone is out there messing with the system, messing with Mathis, and keeping Donner inside. I might have an idea of who it is. <laughs> you see someone out there? Not saw, but I talked to someone on the phone. Right. The old rotary phone system would still work. Redundancy for when the sad phone goes down. Right. Shit, they're coming back. Get back in your cell. You gonna be okay? Just don't let them find you in here. If you get to talk to whoever was on the phone again, do whatever they ask. Because right now, they are the only thing keeping us all alive. Think we can trust them? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Sweet. Hey, hey, how'd that happen? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, must be glitchy. <laughs> These idiots think I'm a fool. They don't think I can figure out what happened here. But they were too chicken shit to take care of the warden themselves. And sent you out into the cold to do their dirty work. And you, risking your life to save a guy you don't even know. What a fucking Boy Scout. <laughs> That's me. You still don't get it. Don't you see that in this new world, Mackenzie, Boy Scouts will be the first to die. And yet, here I am. Well, smartass, if you're gonna make yourself useful, you're gonna make yourself useful to me. Am I? Yes, you are. And why am I gonna do that? It's the eye. Well, because... Hard case. Right. Get back out there, pilot. Go find out what's wrong with this place. What do you have in mind? Well... Obviously, there's something wrong with the power. Though he's been no help, a map in the warden's office shows this place has its own power plant, so... Go check it out. Give me some power, so I can open the gates to Solitary. Right. Power. Solitary. Got it. And Mackenzie. Yes? Don't dawdle. Or... The warden gets it for real this time. Nice. Man, he could have let me out of the day at least. Math is said to give you this. That doesn't look like a coat. That's because it isn't. Yeah, thanks, Connor. It's a bit of a map. Shows the way to the dam. Looks like you can just follow the power lines or something. It's cold out here. I won't find the dam if I freeze before I get there. Do I look like a guy who gives a shit? You don't want to freeze out here? Then get moving. Thanks, dude. If you are standing right next to the fire, you could just like scooch over it a little bit. Bastards. You know, like... At least this map looks real enough. There we go. Alright, let me just uh, scooch the volume back down again. There we go. Okay, I didn't save. No, I didn't see that. 
because I changed the volume, I lost the chat, didn't realise until I went back into it, so I'm now catching up with what you said. Oh, uh, cool. Right, let me just, uh, these knees fill up my uh, stomach a little bit. Just run quick and get my stuff back. Okay. Oh yeah, we've got a tin can and some matches. Let's get the clothes first. I can't remember what I was wearing and what I wasn't, so I'll just grab it all and then put whatever we don't wear back in. Um, hopefully it's auto-selected all the warmest of things, looks like it. Yeah, looks like everything's worn, so. Cool, uh, let's get my, let's get what gear we need from here back. You, very important. Stone cleaning kit. Food. I forgot to leave you outside, but I will. <laughs> uh, we'll take the pork and beans as well. That should be enough food for a while. That should be more than enough tinder. Those ragged combat pants. Why am I wearing regular combat pants? No, I've got work pants. Where do they leave the ragged combat pants? <laughs> Anything else that's necessary? Meds, of course. You, one of you. Both of you get tea as well. Uh, let's just put half of you back. That should do. That's 14. Pants. Hey, there's only one set of pants in the locker, and it's these, which are new. Well, the uh, work pants, I suppose. Good question. Do we have our fire strike? Might have missed that. There we go. Great, takes me center in. Take some matches as well. Let's get another box of twelve. There we go. I think that's everything. <laughs> it's about the weight that we were carrying before. I just need to get stuff from here. You, 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 and you. Okay, there we go. Right, we need to. I know they were combat pants, but I can't see anyone else in this locker, so I don't know where they go because that's all the. I took all the clothes from the locker. There's nothing else in there. So where are the other ragged combat pants are, I don't know. I know we had we found another pair, but I don't think I took them. Let's prepare you while I'm here. Basically, killing time till the morning now. <laughs> go. Might as well pay you as well, actually. So I next get wolfed. Oh, they're in the barracks. Oh, okay. Might as well go while I'm here. Oh, that lucky yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> Glad you remember. Because I was playing this survival yesterday, all my memories are of that at the moment. But in that one, I have both a bear skin and a wolf skin coat on, so nothing bothers me. Glad you can actually see to some degree at night. Do I, is that a thing to check? No, it's just a check on masonry. Oh, 
I think the wolves are all sound asleep. <laughs> you didn't need to announce yourself. <laughs> Just in case. And the barracks have beds in as well, so it's probably a better place to sleep. Should be some stuff to tear up for cloth around here, surely. I mean, there's so many beds, you think I could tear up one of the bed sheets? Oh, it's a lockbox there. If not, I'll just tear up that ski jacket that's in there. Just seeing if there's like a towel or something that takes 10 minutes to cut up. But no. Are they? I feel like I'm gonna have to light up. I'm not gonna be able to see shit otherwise. Put the shoes there for leather as well. Or is that just straight cloth classic there? Nice. Aha. Hey, we've even got a supply of water that doesn't need a. Uh, I'm not sure I want to drink out of these toilets, but you know, I'm not sure I want to drink out of any toilets, so. <laughs> Alright, is there somewhere we can light a fire in here without needing to burn out our oil? Is there a stove? No. Great. Enough gas because I've got a bloody hot plate. <laughs> Let's just check upstairs, see if there's a hot belly stove or something. Nope, that's just a ceiling. And I closed the door at wall, that was close. <laughs> I just glitched myself off the edge. It's a bit of a pain. I was hoping there'd be like an either a stove or an oil store around. Uh, I guess we'll have to sleep and do it in the morning. Lantern clicks do use fuel. Yeah, I saw your comment. That's a bit of a pain, but let's make a quick fire outside, I guess. Yeah, cook up that. So we don't really need to. Yeah, that's great. We cook up and then I can use it in the morning, can't we? Ooh. So much for needing to be on flat ground. What's better? See the fire is better, okay. Well, that failed. That didn't work. Oh, plenty of tinder. <laughs> God. Yes. Hopefully, you're miles away, like behind the fence. Yeah, you gotta be over there. Come on, come on. <laughs> Yeah, there is a bit of a delay, unfortunately. That's the nature of YouTube. Oh, the lighter, yeah, that, that's a bit weird. I guess maybe you get rid of the bits you don't need and that makes the mushroom lighter, if we're being generous. Hey, finally, there we go. All right. Means I can cook you up and repair some stuff as I go. How long have you got on you exactly an hour? Okay, it should be fine. Uh, let's tear up the socks. How long do you take to repair? 25 minutes, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
27 minutes. Okay, perfect timing as the snowstorm just rolled in. That fire wouldn't have lasted long anyway. Right, uh, let's see the difference. 1.2 to 0.8. Uh, wind resistance is a little lower, but it's still better overall, isn't it? So it doesn't encumber me as much. So double combat it is. Right, let's just sleep through the uh, rest of the night. This is behind me. <laughs> Should be warm enough to head off, so let's snack on some tasty venison. Not really what I'd choose to eat for breakfast, but you know, needs must. Still got a little tiny smidgen. <laughs> yep, they can chew on my legs as much as they want. <laughs> they seem to be chewing on my head and face at the moment, so maybe I just need to like wear some combat trousers as some sort of hat. We'll be alright. Right, let's try that bridge again. See if uh, Fussy Nick is here, we'll climb over it this time. We might be able to tick off that worker finally after three, four sessions of trying to look for him. up there, so it should have activated something. Yeah, that's true, our stuff would be in here, wouldn't it? Might be able to have a quick troll over and uh, see how it's getting on. So, yeah, even if it's boots or pants, either one's fine. Although, looking at our, yeah, our boots are crap, aren't they? Yeah. Well, actually, they're not too bad. Diskin boots are like 2 and 2.5, I think. They're not well beaten. I think we have this out here. Looks <laughs> like I survived another night. Sure did. I suppose we don't want the pants anymore, do we? Because we got double combat, so the boots it is. The gloves could probably yeah, be better as well, to be fair. But we keep saying we need to make snares, but the gut takes so long to cure that it kind of gets bumped lower and lower. And I don't have uh, the luxury of wasting pistol shots anymore. Need to get my aim of the stone up. <laughs> yeah, they are good. I'm uh, missing my makeshift crampons though from survival, but. Wintermute is its own separate uh, update stream, so... Oh, you caught a deer. Nice. Let's see if I can scoot around you. That'll be down into the ravine down there. It took us ages to find. Who's a hungry boy, then? Bunny scurrying away after what I said earlier. I'll pick up some pebbles if I see them, just to see if I can offhand bean a rabbit. But it's difficult to do, and I'm not the best at it. This should take me back to the road. 
Got a lovely sunrise. Which will hopefully warm things up a little bit. Yeah, I, mm, I can't remember how many I've had to dry. You need four for the boots and two deer skins. Um, I'm not sure how many we laid down. I don't tend to get. I suppose I can just play the dead wolves around, isn't there? Probably one right up ahead, come to think of it. <laughs> this will be the dissolving wolf. We'll just get some gut off that just to be safe. I don't know what gut we can prize out of the bloody pavement, we'll, we'll get out. Birds in stereo. Oh, it must be about the dead deer over there. Although there's probably a dead wolf around there somewhere as well. Because I shot a bunch of deers in the arse, so they probably bled out. That's Cook's farm, so. Good lord, okay. Not the best shot today, but I'm not seriously trying to kill them today, so Yeah, definitely the crows are feeding well. <laughs> and there's wolf meat abound. Any shortcut through here? Guess we'll find out. Looks like it. It's just very wolfy territory. More mushrooms around here if we need them, but I think we're alright for the moment. We are our cup it, cup runneth over with antibiotics at the moment, so <laughs> Yeah. We have a, a proper Proper army of crows by the end of this. <laughs> oh hey, and a small of meat here. It's mouldy, but it's there. Uh, ninety-one percent on you. Cured gut. Cured gut. You're not cured yet. Neither are you. Add to the supplies. Not quite there yet. We need one more deer, which is there. And we need all this gut cured as well. So 70% of the way there. So next time we pop back, it should be uh, all sorted. Uh, is there anything metal in here I can smash up? There isn't a shelf. Just to make some wood so I can make a quick fire to cook up that meat that's going to waste out there. But the shelf is going to take too long. I just want some reclaimed wood or something, but I guess I can check whatever on. Yeah, let's just use a cedar. We are of the warmth in clothing now that we can chop up cedar without too much stress or we're out about. Come on, come on. There we go. I'm doing for water. I'll make up half a litre as soon as we got the space. might be coming in. Okay. I take a torch just in case any wolves come near me. There we go. <laughs> right, let's head back to that bridge. Go find that other worker. 
And then before we come back to the prison, we'll double back to this cabin. Get our boots together, probably bright as we don't need them anymore. Yeah, it's probably getting foggy. Fortunately, I have a handy dandy map. Yeah, I know, one cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. I can handle it for two hours. Um, <laughs> anything beyond that, and uh, yeah, just cross my legs. I used to live on the stuff at work, so maybe my body is just acclimatized to, <laughs> to coffee now. <laughs> Things, it doesn't really make me awake anymore, it doesn't really do anything else. Oh, we'll fair. Past the, uh, the Crow Alley. This is the murder zone. Sunken wolf and splattered blood on the pavement. This torch is pretty much out now. Hello. I know what you're running from there. That no, wrong way. You need to go down the loop and then round. At least as I'm sticking to the road, it shouldn't be too long a journey. Uh, we ended up not having the vegetable ones in the end. Um, because I was exhausted that day, so by the time we got to the end of the day, I just didn't want to cook, so I had the joys of corn. Uh, turkey unicorns and chips uh, but then we had meat fajitas later in the week and they were lovely so we balanced out in the end <laughs> yeah they <laughs> we <laughs> I wanted turkey dinosaurs because that's why I had as a kid and it was sort of like a nostalgia thing but we have as unicorns so I was forced to have turkey unicorns instead. Well, say turkeys. Fake turkey unicorns. Wow, these flares are. They have ruled. <laughs> Can't believe I wasn't using these things before. But it does mean you just get stuck with the noise of a flare as you're walking along. Likes baked beans. Wrong <laughs> one. Classic. Right as my flare runs out as well. <sighs> Guess it'll have to be you. Well, there's two of the buggers. Oh, that looked like it should have been a direct hit. Um. Oh, it was a hit. Okay, cool. <laughs> Didn't see the blood spray. Sorry mate, don't like the just getting wildlife, but if you do come and attack me, there's not much I can do. How close are we? Got to be pretty close now, yet. Yeah. It's the way to the old ah. substation. There you are. And there we go. <laughs> That's two wolves. One dead, one soon to be dead. Looming out the mist. Okay. 
Here we go, let's see if Will is willing to do the little scaredy cat and jump over this bridge. For God's sake. Taking away the invisible wall. <laughs> Here we go. Find me over the other side of the river. That's all new. Okay, metal It'll rifle cartridge. Well, I can't put the hood up on that one. Custom revisors. Not that they ever do anything, even in survival. Damn it, not even in candy bar. I'm used to this car. <laughs> right. Let's ignore the main quest. See if we can wind our way up there. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass in the fog, but. I don't see any point of invisible walls in an open map like this. Obviously in a linear game they're there for a reason, but in this they just feel weird. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep going until we find the divide, which should just be up here. A crashed car. See something on its dashboard there. Might be a candy bar. No, it's a rifle bullet. I think Maybe I it'll help. Not sure why it's just left on the dashboard. Nada. Okay, not very useful cards, but we got one bullet of each, I guess. in the middle of it or something. No. Oh, I see a strategic fallen tree. No, it doesn't need to do anything. <laughs> oh, this looks like it might be uh, an up at least. fog wasn't so heavy, I can see it only over the other side, but it feels like we are going to be bypassing around there. But maybe we can just double back around. At least you haven't bumped into any polar bears. That's fair. It's depending where we are on the... I did check the car. That car was the one that had the... Um... Raya revolver bullet on the dashboard. That was I saying. Yeah, depending on where we are in Canada, we are on the border of polar bear territory. And I don't think a flimsy little revolver is going to do much against the polar bear. <laughs> That's where I came from. I feel like this is a slightly separate little area. Not sure why I'm wandering back down this way, but <laughs> maybe there's just another way up. Is 
that death drop down there. It looks oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's a death drop into the mist. And of course we are walking over it. Nice. Okay, climbing means good. That means progress. Yes, you should be able to rejoin the road back here and hopefully we can dip down. Oh, your hands are not looking good, my friend. <laughs> they look a wee bit chilly. Curious. Hey, back over another fallen tree. <laughs> Good thing you don't slip and fall here like you do when you're climbing up a small hill. accelerate your... actually it makes you slightly hungry but it doesn't like, lower your exhaustion like rope climbing does. I, know, I feel like this would be more strenuous than abseiling down but I don't know, I've never abseiled in my life so... <laughs> I can't see the end of this log. Oh, nice. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I do. They smell like farts, so not a fan. Um, we're at a barbecue, so not doing the cooking this time. Families for a barbecue this evening, so whatever they throw on the barbecue. Handy dandy cave, that coal. I got room for some coal. I got room for a bit more coal. This is here as well, I don't want to overload on wood though. Yeah, corn's not bad. I prefer just like a bowl of sweet corn, but I can go with corn on the cob. Do you have to go like all the way around? That's a bit awkward. Okay, it's gonna say just keep following the route, but then it leads us to this. Let's go up and round. Up that little way up there. There we go. Follow the grass. Get some old trusty cattails as I go. Ew. I see a rappelling down point there, which I assume is the only way to go. Well, we've got coffee, haven't we, so... <laughs> I would carry the coffee. Oh boy. At least it doesn't look that far down, comparatively speaking. Right. Let's get our coffee. Our probably frozen over coffee. Oh, we didn't grab any more coffee out of the uh, thing. Oh, well. It's easy enough to find. Okay. 
Und die dann. There we go. This is a nice little area. Yeah, frozen deer pond. We go check that cabin. It's not the storyline, and then we can follow the road back round to the uh, wherever the dead bloke is. Six, unless that's a hundred. What have we here? Which it is. <laughs> Other chances. Don't need any more tinder. But I'll take that cloth. Hey, my one was running out. Whetstone as well. We have another whetstone back at base, but they're fairly light. Wonder if this is any good to eat. I'll leave the baseball cap there, unless I need it for cloth, because they're. I don't even know why people around here are wearing baseball caps, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, let's craft it. Do we have any cans, though? No. <laughs> Didn't keep, keep the cans with me to save weight. Bet there might be cans up here, you never know. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Forage's remnant. Nice. Not sure this really deserved to be marked on the map as cabin. Um... Not a bedroll. Hey, there's one. Got pork and beans. Hope nice. I can still eat this. Oh, there's a stove here as well. Nice. Uh, it's actually better than my rifle at the moment, so. I actually have quite a lot of rifle ammunition. More than I thought. I leave this bedroll not torn up because everyone knows what I'm like for forgetting my bedroll. <laughs> oh, hope nobody needs this. Better than my one anyway, so we'll chalk that down down to good fate. I know there'd be something that we'd forgotten to take, so I was actually extremely lucky that we found that one as early as we did. <laughs> anyway, it should be something one. So we even got the cloth for it, so. Uh, oh. Nice, oh, Mikey, there we go. Yeah, I'm shying away from taking reclaimed wood as much as possible. Just because it's so heavy, but also crap to burn. Because uh, we've got some decent wood supplies to make a fire, so. Hand card. Okay, it's just to break it up. Right, I think this is everything we're going to get from here, so let's mosey on back down to here. Yeah, is that, and I think we're at the, um, the perfect temperature point where if we do need wood we can just chop up some cedar and it won't freeze us to death, so. I only tend to use reclaimed wood if I um, just have it laying around while I'm making a fire. Am I actually following the path? It's just more of a river than a path. I guess it's sort of the groove. Okay, it's just a snow covered road. <laughs> Climbing area that way. Oh my god, you guys are. You're ballsy on this side of the river, aren't you? about the same, it's just a bigger bar for some reason. Oh, there's more of it, that's why. More of you to scare. Oh, they got rid of you already. Jeez. <laughs> I was talking about making them better on this side of the river, and they're the fucking biggest pussies around. I get inside a vehicle holding a flare. 
doesn't seem safe. Mm. Let's just burn everything. That'll be need more ammo. Well, I need more tinder, but. Yeah, be back up this way, I think. Yeah. If we get to the the um, rock pool, we've gone too far. Dead something or other around here. It's up there. Near a electric pylon, okay. So it might be a dead bloke. Let's see if we can actually get up there. Presumably, uh, engineers are going to be able to get up there, so there must be some way up. Okay, this looks promising. Oh, there's the actual river. It's quite nice to see flowing water for a change, instead of just frozen. <laughs> yeah, I do love the way he just like chucks everything angrily, even if it's just burned out. With his full on... Rawr! Hey buddy, Ooh, I'll take that. This will come in handy. Doesn't seem to have done you any good. 88 mile was pretty rough, I think. Yeah. There you go, you can have the worst one back. Hope it helps. More flare shells and soda, London fuel, nice. Is there a supply bin near this one? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Just a dead man. And a distressed pistol that no one answered. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Right. Go back down this way. Yes. Okay. That's the cabin. Did you know that was a shortcut? <laughs> See a little offshoot that might lead to uh, the little trailer. Hello, I see you've de -aggroed. Get my trusty marine flares out. Go on, go and follow your friend. What are you even doing there? It's wagging your little tail. Oh, there's a closer one. This might be uh, a waste then. Although Will is surprisingly sneaky. <laughs> oh, they haven't aggroed because there's no bar. He thinks the stealth might be a little, although that is where I need to go. Uh, which doesn't help. Let me just like sneak after them. Maybe they'll think I'm one of them. This belonged to the pack that I'd already scared earlier. <laughs> I 
So why they were all just bumbling around here, I don't know. Okay, here's the trailer. Hey Wolfie, you still scared? Yep. Oh nice. Yeah, it's always nice to see when something kills one of the apex predators. Shit. Looks like someone found trouble. Yeah, there's one way of putting it. Someone got mauled to death. There's another way of putting it. Uh, there we go. It's the company ID. It's food. Yay! We completed it and we got uh, a revolver, which we already found like five off, but. Is it even loaded? Yes, it's loaded. Better than our revolver, I think. Yep. Bandage. Ugh, antiseptic. I guess I'll take it if I got weight. <laughs> it's so bloody heavy, though. Beans. What I'm going to do is before I move on, I'm going to repair my guns because I've been firing them a lot. I think okay, I can some use slots. this. Rainbow mittens, that's a cloth. Broken arrow, which I'll dismantle now. Lockers. Mmm. <laughs> that can be your dinner, Will. Aren't you lucky? Scrap metal, I'll leave for the what moment. It's so good. Or tinder. I'll give it a once over with the lantern afterwards. Lots of clothes I don't need. Gunpowder. More bandages. Lots of cloth and stuff. Now I'm going to go and use you. You can always bar. use more food. Yeah. Matches. Paint the wood I don't need. Anything under the beds? Yep. I think we'll sweater. Uh, I don't want to encumber myself with you at the mo. Ragged wool. That thing. Turk. Nope. Where is this? Nice piece of reclaimed wood. <laughs> Just clipping through. Yeah, I think that's our lot. Not a bad haul. More ammunition is always welcome. Let's get you up to uh, over 70% as usual. Then I'll probably eat that energy bulb before we head off. I guess we'll head back to the power plant. Is there any other thing to do on this little corner of the aisle? One more. Okay, it's not very good quality, but it didn't poison me, so it's all good. How are my clothes doing? 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Everything's fine. Off my hat, which is 80. Which takes 25 minutes, why not? While I'm in the warm, I might as well. <laughs> yeah. We'll just stick with calling it a fancy beanie. I wonder what's up there. Let's explore. Let's see if there's anything useful up here before we finish. Oh, there's another tower up there that might have some gear. And then we'll um, head back to the power plant, I guess. And Let's see what delights await us there. Backpack. 
could use Another this. fire striker, I'll take it. Which is... Yeah, I'll tell them that there's one of me. Okay, sort of expecting a dead bloke or a storage bin or something, but... A backpack with a fire striker in is not the end of the world. That just leads me back to the road, I think. Yeah, it just leads me back to around here. -ish. So let us head over to the power plant there. Yeah, they really are. But it's again the sort of thing where I just don't want to use them much because uh, they'll uh, decrease in efficiency. I do wonder why you'll never find, like, cigarette lighters or something in this game. You think it'll be all over the damn place. Got a few more shots for you, so I might as well uh, save some ammo. Scare the pair of you. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to have like a, a Zippo item or something. That'd be pretty neat. Maybe no one smokes in this part of Canada. Really? Yeah. Wanna waste anything on you, really? Ah, I guess it would just be a revolver shot, seeing as we found a couple of shots for it, didn't we? Well, that didn't slow you down. There we go. Well, there you go, the extra shots we picked up. Yeah, you'd think so, you can be everywhere. Maybe everyone smokes with matches in Canada. <laughs> okay, that's the dead bloke up there. So, okay, we're on the right track. around here. Definitely not as impressive as the damn yeah, mystery link, but we can't all be super-sized dams, can we? Yeah, I mean, especially if you're in a situation like this, it never hurts to have a uh, a lighter on hand. All right, what do you want? Ahoy, hoy. Hello. Me again. So, they sent you to check on the power plant. Yeah. I mean, that's what they asked me to do. You always do what hardened criminals ask you to do. Pretty much. Only when they ask nicely. You know, you won't be able to get the power back on, right? The issues with the power have nothing to do with the power plant. Yes, I know. I mean, how are you so sure? Trust me. I just know. Trust you? Okay, trust goes both ways. What's your name? You could call me Chase. Okay. Nice That's a weird name. Chase. So what are we doing here exactly? I don't know about you, but I'm not here to work on my tan. How do you fit into all this, Chase? Are you in trouble? That psycho Donner makes it out of solitary, and we're all in trouble, Mac. Well, 
It's better than Mr. McKenzie, I guess. Listen, you want to know what's going on with the power and all that? I can tell you. But first, prove yourself to me. I need your help. Uh, where? <laughs> where are you right now? That's not important. Yeah, I don't think he's just going to tell you that, mate. Black Rock. Car broke down when the first Aurora appeared. Well, not so much broke down as just stopped working. Like most things. It was freezing, so I got out and started walking down the road to see if I might find someone else. Or maybe some shelter. Got turned around in the darkness and snow. Everything looked pretty much the same. Wandered for hours. Nearly froze to death. Then, I found a fence. Followed it. And found a guard tower. Next thing I knew, I heard gunshots. Cover the science papers was hers. Okay. We've seen the uh, end result of that. Prison workers, civilians, innocents. They had executed them. I had to get out, but I know the area a bit. There's nowhere to go, really. Not on foot. I don't know if anyone's coming to help, but I figure I gotta do what I can to keep those fuckers locked up. Donner, he is evil. If he gets out, nobody within a hundred clicks of this place will be safe. And if this thing lasts as long as I think it will, that would be very, very bad for all of us. Uh, Donna or La? Let's get Donna first. A delicious the kebab man. Donner. I guess you don't follow the news much, huh? Donner's a psychopath. They have a law about something, this guy's broken it. I hear his old man Mathis isn't much better. But Donner. Donner is a once-in-a-generation criminal. Yeah. I can confirm that Mathis is not father of the year material. Wait. You know him? He's how I ended up here. <laughs> it's a long story. But yeah. He's here to break Donner out. Shit. 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 This is worse than I thought. What's the worst that could happen if he gets out? He gets stuck out in the wilderness and freezes to death, or gets eaten by something. Wrong. Donner gets out, he will make it his personal mission to find and hurt every living human he can get his hands on between Black Rock and the mainland, just for shits and giggles. You worried about anyone in particular? Never mind that. We gotta keep him in lockdown. <laughs> That's a yes. That's the only thing that matters right now. Okay. So, how are we going to make sure he stays in solitary? Trust. That's how we're going to keep him in. Okay. What do you mean, if this lasts as long as you think it will? Do you know something about what's going on? Never mind. I just know stuff, okay? Or suspect it. Sounds like you think it's more than just lights in the sky. It's not more than lights in the sky. And yet, it is. That's pretty cryptic. <laughs> Let's stay focused on Blackrock, okay? Okay, what's this trust thing you're talking about? You want to prove you're trustworthy? I mean, I want to help, yeah. What's in it for you? Not being shot to death? Mathis. And he's got something I need. What is it? A metal case. What's in it? I'm not really sure. <laughs> hey, trust goes both ways, right? I'm not hiding anything from you. I really don't know. So then, just leave. Get out of here. Leave Black Rock and let the chips fall where they may. I can't. I need it. If you don't know what's inside the case, how do you know you need it? It's important to someone who's important to me. And they were ready to die for it. So I need to get it back. Right. Well, maybe we can help each other. You do something for me, and I'll find a way to help you with your little problem. 
deal? I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but yeah, deal. Okay, listen up. Even with the power out, there are physical mechanisms that the convicts can manipulate to get Donner out. I mean, they are morons, but even morons get lucky sometimes. We need to fix things so they can't accidentally break them out. And how do we do that? Well, it just so happens I have the plans to this ancient thing. I mean, a lot of the original structure and prison systems are probably Victorian era. Solitary is newer. But the stuff under solitary, still old as shit. All right. How does that help us? We get underneath, and we bust up the systems that manage the locking and unlocking mechanisms. And we basically, well, we turn the gates into walls. We seize up the system, and it's so old, so heavy, it'd take a goddamn nuclear bomb to break them out. Let's hope. You don't have a nuclear bomb, do you? Steam tunnels. Steam tunnels, right. What about steam tunnels? <laughs> you get into the old steam tunnels. You're right, you Will. You sound like out of it. The power plant. Other side of the spillway. According to these blueprints, they lead you, more or less, right to the old locking mechanisms under solitary. More or less? Well, there are some stains on the map. And a few areas that are a little fuzzy engineering-wise. I mean, it's old. But yeah, eventually you'll get to the locking mechanism. Great. Okay. And then what? You tear out or smash anything that looks remotely like a switch, fuse, panel, cable, wire, vacuum tube. You get it? Yeah, I get it. Sabotage the thing. Exactly. You do that, and Donner is locked in for good. Probably. Probably? Hey, I'm not a prison designer, okay? <laughs> but yeah, as I read these blueprints, probably. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. I mean, it'll definitely buy us some time. I think. You definitely I'm going think. now, Jace. Hang on. What? Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Okay. He just sounds like dead inside now. <laughs> right, let's find some steam tunnels. Energy bar. Matches. I'll be hungry later. P and B's. Water. Bandage. There's probably too much water here. Drink some of it and drop some of it. Keep this little tiny bit of venison that I've still got hanging around. Eat some of these supplies. Well, there you go, there's another energy drink. Now I cannot be accused of leaving them behind. I can always use more food. Can't search the open one. Okay, not sure who put that in the bin, but I'll take it. Yeah, that looks like a one-way out deal, so I'll check everywhere before I do that. <laughs> I know you will. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Lots of food. Ski gloves. What am I wearing? Ski gloves. Work gloves. Better ski or work. Ski once repaired. Let's tear you up. And I'll repair you. There we go. Yeah, they're a bit better. Not by much, but... Okay. I think we might want to keep in here for the night. Yeah. 
This will come in handy. Mm, don't think we'll be able to light a fire in here though. No. Is it actually snowing outside or is that just a cool graphic? It is snowing, but not, it's not as hard as all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got to go through there to get to the steel tunnels. Although I suppose it doesn't matter if it's day or night if we're in the tunnels, does it? Let's just get our food up and then uh, head through, I guess. If it doesn't matter, I guess we're not that tired. And we can just sleep in the tunnels. Because we have food for days. Might as well make hay while the sun sort of shines. I'm committed to the terrible idea now, so. Puzzles ahead. Oh, great. <laughs> Into the tunnels. Remember what Jace said. Locking mechanisms. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to extinguish. Let me uh, get my lantern refuel, though. I think it might be uh, sensible. Got plenty of fuel for it, so. <laughs> that healed my sprain risk. Nice. What wonderful tunnels these are. I'm hoping the lanterns on the walls will uh, help guide me to places I know I've already been. That's already a bit. Boy in the room, mechanical room. At least it's unlikely to be wolves down here. There we go, here's a little uh, store work order. Maintenance shift number 355. Staff reports instances of pressure loss when drawing power for internal detention cell control, notably in segregation units 4 to 7. Check for adequate thermal regulation at steam junctions and valve switches. Proceed to scheduling any repairs as needed. Okay. Hey. That'll come in handy. Nice. Flare and etc. and I'll leave. Same with the book. I actually don't want to be encumbered, so come back and pick you up later. Oh, there's just gubbins on the floor. I'm guessing you open and to thaw things out. That's gonna be chilly on your bare hands. There we go. Steam is moving. Yes, steam is moving. Well done. Uh, electric cables overhead. Nice. Frozen. What have we here? It's got a lot of oil in it. So let's uh, scrap you. She might as well uh, scrap the other one we're using because it's worse. Is there a little lantern here? Yeah. Get the fuel back and put it in the decent one. I might have to drop some gear. Our gear. We're a bit encumbered, but that's because we need sleep. Yeah. Okay. This area leads back to the prison. 
Oh, God. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. That's all frozen. Let's try it down here. Hot surface, do not touch. I touched. Well, this looks like the central furnace. Redirect steam throughout the complex to defrost the control room door. Key. Oh, there's one that isn't frozen. to nowhere. Okay, you're heading up. Just a low, you need this one obviously to be high. Let's open you. Close you, because you are shooting into nothing. Assuming we want it to get up and down and round. Which case we need to open you. I should direct it down there. Ish. <laughs> Uh, maybe you need a bit from this one as well. It feels like the steam is getting... Yeah, that's just loving the pressure in all of them there, isn't it? I did get it a bit higher. Just not high enough to actually get through. So nearly there. <laughs> uh, hmm. Assuming that would just waste the steam, but let's just try. See if turning it all open. Yeah, look, that just. Well, we've got 10 minutes to try and mess around with pipes to try and get it. The steam is obviously flowing down there. Splits off around there. As I close you, and it just forces the steam to go through this bit instead of going up there. Let's try that. Okay, that did it. I just assumed that this would cause a mass loss of pressure, but apparently not. One half of it open. Need to get the other side going in now. Which uh, may be a little harder than thought. <laughs> Guess we've just got to follow that pipe round. Ooh, that looks fun. Uh, there's a box around there. Let me go around and check that. I can use this. Oh, shirt. I uh, don't really need that, but a lot of stuff in there. Got some useful gear. Alright, I'm guessing going in the steam will be a bad idea, so I'll hug the wall. That one was weirdly empty. Okay. What are you? Snake along around there. Oh, you've uncovered this one. So we just need to do the opposite, but get it through here now. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh, nice way to cover the dial. Right. 
but we don't want it going up there. It's a dead end. It needs to flow down here. Uh, probably split as least as possible, so go up there and around up there, maybe. Let's try that. Open you up. I'm guessing the more splits you get, the lower the pressure. Okay, you're only going to open that one. Is that going to release it down there? Yes. Which case, we'll open that one. There'll be another puzzle later with poison gas. Jesus. <laughs> if I close you, is it going to direct it up there? Let's find out. Yes, it is. Sweet. pressure in the world through there but I guess we need a bit of higher pressure or else it's going to not melt you. Let's try going the other way then. Well, thank you. It should be tasty enough. You can't go wrong with burgers. pressure there but it's not going up around there. Curious. So bring back up just in case there is any pressure in there. I don't think there is but there we go. That's got it. that's where everything's going to run to in a minute. Although it doesn't look, everything looks all lit up, it's just not quite got the uh, pressure it needs yet. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't want a scalded face. Maximum pressure. Should have melted that central door. Okay, we'll do in a second. Let's double check you or not. Melted. No, I will kick you on. <laughs> Let's see what's behind door number one. That seemed to work. Just check that as an unfrozen this one as well. I'm assuming this one is a bit later. But it's just why you was like, we need to get through this door. Okay, no. Yeah, that's the control room door, so that's the final door. Maybe there'll be some tools in here for unfreezing that one. It's like a very important room. My gloves, I've already got gloves for days. Hey, marine flare. Regular flare. We worry about leaving shit later, can't we? Is it food or? So 
lot of oil. I'll come back and grab that if I need it. Didn't actually want to take the jeans then, but oh. Just exploring now. <laughs> warning. Hot steam. Good warning, thank you. It's down here. Secret passageways. Well, judging, judging by the fact that's frozen over, I guess I'm not supposed to be down here yet. There was a steam pipe valve that I passed by, so I'll try and crank a nap before I go any further. Progress. Are you? <laughs> There's a fire barrel here, that's handy. Take a stroll down here for the next couple of minutes. Lots of little tunnels. Get all dog food. See if that. Uh, I don't think it would have done. But let's see if the other uh, valve in here is uh, unfrozen so we can keep the steam moving through. Yeah, it has. Okay. We just got to be a little careful about yanking it. <laughs> you can go in that steam without any issues. There we go. You can have a celebratory can of dog food for that one. Right, so I think we just unfroze all of this gubbins with the valve in there, so we've got to follow it down to the next one. <laughs> this place is a maze. Down here. Oh my god, you move slow when you're crouching. Just hold the lantern in your teeth and go that way. Is there a valve around here? Oh, that's chugging away, so... I'm guessing we're going the right way. Oh, control room. Oh, it's bloody locked and all. Well, I'll take a flat. Newsprint, energy bar. Not going to take the heavy hammer because of very self evident reasons. It's bloody heavy. Okay. Not even commenting on that. I guess we've got to go the other way around. Simple tools, but I actually have simple tools with me. Yeah, I do, okay, we're good. I need the hammer, okay. Just what I need. Two kilograms. I smash you with the hammer? No. Well, back to the drawing board. I'll light you to show that I've gone this way. So refuel my lantern soon. Drink something as well. Did I pick up any sodas? Yeah, just one. Because <laughs> I can chug down some maple syrup. Oh, okay, lighting is a bit weird then. Might be my lantern flickering actually. Oh, of course, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going butt wild on everything in here. Oh, 
why we don't we actually light a fire in here. No. <laughs> this is part of the way I started, I think, yeah. There's all the machinery. Basically just trolling around looking for where I'm going. <laughs> There's a fire barrel is there, that's handy. Oh, we need it at the moment. Okay, that's where it's where I started. Yeah, boy. We have to go back and go around the other side of that control room now. If that was where it was originally frozen up. I mean, if it's locked, I'm not sure what the point is, but... Let's just poke in the corners. Refill this lantern as well, because that flickering is not the best. Okay, refuel it where it's lit, that's good. There we go. A shit ton of fuel in the corner anyway, so. Can I get you? Yeah, they're both of you. Yeah. No, I didn't open. You, maybe? No, that was what sent you around, wasn't it? Oh, uh. <laughs> Let's just stroll back, see if this changed anything. Nope, you're still thoroughly frozen up. Don't need to shortcut to the prison, yeah, because we've got to smash up the mechanisms. You might have been frozen over before. Yeah. Worked. Yeah, because we've got to stop Donna from getting out by breaking up everything. It doesn't look like something I want to kick with a hammer. Anything that's making that noise is, uh. Yeah. Oh well. There we go. Ding. <laughs> Smack off as well. Ignore the fact that it's steam powered and probably going to explode. But, uh, don't you dare leave the hammer. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's done it. Oh, that was some pop in there. Yeah, yeah, I think we can probably uh, do away with the might. <laughs> I think you just hit, especially hitting the stuff that's full of steam, you're probably just going to blast your face off. Um, right, did we drop much? I remember. Last week it's just been a complete blur, so I feel like we grabbed everything. I don't still have it, do I? No, he left it in the thing, so <laughs> he kindly dropped it for me. Oh, yeah, I left this stuff behind that. Let's keep up. Oh, there. Then we can do a very, very slow march over to a safe house and store the shit. Mm, I'll leave the book there. Actually, is the nearest safe house. Miles away. Oh well. Can't be helped. Leave that or leave all the food behind. Wait, you can. Oh god, so slow. Maybe I missed a door out. Be nice if it gave me an underground map rather than just a surface level map. But. Presuming the door is going to be this way. Well, the one with the padlock on. I thought that just left, led into the control room. Okay, let's 
place is fucking very ominous, scary noises. Ouch, that steam. <laughs> Surprisingly a little damage for getting a side of your face steam blasted off. Assuming this door. Oh, we're in the prison there, oh, okay. Ding. Presuming this is the way to go because nothing's lit. And I've been lighting lanterns as I go. That's right, then we can just stash stuff in the storage bin, can't we? light the lanterns as I go. Oof, so many stairs. Let's see, is it the middle of the night? Or are we going to get lucky? The one that we kept checking every single time. <laughs> right, let's head back to our little hole and shove some stuff in the storage bin. And then I guess sleep till morning. And go check if that gold panning quest has become active. Before we head back to uh, whatever the hell else our main story quest is now. Oh, yeah, going back to Matheson's there. Nope, power plant's balked. Um, someone messed with all the steam. Alright, uh, we've got shit to that food. Ding, ding, ding. Let's keep an energy bar. Keep the worst MRE. Put all our tins in for sure. Since when do I have that? Um, let's keep a soda. I might eat that now. <laughs> Not very many calories, but... So let's grab some celebratory pork and beans to cook up while I uh, wait out the night. The stove that I totally remembered was here. Uh, okay, well that should be fine. One piece of fur should do it. Yeah, I'll go check on, now that I know the way down there, however accidentally, I'll go and check on that, it's not far. Past the smashed house and the barn. Might as well do the barracks locker first, just in case it's something useful. Anyway, do I not take the... No, I took dog food instead. Uh, damn it, I wanted to celebrate, not cry myself to sleep with a can of molly old dog food. Um, let's take the worst pork and beans. Nothing better than pork and beans induced food poisoning. of water going on. <laughs> yeah, I've I've learned now every time I, I basically get up to uh, check whether I got the bedroll or not. Because <laughs> yeah, I've left it behind more times than I can count. The worst time was still 
on the summit of Timberwolf Mountain that I left my bedroll behind. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I still managed to survive that. But yeah, bloody hell, we've put so much skins down. I don't think I can actually uh, find a place for my bedroll. I just have to pick you up and move you over here. There we go, get a nice spot in front of the fire now. Mm, do I have any herbal tea? Just because there's not very many hours until morning, it might as well make the most of the sleep. No, I think this might be the only time I haven't been burdened down with about seven boxes of herbal tea. It's the one time I need to use the stuff. There we go. There we go. So five hours. There we go. That's true, yeah, we can cross over from one side of the river to the other without having to go all the way around now, which is definitely a bonus. Just a couple more hours of sleep. Um, and then we'll unload what's left into the thing and then head down to the gold panning. What are you guys doing? So, ways to go. Right, is there anything else I can dump in here for the mo? Dump the better of our fire strikers in. Get one of those on me. Get you in there, you in there. Lots of painkillers. Take 12 pills given how often I tend to shatter my legs. Um, more jeans are bung in there to tear up. When we got a mo. Kids, but let's put some of you in. Could make another exploding when we need to. Just do for now. Yeah. Let's head to the barracks. Oh my god, I'm so much faster now. <laughs> Looks like it might be becoming a blizzard though, hopefully. Oh, got my bedroll. Yeah. Still midday though, so if it does become blizzard, I'll just sleep it out. Let's get you ready for wolvesies. Mm, that's right, there is a workbench here. with the sad piano music that's going on. <laughs> There's be something good in this damn barracks. It's frozen to the damn bone. That and all the rattling doesn't feel me with amazing confidence. Single revolver cartridge. Uh, not a single revolver cartridge. Another revolver. A revolver cartridge. Oh, yeah, flare shell. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, don't need the other revolver though. 
but it's not loaded, so let's just pop it straight back in there. Thanks, but no thanks. Oop, not the ammo. But we are stocked up for the kills and ammo again, so. That was a cough. Um, let's get some delicious toilet water so we're not using our stocks up. Right, let's just have to sharpen and clean in the hopes that that'll do. Um, where's my pistol? Let's just get you up to get you up to eighty while I'm killing time. Let's get through one cleaning kit. fire for that and there's no fire spot in the building. Unfortunately. This place doesn't have a stove. Well, it's got a shitty hot plate. Hey, nice. I'm on my usual. Tea and coffee. Oop. You easing up a little bit? Maybe not. Anything that needs repairing. Pretty much everything's above 90. Ah, okay. Yeah, when we get back. Might as well head back now, to be fair. Just calm down a little bit. How long is it going to take to smash you up? 30 minutes. Yeah. So we're not burning through a cedar. Just to make some coffee. Wolves beware, I'm stocked up on ammo again. I can blindly shoot at you all I want. Yeah, best get some in case we have to do any more bloody climbing. And if we are desperately running out of energy. Thankfully, the sleep spots in this are reasonably close together, so it's not too bad. Because we're warm enough, we can pretty much sleep anywhere that's sheltered at the moment. Just also keep an eye out for more cans. Probably left a scattering of them around the place. Oh, that shit is cold then. some of this as well. Reclaimed wood has a terrible chance of success. Don't suppose there'll be any sticks around here though because there's no trees. That's a book. Oh nice, sounds nice. Um, we're continuing the veggie fajita theme this time with veggie enchiladas. Um, depending on, on uh, timings and things. All right. Do you cooking when I grab coffee? Probably in the locker. Still not the best way to cook that, mate. Good. 
<laughs> I mean, I wouldn't hold your breath, but <laughs> whatever it is, it should be veggie either way. <laughs> But I now have a, a week off work, so I'm basically just going to dissolve into a lazy blob. So what that does for cooking, we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, and that as well. Yeah, making banoffee pie and jelly shots. Yes, I will make pizza, don't worry. <laughs> Every time I have time off work, I tend to um, make our own pizzas because it just takes too long. Because I make the dough as well. It just takes too bloody long to do after work, so... It's like a little annual leave treat. I see you up there. Uh, shots have you, 18. Banoffee, so banana and toffee. It's like, well, it's generally slices of banana with a toffee sauce and then cream on top. And with Nina, it's cream that's infused with banana rum as well. So it's very, very nice. And it's on like a biscuit base. I don't you think you're right where I need to go. Yeah. I'm not even afraid of you. <laughs> One shot and then you just piss off. Even if you do attack me, I can just stab the shit out of you. Though I kind of want to attack one with the gun again. Because I think there is a quick time event where you can just shoot them. If you mash hard enough. He's scared of me anyway. Wait. Yeah. I'm not sure why he's scared of me. But... I'm also scared. I guess you're left over from where I scared you off before. What's chocolate silk pie? Sounds very nice. Oh, nice. You can't beat proper pizza. Like, chain store pizza is, you know, it's right to a point, but proper, proper pizza. That's the good stuff. You. Very impressive. Okay, you are aggroed. Oh, I thought it was a headshot. I don't know how you managed to shrug that off. <laughs> not much going on behind those eyes. Sounds nice. Can't go wrong with chocolate. Okay, it's just a straight shot from here. Snag him on the way back. Right, where's that fallen tree? Okay, 
this. This trundling through the snow is making him very thirsty indeed. Okay, that probably wasn't good for you. Just having a quick peek around this way. I'm assuming he is near the backpack and camp if he's spawned. Stop out the doors. Ah yes, of course. I'd forgotten about that. Not hearing any birds. I don't know if that's an indicator or not. But I don't think they were over the dead. Power line works either, so. beat or something. I don't think we actually have any quests left that are findable anyway. Yeah. Do I have to strip down again before I go back to the prisoners? I'm presuming so. Okie dokie, we'll be going in his underwear again. <laughs> cans, glorious cans. Okay. Oh. Wait, those, I think, after the story, I guess. Well, I was about to make them just to shove them in a the cupboard. I think that's a timber wall for them. If we can scooch around this way. Okay. It looks relatively wolfless. <laughs> I'm assuming not for long. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'd say it does sound very nice, uh, except for the coconut. Don't know why. I think it's like a, a learned thing from nobody eating the bounties and celebrations. So now I've just associated coconut with gross. <laughs> that and bounties suck. Waiting to pounce on me. <laughs> Whenever we used to have celebrations, we used to just dump them in a bowl, and then at the end of Christmas, there would just be a big bowl of bounties left because no one wanted them. But then it meant if I was like a family friend that likes bounties, they'd just get a big bowl of bounties. So because it worked out for someone. Ugh, you're still hanging around. You might still be scared of me, I guess. <coughs> no, you're not. Okay. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> Either I'm getting better or they're getting slower. Um, just harvest your meat, why not? It's going to take 18 minutes. It's gut as well. I think we've got plenty of skins, but gut, we need lots of. Well, that could be alright then. I guess if it's coconut flour, it's different from using like shredded or desiccated coconut. I think, so. Just adds a little bit of sweetness, it shouldn't be too bad. Well, at least the wind propelling me in the right direction. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to cookies. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Yeah, it's pretty introduction. Um, right, I suppose there's no point eating anything because I got came out with the uh, full health of everything. Yeah, it'd just be warned if you leave them here tomorrow, it might not come back to any on Monday. Um. <laughs> Okay, let's get everything stored again. Right. Let's move as much as possible to the container. Still feels strange. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't move all to a container for this. I guess it's just too heavy. Okay, I can. Oh, my clothes are in here. That kind of... Handy actually. Just taking more of that and then I can assess what I need from there. Well, nice. <laughs> Just panic run. Hey, buddy. You're still alive. Shit. Looks like I lost that bet. Yeah, good one. Any luck with the job Mattis gave you? I made it to the power plant. The whole place is dead. Nothing obvious to be done to get it running again. Too bad. Mathis will be disappointed. 
Oh well. Back in your cage, Doug. <laughs> Should have just taken my revolver and shot them all. But you know, Will's a nice guy. Psst. Hey. Just gonna boost up the volume again. We're about to get into a talky section. I suppose they do have guns too as well. But we're a video game character, that doesn't matter. We've had bears tear us apart and we barely lost any health at all. You in the... You in the thing? There we go. Get up on it. Yep, I'm here. Any luck at the power plant? If by luck you mean I managed to not get the power back up and running, then yeah, you could say I had some luck. You found them, didn't you? Whoever's out there messing up Mathis's plans? Not really, but I spoke to them again. Whoever they are, they really don't like Donner. Well then, we have to do whatever we can to help them. Okay, but how? Just keep doing what you're doing. We have to find a way to slow Mathis down. A little hard to do that from inside a cell. Maybe not. Quick, get back. Well, well. Look what my guys found while investigating the old parts of the prison. Someone is seriously fucking with me. Someone who clearly knows more about this prison than they should. Knew exactly what to sabotage to keep us from getting into solitary. You know anything about this, pilot? I have no idea what that is. Sure, I figured as much. Whoever did this took a big risk and went through a lot of effort. For nothing. We found another way in. A big-ass key that will unlock the door to solitary, or any other door we want. It's called dynamite. Damn it, Mathis. Haven't you done enough to my prison? <laughs> Shut your mouth! I'll deal with you later. Listen, pilot. It's time to get back to work. What now? Detonators. Can't do shit with this dynamite unless we find detonators. Since we found the dynamite in one of the machine sheds, the detonators should be around somewhere. Of course, we can't find them. Of so, course. I'll probably have to go a few more rounds with my friend the warden here to find out where they are. You just sit tight, and I'll tell you when I'm done. You may want to plug your ears. Now, listen, Mathis, there's no need for that. Come on, warden. Don't ruin my fun. The detonators. That dynamite is old. We kept it in storage because we didn't have a safe way to get it back to the mainland. That's a nice story. Wait, wait. But I know where you can find some. I'm listening. Old mine. In the hills, just above the prison. It was shut down suddenly for safety reasons after the quakes, but most of the gear was left up there. I bet there are some detonator caps up there. Interesting. You heard the man. Get going. Yeah, Doc. Time to get back out there. Wait. Mathis, just... Leave him alone. I'll do it. I'll be quick. You better hurry up, pilot. I think Mathis wants to let off some steam. Wait. Mathis. Nice. Mathis is stand up guys and all. Yeah, you need to get one of them like um thermal thermos coffee cup things. I still need it's an important question to ask, yes. What blizzard. I won't be much use to Franklin if I get myself killed.
Okay. They gave me another can and six matches. I guess if you don't put everything in storage, you're just sort of screwed. There we go. Take a bed roll this time. Let's just go down the list of things to grab. Okay, well, we'll just have a look when we get there, won't we? Wait until the storm's gone, I guess, check the gold panning again. I'm gonna head to the mine. Can I grab Tinder? Right there, Sam. That's a very strange little squeak. Uh, you did some regular flares for the regular walls. I didn't mean to take everything. Uh, I guess we'll <laughs> turn it the other way around. Uh, yeah, right, let's back. Actually, sort of everything is not too bad. So many cans. Wish we can make into more bombs. So I'll keep on making they're not very heavy. Do that in the morning when we're not in the middle of a storm. Is there anything of this I need to take? I think that will do for now. Stop risking anything in the middle. Mostly just food and bits in here. Do with that for the moat. So let us sleep. So that storm's gone and it's morning. That's a promisingly quiet noise. Here we go. Uh, take the rosettes with me. Are they in here? Yeah. Let's go make some noise makers. Depending on how much cloth I've got. Didn't check in there for cloth actually. Got loads of cloth, cool. Let's prep some rose hips, make some noise makers, and then go exploring again. I just kept the scrap on me to repair my lantern a bit later, but if we, if we're running for space, I'll drop it. Can we like make multiple? I guess not. Make them all to be honest. Get two more, keep one can for water, and we'll be done dusted. There we go. Do I not prepare the uh, rose hips there? No, I prepare them in my inventory, okay. that as well. And then I think we'll head down to check the gold panning. And then we'll have a little bit of everything. It's misty which is a pain but should 
know where I'm going by now. Turn back down to the valley, see if that bloke is finally spawned. If not, I guess continue with the main story threads. We'll find some detonators. See by the end of my nose. It's not fighting the wind at the moment. Small blessings. standing over your dead friend. <laughs> you the avenging ghosts of the wolves. You don't seem to have noticed me though. <laughs> okay. Knows me on the way out. Join your friend. There we go. Sorry, mate, but considering that looked like it hit you in the head, I don't think you're long for the world. Yeah, I keep thinking I want a thermos to take to work so that you just have a steady supply of coffee for the morning. The thermoses I've had in the past have ranged from great to absolutely terrible. I remember I once took a thermos fishing back when I was a teenager and still went fishing. Um, poured out a cup of tea and it was stone cold. And since then it kind of put me off <laughs> using thermoses for ages. Bear in mind this was like around Christmas as well, so it was like one or two degrees. And not what you want to drink is cold milky tea. We're going to have to go that long ass way up through the Badlands to get to the mine. <laughs> but we knew it was coming. It was only a matter of time before it forced us to go back there. Okay. Actually, you're right for hunger. Is this the drop down? Pretty much. A little further down to get the safe way there. Nice, yeah, that'll do the trick. Can't, can't even see where the. Oh, there it is, looming out of the darkness. I'm guessing it's this way, then. i step on this guy before I find him.
This game does kind of make me uh, want to take an interest in like different medicinal plants and stuff. That would be completely hopeless, even if it's just like in the English countryside. <laughs> I could probably, as a pinch, identify a dock leaf and that's about it. And that's only because when you get stung with nettles, everyone crows about dock leaves. But like, what plants to cut up to like soothe pain and stuff? I haven't the faintest idea. I mean, I doubt there are too many in England, but you never know. Same with like foodstuffs. I know you can brew like nettle soup and stuff like that, but God knows. No birds. Peterson's Field. Yeah, there's a ring a bell actually. I might have heard that before. Might be worth a look in. It's kind of interesting. It also kind of makes me wonder, like, with changing climates and stuff, whether medicinal plants and all other plants will start slowly changing in countries like the UK as we start supporting greater varieties of life and stuff like that. It's interesting. I can hear birdies, but I think they're beyond that wall. Doesn't look like he's spawned yet. Maybe it's a you need to trigger something before he'll spawn rather than a story beat. But I don't know where we'd go looking to. No. To do that. Hopefully, we didn't sequence break it by doing this bit first, but doubt it. We'll just have a peek back on the way back from the mine, I guess. Let's keep checking. Fortunately, I don't think we'll be able to see that from up there, so we'll have to keep hoofing it down, but it's not the longest journey in the world, is it? I think we can now just double back and begin the long walk up to the sodden mine again, but the plus side is we can check on Foreman's clear cut on the way and see if our skins have uh, dried out. We meant to do that last week, I think, but steam tunnels kind of took over everything. Yep, yeah, up yeah, oh, there, there we go. Might just be worth having. I mean, chances are I probably never need to use it, but there's always, there might be one situation where you really, really do need to use it, so it's worth having. Because I know there's lots of edible mushrooms and stuff in the UK. Not that I like mushrooms, but if it's a survival situation, taste doesn't really uh, factor into it. Now, speaking of burdock, that's now in long dark as well. Uh, in survival, you can get burdock root pretty cool. I think I'm going to end up tangling with you, because you're... yes. Well, I've got plenty of these puppies. Stop singing me a song and come. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. There we go. Right on the schnoz. Okay, all that did was blind me. Okay, he finally scared you. Jesus. One more to finish you off. You forget so quick. There we go. God, how's my bloody ears doing that? <laughs> Should turn down my headset whenever I get attacked by wolves. Let's reload you. I blind fired because I thought I had a slam dunk of a shot and then it missed. <laughs> Yeah, bugger off. 
They're not even worth pinning down and shooting because I'm just sort of drenched in wolf skin and meat at the moment. <laughs> it's a weird thing to, to say and to experience. There you go, back on the speedy roads. It's true. Standard lines, yeah, I've heard that. I know dandelion and burdock is a fairly common thing, from what I remember. Like I say, there's nettle soup, which supposedly is nice, but uh, I say I don't think I'll try it unless I have to. has aggroed on the deer. That deer looks a little too big for you, my friend. But you got it. And you're right in the sodden way. Let's just get you out in case you decide that human meat is... <laughs> is uh, more to your tastes. Don't worry, I'm not coming for your kill. You just rotate on the spot there, friend. It's all yours. Oh, you want a piece as well, do you? Right in the arse. See, all you did was ruin your friend's meal. I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope fucking wolves are running all over the place at the moment. Right, should be a cut through coming up. Small time fire starters for my uh, reclaimed wood. Got some mushrooms around here, which is good to remember. I mean, we've got antibiotics coming out of our ears at the moment, but in case we need it, it's there. I think we've got some prepared anyway. See how our skins are doing. You're not very cured, but you are. So are you, so are you, so are you, so are you. I think we should have everything for deer skin pants at least. Or deer skin boots actually. Which is, should be fine because our boots suck. Um, so that's actually probably the better way around. Let's put it all together and check. Two with four gut, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I think that's yeah, because we've only got the basic boots on, haven't we? Yeah, so that's going to be these must mustn't be very good. Yeah. Right. It'll take a while. We might have to go hunting for food, but. Twelve and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. What? What? What would you like about that? <laughs> Whatever. At least we can put these together with a sewing kit rather than using my knives. Uh, I think we're good to keep going. Sounds like there's a storm outside anyway. Didn't. Okay. Oh, it's light to craft, okay. Let us. Get our 
our supplies up. Kind of wish I'd made more water, but such is life. <laughs> the ER things have an energy bar and then weirdly go to sleep. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, at first light, continue making these damn boots. Got a couple of wolf skins in there as well. Might, once this is all crafted, might be able to get the wolf skin cloak as well, actually. Which I think will mean we've got it on. Oh, there's already a bed in here, this one, isn't it? Yeah. I think we'll end up with the wolf skin cloak on pretty much every chapter if we get it on this one. Uh, might have to run outside and boil some water a bit. see where to put the damn fire. Are you a windbreaker? Yeah. Hello? You don't hear me anymore? You know what, let's use the fire striker. Guys, I'm busy. Oh, what the hell? Uh, Fail attempt to start a fire. You don't fucking say. I'm not going to try and fight them though. There's the door. <laughs> well, that was... Fun. <laughs> I actually got any injuries, no. Did I do anything nasty to my clothes? I did say oh they you chewed my ears. <laughs> Can't repair while in the dark. Flipping egg. Um right, I'm gonna take you off first. Uh, can I take you off is the next question. Yeah, there we go. Take you off as well. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy, right? <laughs> Thanks, Will. Uh, do you get up? I just need water. Yeah. It's gonna... No, it doesn't. It doesn't get up. Oh, okay, I'm holding the noisemaker. I might just be able to chuck a noisemaker and duck back in. In the hopes that they've buggered off. Not that I can even see where the lamb door is. Oh, yeah, condensed milk might do it. Not much though. Might just have to bite the bullet and drink the coffee and make another one in the morning. I think this energy doesn't matter in story. Yeah, oh, well. Fatigue reduced. Now go to sleep. If I can find the sonic bed. Good wolf pelt there. Pick that up before I keep treading on it. Just need that gut to be cured, and then we should be able to make the wolf cloak as well. Yeah, I was thinking that. Sort of took it for granted as well that water is just easy to come by, though, so I didn't pick up much of it. Um, only for this to happen. <laughs> I guess, unlike the uh, wolf from before, timber wolves aren't content just to stand there staring at me while I make a fire. Anyway, as I need to make more coffee in game, I'm going to pour my coffee in real life. Water. 
I'm going to make two batches of that and then make some coffee with it. That should uh, keep me going through everything. Seeing if the wolf that I stabbed up is anywhere nearby. Or whether it survived its scrape. Can't hear any birds, so it can't be near nearby, can it? before we do that but put the next one on and then uh, what's that noise? <laughs> many weird noises let's repair our ear thing and then put it back on yeah, let's go for the damn ears Make some coffee, repair my hat, put that back on. Okay, 25 minutes is going to burn. Yeah, they always do the buggers. I mean, Will held up pretty well given that they were nibbling on his face, but <laughs> I think everything could do with a slight repair actually after that. It's also odd because the Timberwolves that have attacked me before, they haven't actually like pinned me down like that, they've just bashed into me. Oh, that failed. Annoyingly, this is using up our sewing kits, which we need to. Yes. It definitely would, and then if you're trying to stab it with a knife as well while its face is near your face, it's just. Yeah. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. Alright, let's continue on with these boots. Uh, we can use the hook if need be, but it's just going to take longer. There goes one. Much better bully my way through without suffering too much. So my water's gonna run out before I do that. Again. <laughs> Ugh, I don't wanna go and make some more now, but I suppose I probably should. Don't wanna end up in the same situation as last time. Is this the windbreak? Yep, we're gonna have Fires on every side of the building now. Times like this, I wish I um would make like two or carry two cans with me so I can make a liter of water because half a liter just ain't cutting it. No, that didn't work. Could have at least left the rocks where they were. <laughs> I have to dismantle the entire thing. Come on. Okay, there we go. Turned out pretty well. Let's polish off the milk. Let's use our time wisely while that is bubbling away. Go do half an hour more of craft. Oh, we got twenty seven minutes, you can at least Get me some uh, non potable water that I can use a tablet on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
I mean, it sort of makes sense as well. But, hey, oh. It's still going because the embers. Will they get there in time, though? <laughs> should see us through until night. Can I finish it off before night falls is the question. Let's give it a go. It's gonna be tight if I can. Ooh. E. Only just but E. <laughs> right let's switch around our boots. There we go. Fancy ass boots. Might as well tear up the old ones. Oh, I haven't put my hat back on. Okay. Harvest two leather. There we go. Sweet. And we'll be back here crafting the, um... No, oh, not you. The, um... Wolf skin thingamajig soon, so... Probably on the way back from the mines. Yeah, we do look uh, a bit mismatched. <laughs> I love the ski gloves as well, it really adds to it. Um, uh, where is it? There's bed. Wait, to well polish you off, actually. I think we've got another one back at base, anyway. Mmm, syrup for bedtime. And then I guess head up to mines. That journey is a pain in the ass, but... Hey, oh. Another three hours should do the trick. Hopefully I don't start dying from dehydration, but it's fine. I should probably make more water. Food will be right because the MRE can coast us. And there'll be plenty of cattails, but water is a bit of a trickier proposition. Okay, let me get some stock up on wood. Chilly. Another sunning storm coming. I can at least get to the lake and then warm up there. Uh, fire striker will do. Actually, it's the same percentage for the stick or the seed. We'll make it to the lake, warm up there. Um, maybe coast out the storm if we can. Just worried about dwindling food supplies. Come on. Don't want to have to go all the way back to the prison just to go to the mine. Seems to be dying, maybe. The wind isn't quite as strong, at least. That's alright, I mean, we shouldn't need to warm up. We can just crack on. Does it give us bug eyes? Oh, it does give us bug eyes, yeah. <laughs> uh, with Will's tiny little eyes. Seriously. Two steps. Might be able to bean you and then get some wolf meat. No, that should be able to aim to that though. Okay. I was gonna say I shot you, so that shouldn't uh, be too bad. Yeah, though you managed to puncture me, which is nice.
<laughs> yeah. <gasps> Terrorist from South Park. That is Will's new identity. You better not damage my ears again. No, you left my ears alone. Kind of hoping you'd die then and there, though. Can't have much life left in you. Let's see if you've died nearby so I can harvest. Cook up the wolf meat and then we got a supply of food going around. But they take bloody ages to die, unfortunately. Just blunder into another pack. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Trying to find your dead friend. Well, now you can join him. That solves that problem rather neatly. You, uh. You guys coming or, uh. Am I coming to you? We stand over the body of your dead friend and make lots of noise. Oh, yo! I think a shot from this should hopefully be enough when they do the next round. Hello. Oh, here they come. Barreling down. No, oh, he's scared. Making a lot of noise, but not a lot of movement. Have I got a snipe here again? Down on one knee. Take aim. Breathe and miss. Sure, <laughs> I scared that wolf. What are you doing, my friend? Other than giving me ample chance to miss that, hit the snow behind him. Fine, I'll do it the old fashioned way. There we go. As long as you're gone, that's the main thing. Just want to harvest our friend, our mutual friend, cook up all the meat, and then just take it with me. <laughs> yeah, I'd be scared too. <laughs> what am I doing for clothing wetness? Not great. Really? Really? I'm carrying half your friend with me. Yep, I'm gonna cook all that meat up now, so it's not quite as smelly. Um, I don't think there's any winds to break from. Seems to be sort of casually going this way. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we've got plenty of wood. Well, I say plenty, we've got enough <laughs> to cook up all of our steaks, I think. And that should hopefully see us through to the mine. Come on. Turned out pretty well. Good nugget for the panning quest. Okay. Nice. one behind actually to keep the there we go we smell a little bit but the wolves come after us anyway so what are you gonna do uh <laughs> what it means is they're gonna be a little less resistant to bullet shots I guess 
<laughs> Damn. So all these problems. Just gotta find a dead bloke first. One day I'll drink tea, sorry, coffee from this mug and not accidentally spill it. Today is not this day. I should learn to actually focus when I'm drinking coffee instead of uh, doing it with my off hand while doing something else. But hey, at least I can find out if coffee is good for the skin. <laughs> case following this road as it winds. It's going to be the fastest route. We deal with timber wolves when and if we see them, like you. Assuming you're in the pack that I just sliced open. Cafetiere is also called a French press, I think is the um, term for it overseas. It is sort of like you put coffee grounds uh, in the bottom and fill it with hot water and let it brew and then you push like a plunger down on top and it filters out the uh, the grounds leaving you with just the brewed coffee at the top which you then pour into a mug when I started drinking coffee regularly at work I decided I wanted to try some actual proper decent coffee so I got some coffee grounds instead of using the freeze dried stuff and it does taste a lot nicer with a bit. Even if I've drunk so much coffee that the caffeine effect doesn't actually do anything anymore, but Yeah. Usually use it every day if I'm working from home. Otherwise it's usually um even when I wasn't streaming, Jesus Christ this wind. I'd start the morning with a cup of coffee help sharpen me up before getting on with the day. No. No, you should not drink coffee because you have no caffeine tolerance and so you'll terrify everyone. Probably including people about three doors down. Are you guys still scared or are we gonna have to tangle again? We're gonna have to tangle again. How many of you have I got? Six. So we just lean on these for the moment and then I can get the flares going afterwards, don't I? Bad doggy. Okay, you want another one? Okay, you just scared yourself. Yeah, it's always going to be the way. Same with tea bags versus tea leaves as well. Tea leaves are generally better because they steep better. But, you know, sometimes you got to pick convenience over taste. And I must admit, I don't break out the teapot that much because I'm lazy and it makes more than one cup and there is a limit to how much tea I can drink at once. <laughs> yeah, he really is going to have some serious... Yeah, I guess he's got the earmuffs on. Maybe they, they'll act as sort of... Not earmuffs, like the head wrap or whatever you call it. Maybe that will protect his little ears. <laughs> but yeah, this will give you one hell of a headache after a while.
suspiciously easy journey to the mines this time around. Probably going to jinx it, but usually when we start trying to go to the mines, we get a blizzard of snow and wolves all coming at us at once. And then we have to go and hide near an angry moose. But I suppose there's still that bear roaming around, so... <laughs> Let's not count our chickens before they've hatched. I can imagine in the Navy, yeah. It's not something you really want to mess around with. That's why a lot of people um, will go on and on about having loud music in your ears and stuff like that, because... Yeah really can mess you up. I'm just trying to get around you, but... Also, apologies we keep getting the menu up. I've been playing a shit ton of um, Hard Space Shipbreaker this week, so um, i used to the controls for that. Oh, that was right in front of you. Are you going to suddenly get scared again? Should we light it? Okay, yeah. Oh, I spoke too soon. I knew I jinxed it. <laughs> it's fine, we just follow the road. We can get to the mine hopefully before we freeze. Worst comes to worst, we'll just find a tree to hide behind and warm up. It's one of the worst storm types as well. Mist, wind, and snow. How cold actually is it? Minus 17 with the air. Rounding the curve so we can't be far off. No. I know your tummy's rumbling, but there's more important things to worry about right now. This feels like an ice growing on your eyelashes style storm, given how cold it is. Actually, actually wind chill. Air temperature is minus 25 with the wind chill is minus 21. Jesus Christ. And now we've got falling rocks to look out for as well. Get through there. Seems like it. Hey. Okay, I'm assuming you're still scared, I can hear you. Oh, I thought that was an ugly chip rock then. <laughs> Could you... Okay, there we go. Well, this looks absolutely safe. Yeah, okay, it's... oh my god. I don't like any part of this. Well, at least the storm was so bad you wouldn't, you can't, even if you look down you can't see how high you are. Small blessings. It's a loop. It's good to know, there's the mine entrance. Unfortunately, I've never actually been on a, a creaky rope bridge like that. So I was looking for in case there's any of that scattered around. There's another pry bar there. Okay, that didn't sound nice. I'm going to go inside now. <laughs> we should warm up pretty fast in here, yeah. Okay. Where are those dead players? 
grab you for your fuel because we're going to need it in here. <laughs> Samba. Samba lays where Samba wants. So, oh, yeah. Fortunately, the UK is, um, I'm going to say mostly flat, but there's no, like, need for bridges unless they're over rivers, in which case they're usually drivable. So, fortunately, our bridges are fairly standard and safe, at least the parts I've been, anyway. I haven't explored, like, the really, really far away parts of up north, that sort of thing. the detonators. Good idea. This stuff will come in here. Another wooden hat. Uh, I'll take it just for scrapping. No, oh, got another lift. Cloth. Yep. I won't load up on coal. It'll be easy enough to find around here if I'm desperate for some. Oh, that doesn't look good. I'm not going to have to do the electricity uh, avoidance again. Oh, someone's been spray painted. Ah, oh, there's the supply cache. We've got to solve the puzzle to get. Okay. I'll look for spray paint, I guess. That might uh, help us out. Okay, I guess that's another entrance is blocked off. Where, just in case that's part of the puzzle. Like if it's a, um, how many sides has it got, sort of thing. Look for clues to open. There we go, we got a casual quest thing for it now. Can I have a look at the lock, or is it? Just poison gas. Oh, that's fine. It's much better. <laughs> I've been playing too many, like, puzzle games on my phone recently. So I'm gonna start overthinking all of this stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure, given the storm you're walking here in, your feet would be pretty wet anyway. But as long as it isn't getting into your socks, yeah, eternal torture. Things in alcove, no. Just sort of exploring and then seeing what we find. There's the lift. Assuming is not going to work. Here's a note. Mind the safety notes. Due to recent funding shortfalls, we've had to carry out additional blasting on level 2 sooner than expected. We're aware this may impact air quality containment controls on lower levels. We only ask that you follow posted guidelines when working in areas of the facility that may be impacted by any noxious vapors. Yes. Why what socks rule? That's the poison gas. Is that a lift actually? Okay, I think it does work. At least I can get into it. I guess it's a it's a pulley lift, isn't it? It's not an electric lift. Maybe it closes as you travel. Okay. Seven nice round here. There we go. Forest talk letter. We finally reached the mine and found the supply cache. If that trans last transmission was right, this could be what I've been looking for all along. We know that 18 was the last number in the padlock combination, now I just have to find the other two. Must be some clues left behind. There's a creeping darkness in here, I hate it, but I have to go deeper. Yeah, wool's, wool is the way to go. So keep the lamp burning. Yep, I'll take all of that, I possibly can. Plastics and bandage, not bad. Then 
MREs, energy drinks, thermal underwear. What about you? Pretty sure my thermal underwear is already. Can't have too much water. Oh, you certainly can, as I have proved many a time. Let's see that candy bar. And I guess a bit of our wolf meat. Well, it should keep us going for the whole cave system, shouldn't it? Hey, the fire barrel as well. Uh, right. I don't know if there's another way to go back here. Let me just have a quick peek around. Otherwise, we'll go down to the next level, I guess, and uh, continue exploring. Probably need to pick this up next session. But we can at least get the lay of the land. Go this way. Okay, it's just going a bit further on than I was expecting. Uh, yeah, good call. Cool. Oh, yeah, I renamed my save to Hot and Steamy, so we'll. <laughs> We'll keep it at that. Okay, looks like this might be circling back round to where we were. So it's going to be more valve manipulation. Okay. Only with the threat of choking to death on my own lungs. Slightly scarier way to get into the lift, is it? <laughs> I thought that would go good. Okay. Locked. I guess that's the way we come out after we've done everything, is it? Well, this was a waste of time. Should have grabbed that canister of oil in the steam tunnels, really. Taken that with me as I knew I was going to a mine, but hey, oh, Iron's Lights 2020. Alright, let's crank that lift, head down to floor two. Ooh, there's a little cross on there. Yes, we got flares, red and blue. We got red flares, so. Well, that's crossed out. Interesting. Maybe that's the final clue. So the E in exit, not in mine even, is crossed. Maybe it's gonna be a. one of those, like it relates to where it is in the alphabet kind of thing. Dunno. I guess we'll just gather them all together and then that'll uh, give us a clue. It could also be uh, like five. It's an A, B, C, D, E, fifth letter of the alphabet, but then it depends what 18 is in the alphabet, whether it's spelling a word or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. First, let's crank ourselves down. Oh, it's actually going to use up my energy. Oop, we'll wait. It takes some getting used to. Nice. I just gotta hold it. It just says left. Okay, I gotta hold it, okay. I was actually spinning my uh, thing around like I was doing the crank. I'm glad we don't have to do that. I hate when games do that. I'm impressed you're doing it with one hand. That would mean I would get both 
hands going on. Could be as well, yeah. It could be the X is a symbol, not the letter it's on. I'm going to just be sensible to leave that there. <laughs> Lugging it around with you. Lantern fuel. It's gonna have a danger, toxic gas. Nice. Let's just save again real quick. Every time you see a uh, a sign that says toxic gas is probably a good place to save. <laughs> oh yeah. Get some fresh air in here. That looks uh... Okay. I'm guessing I gotta run down, grab that thing and then crank it. Get rid of the air. No, oh, I have 22 seconds before I suffocate to death. Nice. Clean air. Okay, yeah, there we go. It takes a little while after the uh, graphics disappear for it to actually be clear. Okay, this is the kind of poison gas you can actually see, not the kind you need a canary for. Right, I can see the pipe in there, so. To run. Not going to extinguish. Oh, I need the special valve thing for it. I'm going to run out if need be. Or run through, I guess. Let's get back out. Oof. Actually, proper tunnel vision then. Wait for the wobblies to go. Do I have to take it back from this one? Ah, oh, I do, okay. I sort of assumed he took it with him automatically, but... Let's refuel our lantern. And hold your breath, Will, we're going back in. This one you can't take off. Sure. <laughs> Mine gate key. Okay. Okay, does it cycle through if we. Yeah, it doesn't seem safe. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now we can't touch the U again, so. Whatever we do has to be through here. Run in and see, I guess. Okay, it heals for a second there. For like a split second at least. An air pocket. Okay, I see now. Hey, buddy. My feet. Will you stop going on about your damn feet? You're using up your air. I think it was this way. Yeah. Hey, friend. Hey. Excellent. The gas, my god. There's some kind of light system rigged up to deliver one of the numbers for the padlock. I have to find a way to reach the right spot on the second floor so I can see it and decipher the number from the flashing light. The others went on without me. Just need to rest here a while. Okay. Some kind of light system. Interesting. Nope. 
clear that up. Okay, that uh, just pushed the air to where I was. It's helpful. Okay, let me just clear it back. Is this even the right way? I don't know if this is even the right way anymore. I don't think it is. I think I've run the wrong way. There's the air pocket. Come on, Will. It's no longer an air pocket. You killed me. You died from suffocation. Wow, that's very blunt. <laughs> well, we're nowhere to go at least, so let's go back to that bloke again and then save there, I guess. An air pocket. I guess it. I don't even know what that did. It just made everything worse. <laughs> Crazy. Is it like down the other way, maybe? Is that here again? Next. Yeah, I guess I just gotta run through and then run straight on instead of going back the way I came. I guess we know this time not to stand there gormlessly staring while I suffocate. suffocate again. Just, just, just warning you. But I can't figure out where I'm going because everything looks the same. And Will can't run for more than a split second. He died from suffocation. It's fine, I saved it. Might just have to wait for a second for him to gather his breath before we uh, get on again. Just gotta like dash all the way back there. Don't know. It doesn't clear it in there. The pipes don't lead anywhere, which isn't particularly helpful. Go about the way you came. I tried that and still died. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's just give it another go. I guess I got the mine gate key, so that's where I've got to head back from, isn't it? Run, boy, run! nearly went the wrong way at the end. Alright. This has to be the way. Save your breath, dude. If you can blend out wet socks again. Damn it. <laughs> Up to my ankles. Uh save yes. Save good. Oh, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. at least. And that's a save again. Anytime we go through the gas, I think. Just save it. <laughs> Still poisonous about the way we came, but... Yeah. Sorry you're getting sleepy. I had to do a lot of running. Just, uh, bag up a wee bit. Get ready to run. Oh, 
Oh shit, the wrench here. Yeah. There we go. Thank you for reminding me. Because <laughs> I would have dashed on and been frustrated if I hadn't taken that. by the looks of it. Great, we got a crank in the gas. Fantastic. Although, I wonder if switching you back might take the gas from there, maybe? Let's just try it. It looks like that's just gaseous, full stop. I guess we've got to be quick with the cranking. Ooh, not load, save. I have saved now. Uh, and I'm going to sleep for a little bit because of all the running around. Let's have a little snack of wolf and meat. Sleep for a few hours, it doesn't matter, like daylight, you just want to get his energy up. Everyone knows the best place to sleep is next to a bunch of poison gas. Uh, it's just five hours, should be uh, decent enough. There we go. Not perfect, but shall make use of time and stuff. Get you back on. Good thing is gas and flammable. Please crank faster. Uh, go up. Oh, for God's sake, these awful crank controls. Are you going to get out of the gas in these five seconds? Evidently not. No, just in time. <laughs> so going up is pushing the stick up, going down I pushed it right. Alright, whatever works. No way I wanted to go there. where he was talking about the lights and stuff. Oh, you and your socks. Ah, Newsprint tape for Tinder. Annoyingly, I saw a workbench, but it was covered in poison gas. <laughs> Not that we have anything to make, but... Any potential chance to make explosives will do me. Let's just have a just moonlight. Yeah, very pretty. So I'll poke around here and then um, save it, I guess. As we are approaching the end. Yeah, <laughs> that will stop you moaning. See clothes, work pants. I think our military pants are better. Books. Some. I guess this is like a little forest talker hideout. Any notes? See any? The flares. Emergency lighting. Rifle cartridge. Food. I'll take it whatever food I can get in here. Our wolf meat is fast running out. Have we here? got you. Oh. Can I afford to take it with me? Yes. I'm just taking water because obviously I can't just make a fire wherever. So, if I start getting over encumbered, it'll be the first thing to go, but it just means that I don't have to run back to fire barrels to keep getting it. Well, this seems safe. 
but there's an important thing up there. Oh, it's detonators. Okay, yes. Sort of uh, assumed that they would be a bit further in, but. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Oh, we ain't leaving the, <laughs> the mine just yet. Next session, we'll hang around in here because we've got plenty of water, plenty of food, everything we need. See if we can figure out the clues to this uh, forest talker cache. There's anything there because I saw the sign. Oh, oh. Well, here's a clue right off. Dead bloke. Well, the X can't be the clue then. That's got to be uh, a signifier for something. Ooh. I see. Seven. It flickered seven times from what I could tell. I would check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. That'll come in handy. Put seven in the chat or a comment or something so I remember it because I will not remember that. Um, Uh, -huh. uh, the last, um, code I think is, uh, 18, so maybe it's just like a sensible lock, there's only like four, but, oh, there go my leg bones, that we are most of the way through. Hello, how are you? Oh, God, I for the fact that I'd forgotten I was in a mine wasn't the greatest, because now I can't remember where I've been and where I'm going. Is this snippable? This is snippable. an ominous looking sight. Does that just loot me back round? Uh, don't think so. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Glad it's the weekend. Okay, dead end. Oh, that rock is sketching me out. That little hole. It's like one of those things where you can't tell if it's coming towards you or going away from you. This just gets me back round to where I was, I'm assuming. Yeah, because that's where the destinations were. We need to go back for realties. Mm. That's a lovely sound. Rumbling would be bad enough if you didn't hear like the creaking of buckling metal at the same time. wet your feet at all, yeah, okay, I think okay. back. Another X, over the V. Five Roman numerals. I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah, makes sense. Hello? Okay. Snippy, snippy. Let's 
assuming this will loop back around to the entrance of the mine where the uh, cache was. Yeah, get past the mine entrance. Any more poison gas? Need a canary with us. Exit signs are promising. I'm assuming it's going to loop me back up around where it was. Yeah. <laughs> e. Okay, the X was on E. E and V. 7 and 13. All things that I've got to distill together to make a code. Music's coming in the back. <laughs> I guess the rumbles are getting slightly more serious now. Is it this way or that way? Okay, we've got to crawl either way. Which seems very safe right now. Okay, no, this is the elevator we want to go out, don't we? We want to go the other way. Let's just kind of loop us back around. We got much fuel left. Don't really want to have to rely on flares. Yeah, I got loads. Let's get it all in. I'll drop the cutters at the entrance just to be safe. Wet toes. Cold, cold. There's one on that here as well. Is that daylight. Oh. Getting the hotline to straight to us again. Ahoy hoy. So how did it all work out? Hello again. Well, I managed to sabotage the locking mechanism, but that won't change much. Mathis found dynamite. And soon, thanks to me, he'll have detonators too. He plans to blast through to solitary and get Donner out that way. Shit. Time for the nuclear option. But I thought you said you didn't have it. Relax, Mac. Figure of speech, right? <clears throat> what are you gonna do? We're out of time. I've been gone for too long. That was gonna be pissed. What? What did you say? Huh? Nothing. Just said we're running out of time. No. No, after that. Oh, right. Just my thesis advisor. She's the only reason I'm out here at all, Mackenzie. I'm a grad student. Astrophysics. So... So, it just so happens that this part of Great Bear offers one of the best unoccluded zones. Ideal for setting up certain sensitive instruments for my research, so that... I have to see her. You have to see my thesis advisor. You aren't making any sense, Mackenzie. It'll take too long to explain. We need to get out of here and get to Atwood as soon as possible. Oh, okay. How do you know about her? And what about Mathis? And Donner? If they make it out, there's a good chance they'll end up finding Atwood. And that's a big part of what I'm trying to prevent. Where is she? The Suzuki Radio Telescope. It's about 15 to 20 clicks from here. That's where I was headed when my car stopped working. I've been living there, doing research for months, alongside Dr. Atwood. Mackenzie? If the convicts find out about the radio telescope, it'll be bad. It's an old government facility, so there's all kinds of supplies there. Food, medical equipment, vehicles, radios. They could hunker down for weeks, months. It'd make a hell of a base of operations for all manner of evil shit they might get up to. They could... 
prey on everyone within a hundred clicks. Blackrock is a fortress, but it's broken. It's been broken by the Aurora and everything that's going on right now. But what the hell is going on right now? I'm not a hundred percent sure. But astrophysically speaking... Yeah? It's pretty messed up. <laughs> Look, Suzuki is shielded. Due to the kind of work they do there, it's shielded from electromagnetic radiation. There's a good chance that all the shit that's been going on out here, that it hasn't been affected in the same way. Which means? It means Suzuki may be the key. So, how do we get out of here and stop Mathis and Donner at the same time? Um, not sure. But I have an idea. Just buy me some time. I'll do what I can. Good luck to us both, Mackenzie. Great, yeah, it's gonna go well. I love buying time from mass murders. Right, what did I miss? The thing you could, thought I could jump on the prison that's climbed down point. Oh, okay. He said give me some sort of frame for where we're gonna be running from. That is the exit. Where's this locked door? There. Oh, so I can't get in it. So I can't even interact with the lock. Despite the fact that it looks like a safe lock. <laughs> hmm. everything we could just been walking around. I think of anything else around here that I need to put code into. I haven't seen any wires reaching in. Read note. Uh, boop. Oh where are the notes kept? Oh god. <laughs> uh I don't remember which one it is. Probably one of the last ones I picked up, yeah. Uh, okay, that's no, just flashing lights. Eighteen was the last number in the padlock combination. Now I just have to find the other two. There's some more crews left behind. It's creeping darkness in here. I hate it, but I have to go deeper. So I think we've missed one number. That might be why it's not activating. Because we got seven and we've obviously got eighteen, we just don't have the other number. I guess we've got to go back to try and find the clues to the other number. Let's go back into the mine that's about to collapse. That's a fantastic idea. Assuming it's gonna be like um it's gonna like unlock when we get the other numbers or something. Maybe when we pick up the other notes that give us the clues to the numbers then it unlocks the uh, padlock or something. Let's get that this way. Move the Y, <laughs> to be honest. It's probably just a, a note hanging around somewhere that unlocks it, but I'll do a sweep if you can't find anything, I guess we'll just have to press on. Don't want to remain too long, otherwise we're going to burn through our supplies. sweep at least. Not convinced it will yield anything, I guess the marks on the numbers were just, on the letters even, were just marks telling you which way to go and that sort of thing. Bloody thing. Yeah. 
Okay, I should start to the steam color before we visit the prisons, I guess. Thing if I go down again, that's into the poison gas. <laughs> oh, the water, freezing. There you go, I've hugged the wall for you. Keep your little toesies dry. Yeah, that will do unless they take away all our stuff again. But it's on the way back, so. Paddock to at least let us, like, guess, you know? Oh. <laughs> Don't think I went down here. Ah, there's a dead guy. It usually means well, say positive things, not for him. Here we go. High explosive toxic gas, bottomless pits. The fool's errand, but we did decipher the final part of the paddock combination. They marked the signs leading to the elevator. Clever. Now to get the hell out of here. Finally. Okay, maybe now it will activate. Yeah, there we go. Can't have too much water. I mean, you can, but. So right now we've actually got to figure out um, what those signs mean. There was an E, a V, and an E. That was. Uh, on there. Where am I going? Good question. That way. There's a T. <laughs> Let's just follow the signs to the exit. See what we get. T L going backwards there's oh. <laughs> Last one that said and the combo, and there were two other numbers, so we're just looking for one more. I think. Assuming it's continuing on this way. Yeah, probably. Uh. Keeping TLV in my head just in case it suddenly I get a sudden miraculous revelation as to what the hell that even means. But if it's normal padlock from this, it would go up to like 55. LVE A vilt. W. T L V E W. 
getting even more confusing. So cold. <laughs> Depends if we switch back over to another character, I guess. Oh, another E. T L V E W E. U U Volt. <laughs> It, but it's a good peak down here. No. Oh, it's just loose. <laughs> so can't we just unlock it like the normal way? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, we can. Oh, what? What a pointless puzzle if you can solve it just with your safe cracking skills. <laughs> Lo and behold, I am the smartest man alive. Who is Squish Cat? Uh, uncover the latest forest talker plans as an achievement there. Give me a gunpowder. E. stuff. What condition does that hunting rifle in? I mean, 77. I assume it's probably not that hard. Better safe. Oh, it's so. better. Okay. Well. Nice knowing you. Let's just reload in the dark. Thank you, my love. You were, uh, yeah, you're always very nice to me. Get some pink peaches. Oh, yeah, noise makers. Something's gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be stashing a lot of shit anyway. Uh huh. Before we're still gonna be more expecting one of these. Uh, written as a letter, but undated and unsigned. We built out a way station of sorts in an old mine in the shadow of Black Rock Mountain. It's not far from the penitentiary, so we figure it'll sit undisturbed as a stockpile. There's a powerful energy to the place that I can't quite describe. I feel renewed each time I visit. Our other hope is that since the mine is more modern than many of the other workings on Great Bear, we'll be able to scrounge more valuable gear there too. Maybe even more high explosives. We've got the two cut them off from the mainland. Resilience is the only way forward for us. Dependence on mainland support will only mean more ecological devastation. The time for half measures is over. Yeah, if we have to waddle, we have to waddle. It's a long way back, but let's just not think about that right now. <laughs> At least we've got plenty of ammo for all the bloody wolf packs that are coming. Combat boots, our oh, boots are great. We spent a lot of time getting these boots, I'm not trading them out now. Everything. Not the worst cash I've ever seen, not the best. Speaking of food, let me eat you real quick. I think it's storming outside as well, which is great. Let's poke our head out, see how bad it is. I can afford to sleep for an hour or two because it's only just coming to morning. I could have just run forward. I feel like if I saw the thing buckling, the first thing I'd do is run for the extra. <laughs> I guess that probably would have gotten killed given where the rocks fell, so. Good job, Will. And there's no going back that way. Oh, it's a uh, convenient Aurora. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty balked, isn't it? You magically got things in you now. No. Let's check in. 
And of course we've got electrical disturbances, which means I'm saving it. I guess it's still hot and steamy because of all the electrical uh, energy coming through things. But miraculously these aren't sparking. Yeah, we got plenty of fuel, so let's get you... Ding. Right, well... Have you opened up a new way? You seem to be lighting the way. Yeah, you have, okay. <laughs> That's convenient. Oof, I would not want to crawl through that gap. Way to scrape the skin off your back. Wait, bad time for a glugity. Oh, how was that? <laughs> Just slip there for a second. Ooh. Almost, I don't know, this is, I just want to have a look at the cave in from this side of the thing. It's a long way to go, mate, to get back to Black Rock from here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. What I'll do is I'll um, head back to the clear cut. So it just made it night again. Damn, god damn it, it was only just day. Um, head back to the clear cut, build our wall skin cloak, and then we'll uh, kind of trundle along from there, really. I really hope this is the last time we have to come up to this area of the map, because it's a ball leg like, getting all the way up here. That cold bin. Supply bin, I didn't check. There's no, I just don't take gun building supplies with me anymore. There's just no bloody point. Where you can build them is few and far between, and you run into bullets often enough that it doesn't actually matter that much. Right, where am I going from here? Did I go the wrong way? Is that the entrance to the mine? I think it's a mine entrance. Here. You can turn around because it's all dark now. If I have a map, for God's sake. I was back this way. I might just need to use my lantern to figure out where the sodding I'm going. I will do when I can get somewhere inside. We're going to freeze or use up every single piece of wood possible out here. Because I find somewhere secure, even if it's just a cave. That can't be the way. Okay. Well, it wasn't just me being thick then. I'll climb up that tree. Go back then. I suppose we could sleep in the mine, yeah. That would make sense. We've got plenty of water, plenty of food, so... Oh, okay, it's down that way. Duh. <laughs> right, where was the path back up to the mine? I am so turned around because I can't see. I think it was a split path just up here, wasn't it? There's no way to go now. Yeah, there we go. See the slight light of it. Let's crawl back in. This looks like a fun place to sleep. Inside a collapsing mine. Oh, wrong thing. Let's have a snack on some one of these MREs to get our thing up. Let's use them sparingly. Okay. Hopefully that 
that's light enough. Can't hear any wind. It's a bit chilly, but it's fine. It means we don't have to burn any more lantern fuel. It should warm up, or we should be able to light a stick fire. Yeah, just saving them for when it's uh, necessary. Don't know. I just wanted to uh, saw the two MREs and figured, yeah, no point in having two things for a backup. I think I will have a tin of angel peaches actually, because they also get back thirst while I'm here. That's just cold peaches for breakfast. Yeah, you two, I don't need any more noise makers. Otherwise, I won't be able to move for more. Hey, bunny. Dead nearby. Where are we going to be spat out? God knows at this point. Climbing point. Oh, great. <laughs> My carrying scrap metal? I certainly am. Hello. Not taking your torch. Excellent. Absolutely useless. Ooh. I see a possible tin of soup. Is it soup or pork and beans? It's pork and beans. My favourite. Try not to weigh myself down too much. I'd like to be able to run if need be. light effect. Yes it is. <laughs> Do I got any wood on me? I have enough. That's the main thing. Hope we don't have to climb because then I will have to drop things because you can't climb while encumbered. So uh, climb up and see if there's a more gentle way down. Yeah, I should probably do that, because then when I get thirsty from eating, then it will uh, top it up. There's a backpack up there. I don't know who was deciding to make camp up here, but you do you, I guess. What flare shell, flare shell. Oh my god, okay. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Have the full complement of uh, way much just don't mind putting it back in there. That was a bit of an unexpected surprise. <laughs> I wanted to have a nose down there, but I don't want to lose my rabbit skin. I don't think it will solve the over issue though. Might just have to drop my fuel. Don't particularly get rid of the food. I feel like coal and wood I can get easy enough, but stores of food are harder to come by. Shouldn't need the energy drink for going down though. But I've never drunk one before, so why not? It'll be fine. Let's just check whether it does lighten the load enough to do something else. Oh my god. Let's think the actual decent one. Distracting headaches may follow. No, too incumbent. Let's get rid of my fuel. Yeah, it's still not enough. Uh, 
They might have to just lose their smaller, shittier tins of peaches. Let's drop a couple of basic flares. Mm. Nothing I really want to drop because my clothes are the really heavy thing. Might just drop. Okay. Don't want them back. Drop extra oil. Let's refill my lantern and then drop what's left. Seeing as we are done the mine bit. Still not enough. <laughs> uh, Gunpowder's going to have to go with anything. Since when I was carrying kid gut around. Um there we go. Uh, can I trade more gunpowder for you? I guess we've got to go off noise makers for the moment. Well, we know where it is if we want to come back and get it. Oh yeah, that would make sense, yeah. I like how the camera there appears to be in Will's feet, as soon as you slam it straight into the ground. This is going to take me down into said valley. No, because I can't see the bridge, the bridge anywhere. It's going to plonk me somewhere around here-ish. Ooh, came with that at a very wrong angle. Game's practically over. Quite sad when you say it like that. I have to think of someone else to play every Saturday morning. It's a long one. I guess that's the bit of hitting a headache. Yep. Have you considered this? Well, my original plan was to play Hollow Knight, because that's one of my favorite games. It's the only game I've ever reviewed where I couldn't really find a criticism for it. Right in the arse. Um, but I also kind of want to play a game that I've never played before, because they make the... Uh... Oh, pain pills get rid of it, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, come on. The treatment did not do anything. Okay. Now you just gotta wait it out. Never mind. Painkillers don't work for headaches in this world. Not a world I want to live in. It's going to be away in seven minutes. So. Um, yeah, I kind of want to play something that I either haven't played before or haven't played in ages so that I can uh, sort of experience it first time. I'll probably just pick something from the list that I think, oh, I've been meaning to play that for ages. Let's do it on stream, see what happens, and go from there. Replace the flares that I dropped. Thank goodness. Any bears in here? The other thing, of course, is to um, clear away some of the series that I started, but then never finished. No, I didn't, in the end. Didn't hear anything back. So that's just sort of stuck in limbo at the moment. Um, yeah, Camp Sunshine is one of them. Maybe I'll make that the first one. Just like, there's a few like um, creep week games and stuff I wanted to clear away as well. Oh my god, I'm suddenly extremely tired. Oh yeah, I must be all the climbing down. Let's have a quick nap in here. Did, oh, I've come for the moment I didn't pick up my bloody bedroll. I think they're warm enough now that I can just sleep in the caves without worrying. Better than that. 
Yeah, it's true, but maybe it's just going to be fixing a patch update anyway. I'll keep an eye on the um, the prologue, see if it has any updates to fix that particular bug, and if it does, then uh, we'll go for it. I mean, when it comes out, like proper, proper out, then I probably will pick it up anyway, just to give it a whirl. And I just hope they've um, moved it away from the stealth direction a little bit, because uh, I just have no interest in stealth games. I've tried to have interest, i tried playing Dishonored about five times, being sneaky and all that, but it just, just doesn't interest me. I never got into Metal Gear. Well, the only one I actually played, to be honest with you, was um, Metal Gear. Whatever one was on the Game Boy Advance. Um, or possibly even earlier. Um, so you can see how little involvement I've had in the franchise. <laughs> um, but I'm afraid I just don't think it's for me. Let's keep you up so good. I can probably leave the tins a bit behind, it's mainly the food I'm after. Is that across the log kind of deal? Looks like it's leading up to it. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> hey, buddy. Expecting it to spit us out, like back up here, ish. But I'm guessing we've got to keep going until we can climb up around Crook's Farm. In which case, we're gonna have to loop back around to the clear cut. It's a bit of a pain, but if it's what we've got to do, it's what we've got to do. Might as well make the wolf skin first, so we can enjoy its benefits for the rest of this <laughs> mission. smashed apart bit. Oh man, that sucks. we got to give Long Dark some time before it starts really coming into its own. That feels like it's going to be invisible to me. Right, let's start poking back around the corners. But I guess I get it. It's a very slow burn game. I've got to really enjoy the crafting survival elements to enjoy literally everything else, so I guess it makes sense, but I mean I've got nearly 300 hours in it, so I'm, I'm slightly biased. <laughs> uh, right, map, Should give me any clues as to where I'm supposed to be going. This is perhaps another fault, is that sometimes it's very difficult to tell where you're supposed to go when everything looks exactly the bloody same. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to double back and then climb up with a shot. No, I can't even cross over here. This is for sure they're not the way to go. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. Right, let's head back and see if there's another little path off or climbing spot that I missed or something. It looks like we should be able to. Or should be crossing over there. Too hard. I suppose if you don't know what you're doing, it's a bit hard, isn't it? But did they, like, put it on nightmare difficulty from the beginning or something? always some people that assume that games are best when they are monstrously difficult. It's not always the case. Yeah, here we go. Now I'm going to need another energy drink, I think, to get up there. I was hoping we were done with the climbing, but 
apparently not. That's a long way up without brakes as well. I should have brought coffee with me. Let's get hunger and thirst up. I suppose you do actually have a cup of coffee that will avoid the headache at the end. I'm going to save it just in case I fall down and break my legs. Too encumbered to climb, of course. Uh, yeah, it is a shame. I always try and play series through to the end unless it's something I really, really don't get on with. Uh, I should just drink here. We got our supply of cat stalks to get us low enough to climb up. Oh, the cutters, of course. You did tell me about the cutters. Oh, God, I should have dropped that ages ago. Dingus. There we go. Now I'm going to be very confused about why there are bolt cutters at the bottom of this man's nearing rope. going down a little faster than I would have liked, but I think we're about halfway up the rope now, so we're doing alright. I always get nervous when there's no spots for you to climb off the rope and relax. Come on mate, you can do it. Nearly there. close for comfort there. Check there, I'll get it. a non subtle uh, hint that uh, we've got things still to do. Okay, I still got to investigate the black room rooms mentioned in various memos, but I don't know where the memos are. So uh, maybe one of them will be by that bloke. And that camera up here will do again. I can find somewhere indoors that I will. Uh... Oh, it's going to pitch us back. Okay, well, I might as well just go for a nap in the um, prison then. Just obviously don't talk to the prisoners. <laughs> I'm assuming I can still go into the prison and it not be an issue. No, I haven't given up. I'm just looking for uh, places to nap. Well, I suppose we can. So it's not that far away, is it? Uh, let's just start heading back to the clear cut. If we are too monstrously tired, then we can stop off at the farm or wherever. So we'll get the coat. We'll go check that gold panning dead guy, see if he's still there thing. Um, and I guess that'll be it, really. Side quest wine since. Time to wrap things up. There we go, I'm gonna book it a little bit now. <laughs> oh, right in the way, of course. How much rifle am I got now? 34 shots of that. 33 shots of this. No, that's fair enough. You know, at the end of the day, if you are putting stuff out for the public, then you you have a right to be critiqued. Did I get him. My three for three shots. Yeah, it looks like a blood splotch. My aim is better today. <laughs> Not even sure why. I haven't really been playing anything first person recently. I guess you. I'm guessing if you count Hard Space Shipbreaker, that's technically first person. But not really a shooter unless you count cutting through metal. 
That's shooting it. I guess it's with a laser and you shoot a laser. I'll take it. That's a very fun game. A very chill game until you cut through a fuel line and explode, but... Howls, we are going to be dealing with a few more wolfies on the way. I haven't seen many timber wolves lately. I mean, that's obviously going to be a massive jinx, but. Seems I'm pretty sure we're in the area where we get attacked by them every five seconds. Right, we've got noisemakers, we've got flares, we've got ammo for days. At long last, I don't feel so. Uh, Intimidated by the timberwolves. By a regular wolf. It's waiting on when we actually finish this game, if there's still time left in a stream. Okay, we sort of aggro on each other there, I think. Uh, I want to start. Oh, that's even to tell you. God, those look like they should have been hits. But there goes my record. Shooting record destroyed. Um, but yeah, if I do get time, what I want to do is I want to do a survival in a um, hardest difficulty, because I've never done one before. Let's see how long it goes, really. Because I have a feeling that on the hardest difficulty, if you don't get somewhere nice quickly, you're going to freeze to death very good. This game seems hard. Okay, that one was a straight up miss. I'll loan that one. <laughs> but yeah, this is a this is another game where I um I have to stay away from the the wiki because it's all full of people describing how they managed to survive on like Timberwolf Mountain on the hardest difficulty. No issue. And it's like, okay. Now I feel. I thought I was good at this game, but now I don't. I don't feel so good. <laughs> what is that lump? Is it just a timber wolf that's sort of merged into the floor? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's a headless wolf. Maybe we've uh, made the timber wolf extinct. In this region. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably bounce around some smaller scale games for a while and then find something big. Apparently, Grounded, which I bought ages ago in early access and was kind of mad about, has had a ton of updates to be kind of an interesting survival game. So that could be worth a look at some point. Three out of ah, oh, we do not have enough cured wolf pelts. Do not have another one on the ground. I thought it was only three. I'm just gonna give this a look at the colours on the ground. Oh, okay, yeah. Then yeah, I'll, well, I mean I'll probably come back to this anyway. I always come back to this. <laughs> okay. Well then, because of the time it takes to cure a wolf pelt. I don't think it's going to be wolf skin territory for us. But there might be one back at the prison. I can't remember if he left one on the ground there or not. So I'll check there. Let's just go back and nap real quick. I'll check there. If there isn't one there, then I guess we'll just have to call it. We've got good enough gear. Um, and then I'll go and do the gold panning one. So, if the prison has one, then we'll double back and spend some time doing this. If not, then whoever we play as next will just have to deal with it. <laughs> Might as well sleep until morning. It's going to be a long old sleep. But we've got so much water that it should be a bit of a relief to get rid of it. <laughs> Let's see before 10 hours. 
I get a horrible headache from sleeping so long. Um, unfortunately, when you get to uh, over your teenage years, if you don't sleep the exact right amount, then you feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would make sense. We only had one Astrid chapter. It would make sense to have a, another one. Maybe they'll just try and be clever with it and have it like split between the two. Like, choose to play as one and then you progress and the bits you do will impact the other ones and you can switch over to Astrid and do that and they can kind of connect to each other. Which would be pretty cool. Things they're like trying to find each other and stuff like that, it might play up the, uh, the plot point of that as well. I also think they should give Astrid a unique bow and arrow. Because I seem to remember in like the trailers for this, she was always pictured as having like a bow and arrow and stuff. It'd be cool to give her like a proper like composite longbow or something that she could, only she can use. Right, I'm just going to charge through. I know it's a storm. I know where I'm going. We can cool down in the uh, prison little room if we need to. Yes. I mean, there's so many new zones now. On my own survival one, I set myself the challenge of finding the, um, what was it called, the Forsaken Airfield, or like the, the newest of the new zones. Um, and I found it. It's a pretty cool zone. I need to explore a bit more. Um, but it was the right pitch to get to, and then I found the radio that said you need to go back all the way you came to record a signal, and I was like, oh, I don't want to have to navigate through millions of caves again. So. I will, uh, I will probably do it though. Yeah, that's the one. There's like a bunch of different zones in the Far Territory pack that are slowly getting built in. Um, there's like a connecting area that's like a small coal mining little place. Um, and then that leads to the airfield and there's a few like cordoned off places where I think they're going to put new maps in as well. Which is cool. Um, He's just got to get through the sodding muskeg to get there. Uh, muskeg and then the broken railroad as well. Still scared of me? Cool. Or a bear maybe. Um, but it's like... To get there you have to pass through this... Uh, oh god, I can't remember what it's called. Some sort of train tunnel. But it is just a pitch black tunnel. That goes on and on and on and on. Um, and if you turn your lantern off, you can't see anything. Even with the lantern, all you can see is like a small little, like a few steps in front of you. It could easily be something out of a horror film or a horror game, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I need to go back and explore that. But I didn't prep for as long a quest as I was going on, so I was like scraping the barrel for food. <laughs> so maybe if the airfield gives me a big supply of food, then I can go back and poke around a bit more. Ah, nice. I'm glad you enjoyed your stew. We are um, having an indoor date night tonight and ordering in pizza. So, I don't have to uh, worry about dinner. Well, let's head back to prison. Prison this way. Okay, I'm not too soggy yet. I should be able to get back to the prison before I start freezing. where possible. Warm ourselves up a bit. <laughs> oh, I think it's not being out yet. <laughs> we never know that could be a sister channel in the future.
Oh god, you were just waiting for me. What are you even doing? You're just humping the ground? Watch gotcha. out. You're gonna suddenly aggro again? And you're gonna go and merge with the ground somewhere? Seems to be the done thing. I should probably start using my rifle now, actually. I've got more ammo for that than my pistol, really. <laughs> well, the other potential name for this channel was Cider and Video Games. So. <laughs> but I went with the one that didn't make me sound like an alcoholic. Hopefully, this is clear for me to drink my tea now. scampering. Yep. Well, that'll be a lesson to the rest of you. Yeah, he did. He did indeed. Go fight through the snow. Yeah, we do. I'm more about the... I'm more about, like, technology and building crazy underground labs. Oh, you're not ready yet. Let's just take everything that's ready and transport it back. Save some weight. Uh, yeah, you should be alright to get back. Things are all there. Things will dry as I make this wolf skin cloak. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's um, not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, I've been, I sort of dip in and out. I get like an urge to play it, and then I play it solidly for like a month and then don't touch it again. Um, but I jumped on the bandwagon when it was still in beta, like when I was like 17. Um, and at that point it was just a, it was a novelty, like no other game that gave you a world that you could just fully destroy and remake. So I decided I was going to make a gigantic castle, ended up building the outside wall and then left it there. Because it gets boring after a while. <laughs> Don't know how I missed that headshot. Too busy trying to change to my uh, rifle, because that's what I said I was going to use. <laughs> anyway, time to go and make a coat out of your friends and family. <laughs> you decide if you want to attack or not, please. Actually, did I take the um, other stuff with me? I've got to put it back in the thing. I put it back in the thing, okay. I was going to say, if I took all the stuff with me, then I could just made it in the prison, but... You know what? There we go. It's <laughs> committing wolf genocide at the moment. Exactly. A dishonorable wolf gets killed at point blank range. Hey, with all these dead wolves, we can make two wolf skin cloaks. We can make a batching set of trousers out of them. <laughs>
right back towards the mine hopefully for the last time and we can spend the rest of this day making our wolf skin and we can wear it proudly down to the gold panning dead guard if he's there crack on from there Oh, you heard that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's slightly diseased. of working with children, they give you all sorts of weird and wonderful diseases. <laughs> yeah, you know. Just lightly plagued. Well, there's more friends up there. That might be Timberwolf. Long last we'll be able to use the sort of noisemakers. I've killed every other type of bloody wolf. Uh, let's, try, let's get them ready. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting the ambush from behind. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't got it either. You usually give it to me pretty quick. Alright, you want another one? Right, and you sleep. Okay, I forgot you had a throwing arm like a five-year-old. Uh, I did appreciate the Python reference. <laughs> yes, it's true. We have plenty of time for the virus to, to work. Whereas with me, either I don't get anything or it just legs me under. <laughs> Right, we should finally be able to make this sodding wolf skin cloak. As we're going to spend the rest of the day making it, let's just uh, eat some delicious cold beans and pork. <laughs> patients. So. And to be fair, I only work in the hospital two days a week, They're three days at home. Uh, we need things. Too heavy. It's fine. Uh, I should probably sharpen my Jeremiah's knife. <laughs> Maybe I got that and stashed it somewhere. Um, it's probably taken from me actually. 69% will be fine for the moment. I'll just sharpen it when we're done. Uh, let's go three hours first. Just got to keep an eye on the hunger so that I don't obviously lose the old well fed. We've got plenty of water, so let's eat some stale salty crackers. Yum yum. Clothes drying out. Yes. Cool. Let's do it like three hour sprints. Uh, two hours for this one, I think. It's going to get dark very soon. Tease it right up until it gets too dark to craft. Then I'll sharpen my blades and go to sleep. Yeah, that's about it, I think. 
sharpen you back up to about 75. Then tuck into some canned goods. Uh, <laughs> get my hunger back to where it needs to be. I've got plenty of MREs, so I can stay here until it's done. do that. Um, I suppose we could use the MRE. We've also got this actually as well. Ah, oh, screw it. We've already tucked into one of the MREs. Let's just get you up for sleeping purposes and then we can keep things up and burning when it's light again. See if I can find the table and see if I can start from here. <laughs> I keep ignoring your advice to eat first because the peaches would have saved me a water, but it's fine. There should be enough to craft. Keep going. Are you going to count it as too dark even though you were crafting in the dark before? Yes. For another hour, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. We've forgotten we've missed one. I don't think we can get it to pop for whatever reason. It's still too dark. Sixteen hours left. Shouldn't be too bad. Although we might get um, a bit of cabin fever if we're here all day, but it's fine. Another three hours should be fine. Let's have another tin of peaches because I get my water up as well. I'll probably boil some water before I go venturing out again. That's true. Poor Jerry just giving us his knife just for some wankers to have it. Let's get two and a half. Just because I'm going to need to get some water soon. Is there anything wooden in here that I can just hack up? limb if we can find one. Any trees about. I saw them down on that hill a couple of times before. There's one. And we can boil up some water and then carry on. If we had proper amounts of fuel we could just crack on through the night but <laughs> don't want to burn my one lantern worth of fuel. coffee while you're going on and smack my headset into the microphone hope you enjoyed that that's uh, done I didn't actually mean cook on the water <laughs> okay let's make use of the time oh hello well that's useful for a bit of food Let's just bung it on. It should be long enough now. I thought I got more wood. Oh, just be 
you're safe. Yeah, milk is like a. That might be what I do tonight. Just do a. Well, and that should hopefully get the water ready. Okay. There we go. Perfect, you've got 20 minutes, which means I can do another batch. It off tomorrow. Besides, if we need food desperately, there's plenty of wolf meat around. <laughs> yeah, we got enough for another. Uh, Come on. There we go. Right. Can I squeeze in another half hour before it's too dark? If I can just about see the bench and apparently that's good enough for him. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a wolf graveyard around here now. Bed, bed. We need your water, I assume. Yeah, a bit low on the old food, but. I'll have the uh, condensed milk in the morning. That will uh, hopefully tide us over. Hey, there we go. Mmm. Chug down that thick milk. <laughs> it's just basically pure sugar at that point, but... Actually, I'm going to pick that can up again and replace the noisemakers that I made. Um, let's give you, I guess, a three hour. Two of those should do the trick. Finish it off and then have some celebratory peaches. And there we go. Dash my Mackinaw. She might as well just shred it. <laughs> Bit sad, but we'll shred it. Yeah, because you're definitely better. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. It'd be good for thickening things. Some water, actually. Nope. Let's not do like that. It's dumb. Let's get some celebratory peaches that will get both of it. And then we can head back in there. Uh, See if Mr. Gold Panning Man has deigned to die for us. Let's just take uh, two of you. Did I get rid of all my gunpowder? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll keep it just in case we stumble on another load of gunpowder that I've chucked somewhere. Okay. I think we had best wait this one out. <laughs> Because it'll be kept nice and warm, but I won't be able to see where I'm going. Yeah, we could probably just venture out at night now, to be fair. Yeah, powdered is not good, especially in tea. It's, yeah. You need proper milk for stuff like that. You don't want powdered milk clumps on your tea. 
That's why we used to take it going camping, but we take UHT milk now. Um, the little capsules that you can get in like cafeterias and stuff. Because even though it doesn't taste the same, it just doesn't clump, so. <laughs> Going. Okay, it's when the road splits. Yeah, it's handy. I think we've still got some around the place. I mean, we've regressed back. Very old school, we get our milk delivered on the doorstep every Friday morning. Um, so you normally don't have to worry about milk. Uh, but it does ever so often. On the rare occasions we eat cereal. I'm just going to practice my rifle skills on you. Excuse me. You can take a bullet like a chap. You uh, are. Ah, there you are. Woof, woof, woof. That was a miss. There we go. I got the ammo, I might as well practice my skills. I can hear one of them making those strange wolfy noises. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. We don't really eat cereal much anymore. Because it's so monstrously unhealthy for you. Anything that tastes good, at least. Okay, you're scared. Have you got a friend who isn't scared? Like, who's still aggroed? Going after a deer now. It's like a little group of friends. Here's a message to send you on your way. Well, let's just carry on, I guess. Since they come back for another one, they can get a bullet in the chops. Yeah, I grew up on semi skimmed, so. true for this country as well. Oh, okay, you didn't like... Uh, let, let's slash it. Hey, you, took, you did take off a quite a swing there. I'll, I'll grant you that. Which <laughs> I can just wallpaper my house in bandages right now, so it's all right. I was sort of expecting that first shot to spook you, but there you go. Better not torn any of my clothes, you little bastard. No, for once they left the ears alone. <laughs> My delicious ears have uh, have gone uneaten. I do want to try attacking with the gun again because I think there's a, like a QTE where you can fire the gun at them to kill them. But uh, I'm not going to go actively looking for it. Crossroads, I think it is, yeah. I don't know where those temples are gone. <laughs> Assuming when one of them bleeds out, then it will uh, disappear. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Next batch that comes around, I'll stick with flares, maybe. Rotate our wolf scaring devices.
Hello. I don't think it'll be quite this soon, but. Flare throw and that's it. Yeah, we used to um, we used to get semi skimmed for cereal and skimmed for milk, so that it doesn't alter the taste of the tea. But as it's just me drinking it, I mean, I like my tea. Don't get me wrong, but I can't drink that much tea. Hey, bunny. Don't mind me just walking through the marine flare in the middle of nowhere. Dead man has appeared. <laughs> you. Stop that sound. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, that might have been the flare going out. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure where we haven't been that might have triggered it, to be honest. Short of going back to every location we've been to. It doesn't look promising, does it? It's got to be like a note, just. Actually, is that him or is no, that's the campfire? Never mind. Check the rucksack again in case some notes spawned in there. No dice. There's nowhere on the map that we haven't been that could have spawned him. Don't know. Might just have to leave that and assume it's sequence broke or something. What box? Box. It's a bag. Maybe we see can break it by um, coming down here before we were supposed to. One of the men. All oh, right, yeah. Well, let's go investigate that. No, but I don't think we've got a key for it, do we? But maybe the key will be like, oh, you got to find the guy who owns the key, and then he'll spawn. That's worth a shot. Let's uh, let's go and investigate the box. See if there's a note to the side of it or something. Seems like in the story mode at least everything is activated by notes. If that's not the case, well then we're in the we just have to head to the steam tunnels and uh, dump all our gear. Come on, I know you can get up here. Don't be such a drama queen. There we go. been strutting around like the last three times we've been here. Let's get out of my last
last tin of peaches. Then we're down to an MRE and some beef jerky. <laughs> but as we're close to the end, that's not too uh, too much worry, is it? And there's fresh wolf <laughs> everywhere we go, so. I'm a kid of wolf, I might just quarter it and then take the one of the bags of meat with me. Or just take off a kilogram or something as a bit of insurance food. And here, what I think is a wolf. That ain't scared. How frozen are you? I might just take a chunk of you. Not too bad. A uh, fire barrel or something while I go to investigate the uh, box. Yeah, this is true. So there's not had a shortage of tools. We've had about three hatchets and four knives at this point, and the simple tools as well. Things I barely bloody use them. I think the only time I used, or I have used simple tools is to, like, repair the lantern and stuff. Although if it helps with repairing other stuff as a passive boost, I guess it suppose it makes sense to lug it around. Yeah, I realise what you meant after I started saying it. But yeah, haven't found any, uh... Of the better tools, though. Still lugging around the blue box. Alright, on what might be the final approach to the prison. We were. And we have rabbit skin mittens as well. <laughs> we had deer skin pants, so presumably the. Uh, I don't know because I don't think the achievements are working for. Or they don't pop for story, but there is an achievement for having like all animal skin clothes, which I don't think I've ever gotten. I tend to not really waste my time with rabbits that much, but I really should build some snares in my survival one. Right near the entrance, really. Are you like the final boss? I missed. I missed that time. There's your friend that was also dead. <laughs> Have they been eaten by scavengers and you're taking their place? Either that or the final boss just gets resurrected. For shelter. It would be kind of weird. I don't think this is the game that really uh, would benefit from boss fights, but complete all tasks before returning to the prison. Yes, that's what I'm doing, or I should say what I'm trying to do. Up. 
problem is they're probably like tucked miles away somewhere unmarked so you have to scour the whole map but you're really booking it someone's hungry okay well you're kind of getting a bit confused on the terrain there a bit i think a leg shot, I think, so should be able to recognize you again when you start limping. I'll throw something on the ground then. I forgot to start cooking the meat. Oh well. I'll just fast forward through and then eat it. Right, let's check this box. If that doesn't work, God knows. Nope. No quest has started to uh, find the bloke. Let's just give a sweep around the lantern in case there is. A note anywhere? And I think we're going to have to leave it. Oh well. It is what it is. I'm assuming we also missed a locker. Oh no, we didn't actually. We managed to get all the lockers at least. That's something. And hey, you've got to leave a little something something for replay value, haven't you? So, <laughs> Am I getting this one? No. Well, let's head back, have a jolly good meal. And then drop all our stuff off in the steam tunnel. And, um, yeah. Get shot at. Yeah, it's probably again just some sort of like there's a bench somewhere with a note tacked to it or something, and we just walk straight past it because not in the habit of just checking benches randomly. But you know, here's what it is. And as I say, it gives me incentive to at some point down the line replay Winter Meet myself and uh, see if I can find the things I missed. So no bad thing. No point preserving anything now. <laughs> Chuck everything off. There we go. Oh, I got water out of my ear. Oh, you're just going to be out to cook it in time, but. You know what? Let's just top ourselves up fully. For once, we can have a full belly. <laughs> Probably a waste, but you know. We're right at the end. There we go. It's full in nearly everything but tiredness. So, let's head to the steam tunnels. Very true. I'm assuming this is a case of uh, again going back naked. There we go, it's the green box. Right. Well. Let's go down different types, eh? Holds a surprising amount. This uh, little locker. Okay. 
the rest is going to have to go on the ground. Because there's no other containers nearby. Lantern on. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's just take things back so I can. There we go. Should be able to hopefully navigate my way around without it. So what I will do is just take some matches, just in case it's too dark to. <laughs> Get all the way up there. Yeah, could have been, thankfully, I uh, caught it. I really are going to have to run. <laughs> I'm assuming everything in our locker here is safe. Or does this need to be moved down to the steam tunnels as well? Not that there's much in here. Which I don't think there's anything in here that's worth losing. Or going back for, I should say. Uh, let's just take these down there just in case uh, we got something for there. Oh yeah, there's a shit ton of stuff in here as well. safekeeping and then go to the prisoners. Hopefully the steam tunnels are warm. <laughs> I'm still cold a little bit but I'm not going to freeze to death so it's fine. <laughs> Hello all my stuff. Come to put some more stuff down. There we go. I think that's worth. That's all that's worth taking. Everything else I've got dupes of, or just not that fussed by like cold and shit like that. So another match. Let's see what I'm doing. Let's go to the prisoners. Naked man with detonators down his trousers as a. Uh, well, not even trousers. Uh, <laughs> detonators tucked neatly beneath his balls. Ready to give them over. So, pilot, did you finish the job? I found the detonators. Well, I guess the warden was telling the truth after all. Now what? Now, we blow a hole in the wall. But first, let's you and I have a little chat. Well, that sounds ominous. Hey! Mathis! I did everything you asked. Oh, I know, pilot. You've been a good dog. But every dog has its day. 
Whoa. Wait. Fellas. Well, that was predictable. <laughs> So, here we are again. Yeah, we have to stop meeting like this. Me tied to a chair, you acting crazy. <laughs> the problem I have, Pilot, is that you keep lying to me. I don't know what you mean. You see, that's exactly the kind of thing that pisses me off! First, you pretend not to know anything about the case. I really don't. Then, you go around behind my back, purposely trying to mess up my plans with an accomplice. Mathis, I... Shut your mouth! All I hear are lies. I know everything. Oh, dear. Monster. He didn't do anything. I know. He was so innocent. Just one of the good guys. But he sang like a bird when we laid into him. He couldn't give you and your friend up quickly enough. I know about your pathetic activities to slow me down, Mackenzie. It makes me laugh because the only reason I kept you alive was I thought you could fly us out of here. Back to the mainland. But I'm starting to understand that here, here, we can be kings. Back what? there is nothing but fire kingdom. and cold. The old world. My crew and I, we're gonna rule Great Bear. Nobody can stop us. Not you, not your friend, nothing. We are going anywhere so you've outlived your usefulness to me pilot and when i'm done with you i'm going after your little helper <laughs> perfect timing I don't blame the warden one little bit. Can I take that? No. Exit, that would be too easy. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to run past them. They blew too early. Something happened. The guys fucked it up. <laughs> you assholes! <laughs> Solitary? They're clearing the bubble. I can't see shit for all the smoke right now. There's fire everywhere. Almost as if blowing a hole in the wall was a bad idea. I suppose you're pleased with yourself. You better hope nothing's happened to my. Your friendly neighborhood driven hacker checking in to say it's lockdown time. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon is red eye. I'm going to destroy everything you love. Man, you gotta stop uh, letting him monologue, dude. track minded kind of guy, isn't he? Suffocation risk, yeah. That's what it is. 
Let's mosey as fast as possible, shall we? 75 seconds, Jesus H Christ, okay. Shifted area. Hey buddy. I'm assuming this is the way to go. You gotta be shitting me. Pry bar, I'm ready for smashing over Mathis's head. Running time. Oh, everything's getting a bit. <laughs> 35 seconds. I need an air pocket and I need it fast. Can't fucking see. Is this the warden's office? God, no. I can't see a goddamn thing. Just isn't helping when trying to live. <laughs> Five seconds. Whew. Made it. Oh, Jesus, that was close. <laughs> Just wait here for a second so I can actually see again. Yeah, I'm not going to grab anything. I'm just looking for hell I'm supposed to be going. Aha! Conveniently lit. So much trouble. It's better be bloody appreciative. Oh really? <laughs> Explosion? I might have nudged it a bit, but mostly those idiot convicts did it to themselves. The PA in lockdown, however, that was all me. <laughs> I have the case. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, here we are, warden's office. Okay, so, end of the hallway you just came out of. Take it. You'll end up on the roof. Cross over the building and you'll find a fire escape thingy. Come down there, and you should recognize where you are. I'll meet you at the power plant. I can see lights in the prison yard. Fire. You'd better hurry. The whole security system has gone haywire, and I have no idea how long the lockdown will last. Mathis and Donner could be after you in a minute. Go, go, go! Okay, stop talking then. Okay, left it at the fire escape bit. End of the corridor you just came out of. Cross to another roof. There, okay. Okay. O over then down where? Over, okay. I can't go that way. Thanks, Kenzie. So where is every why is every video game character this is shit? There we go. When are you fuckers have gonna be able to have a proper sprint? Oh god, we're doing this. Can you see him? Shut it up your ass. Yeah, thanks, Mathis. I think they'd uh, 
to cover that point. I was going to say, is there a convenient chair? <laughs> well, let's get a lot of gear back. Do I still have that, that match? Yeah. Yeah, now I can shoot back. fed bonus. No. So why isn't the satchel working? That's my allowance so low. That one. Wasn't it like 40 last time? I guess we can afford to hobble. Broken rib, that's why, yeah. Didn't even realise that. What do I need for the broken rib? Bandage and painkillers, okay. Yep, I can say you need a few more bandages than that. <gasps> oh, God, I need 120 hours to recover from it. Hopefully we don't need to do any more running. Save. Save, save, save. You read my mind. Well, as we're so close, I'm just going to keep going until we finish. Don't really need to use it at the moment. That thing we smashed up. If there's smoke down here too, I might have to drop some food so I can actually run. Which I'll do now, because we got a ton of the stuff. <laughs> Let's drink some soda. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. can run in the moment here anyway. I did drop the other pry bar. We just have so much shit. Because we've broken our rib, I can't carry it all. Just have to do it in bursts, I guess. I die, I guess I'll just have to drop some gear so I can actually move fast the <laughs> next time we do it because I got so limited inventory weight. Hopefully it will give me a 
air brake here, we go. Phew. I'm gonna wait for my uh, vision to clear up and then save again. suffocation and risk room. No? Yeah, okay, it's just all in the ceiling, so it's fine. Keep my toes in. There's the end. That's very pretty. Phone call to tell us what the hell we're doing now. We're ready for fist fight. Oh Lord. So that's going to be a quick time event thing, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for your help back there. Thanks for yours. That was one hell of an explosion, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what happened there. Well, I might have just had a little bit to do with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that sense as well. Face. <laughs> that guy had it coming to him. Subtitles are lagging a bit. Could you see what was going on? Hacked into the security cameras across the prison. That's how I was able to keep an eye on you and the rest of it. Well, what now? Yeah, I mean, this is as far as my plan went. You have any ideas? We have to get to Atwood. I still don't get it, but yeah, we do. I'm worried about her. With all this going on, she's fragile. Okay. Well. Shit! They found us. That was faster than I expected. Okay. Well, uh, you have the blueprints, right? How do we get out of here? I don't know. This was the extent of my plan, Mackenzie. Isn't this prison escape gig more your thing? <laughs> there has to be another way out. Shit! Trapped. You have a gun, this is dude. Not how I thought this would end. Just set up a barricade and shoot shit out. Okay, whatever happens. You're like a bad penny, Mackenzie. I've been called worse. You know, it's amazing to me that a smart ass like you has made it this far. Like I've always told you. You have no idea how stubborn I am. It's too bad being stubborn isn't the same as being smart. And this must be the fly in the ointment. A girl, no less. This is the end of the line for you and your friend, pilot. I'm not afraid of you, asshole. I've been fighting guys like you all my damn life. Well, today, 
You lose. In more ways than one girl. Mathis. What is Donna. it? The explosion. He's her bad. <laughs> that time to throw her into that. This wouldn't have happened if not for you. You've been a pain in my ass for too long, pilot. It's time yeah, for the bad pain. Yeah, he has a adult hatchet now. Price. But first, you can watch me deal with the girl. That's all right. Oh god, bitch slap. Good. I like them to struggle before they die. Jesus Christ, dude. That's like the worst possible way you could block that. Oof. Yes. That's what I like to see, Mackenzie. A little fight. A little will to live. I knew you had it in you. Right in the tum tum. Mathis! Mathis! He's dying. His daughter is dying. Her. 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 Soft titles go out there, kind of there. Comedic timing. Okay, down. Yeah. More worried about body temperature than anything else at the moment. Wasn't expecting that. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Looks like Black Rock's on fire. <laughs> huh? It actually looks warm. Yeah, she, she ain't doing too good. First time. I've missed the place. <sighs> Wills just used to it by now. Hey, hang in there. It's all that wet socks training I'll, you did in the mine. I'll get a fire going. You'll be warm in no time. <coughs> it's okay. I'm warming up. That is not a good sign, Jace. And quit talking. Why are you chatting? Just, just wait. Hang in there. It'll be fine. Everything is gonna be fine. You know, Mathis, I'll just go. come after us. He'll never stop. Yeah. Neither will we.
Perseverance Mills. <coughs> After that long Another last. one in the water. But not drown like the others. Must not be a quarantine breaker then. Is it another one? This one is different. Can't be. Watch it. Might be infected. No, not her. Now we're finally going to hear more about the illness that she's trying to cure. Where is it? Need water. If she doesn't look good. Get her some water, now. Astrid, you came. You said you would, and you did. But where is the case? Where is the cure? on its way, <laughs> in a very roundabout way. And there we go. That's all of Wintermute that we can play at the moment. It was indeed very satisfying watching Matt get the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> um, yeah, so as far as I'm aware, there is no sort of timeline for when the final episode's coming out. They seem to be focusing on survival at the moment, all the different maps and stuff. Maybe they're getting the map design for that up, and then they're going to use that for Wintermute, I don't know. It's been a while, so you think they'd have something up. Um, but, you know, it'll come out when it comes out, I guess. And whatever it does, I'll probably down tools of whatever I'm streaming at the time and get it done. <laughs> but yeah, kind of a weird feeling, really, given that I've been streaming this. God, I don't even know when I started streaming. Start of the year? Before Christmas? Don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's been good fun. This is definitely one of, if not, the top of my favourite games. Because, you know, I've got like 300 hours in it and I still don't feel like I've poked around every corner. Um, so then we've got to find something else next week now, haven't we? <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm... Pretty sure this is not going to be the last long dark content that ever goes up on my channel. Um, Winter Mute or Survival. Yeah, we are. We're prepped if we can keep our gear. God bless. Uh, if we don't move over to Astrid and lose it all. Because <laughs> she's in that boat. Um, then we'll, uh, we'll have everything we need. But, yeah. It's a little sad, but this is not the end, hopefully. Assuming hinterlands don't go bust. <laughs> um, but they'll get it out eventually, and we'll be here to play it when they do. Just check to see if there's an after credits thing, or if it dumps us back to the menu. No, it dumps us back to the menu. Oh, well. Well, that was Wintermute. So, yeah, next week... It will be a slightly shorter stream because um, of um, driving lesson shenanigans at 11. Um, so it might start a little bit earlier and finish a little bit early. But I'll figure that out this week. Um, and yeah, it will be with something else. Maybe I will polish off Cam Sunshine before I do anything big. Um, and go back and uh, might do Murdered Soul Suspect as well because that, that was pretty interesting. I have played that before, but it's been a long time. Um, so we'll probably do a, like a short few clearing up uh, streams before we do something uh, big again. Either way, thank you very much for watching. I shall leave this lovely image of Will warming his hands with the fire and pick it up next week with something else. See you later.